Hello, hello. I believe we are live. Yes, we are. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let me just check if I'm live on uh, Twitch or not. It sh I should be live. It says, it says I am in OBS, but uh, I just want to double check. Let me see. Let me check real quick. Yeah, actually, yeah, it posted in uh, in chat right now that I'm live, so I should be. Or wait. Huh? Okay, I am live. Good, 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 good. Good, I'm live. I forgot to sort, sort by a live chat. There we go. Okay, uh, let me just open up Elden Ring real quick and then we'll get started. We did start a little bit earlier than usual, so you'll have to forgive me for not opening Elden Ring right away. You got a little bit of a boring, uh, boring time with me first. Yeah, where is... Just gonna play some music first. I think it should be fine if I just say it right now. I don't need to link it or anything, or do I? Uh, ah, whatever. We will do without music. It's fine. Hello, Yarek. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. How many people we got watching right now? I wish I wish I could see that in uh, OBS. That kind of pisses me off. If I can't see that. Oh wait, I can't, maybe participants? Hmm. No, it says, I think on YouTube it says like three watching. And then when I go on participants, it only says, it only says uh, two people, including myself. Okay, I'll ring, starting it up. Where's my controller? It should be charged up fully, so we shouldn't need to charge it or anything. Yoink. Bluetooth. Okay, let's see here. Other ring is starting. No, okay, it says one watching on uh, YouTube now. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I can't just go on participants and see. Hopefully, we'll catch up with the grandma that plays Other ring. She's already on the Nicholas Haley tree. Fuck's sake, man, she probably started earlier than me. Surely, right? Right? Besides, she's not doing a challenge run. I mean, come on. We're doing a challenge run, baby. No, no, I hope I walk out. That fucking grandma is great, though, for real. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Most based Chad grandma ever. Literally plays Elden Ring, doesn't even use an overpowered build. And on top of that, she fucking swears as well. <laughs> what the fuck? And somehow she manages to stay, stay wholesome while she's just, like, swearing as well on top of that. She's just wholesome as fuck. Okay, is it connected or not? I think it is. It is, it is. No, wait. What? How does that make any sense? I... Okay, wait. There we go. Should be fine. Oh shit, the controller... Uh, you can... I think it... I don't know. It's not blue usually, right? Whenever I have the DS4 thingy. Um, it works now. The the controller on its own. I don't need to use DS4. Okay, well that's, that's fucking great. Usually I'd have to connect DS4. I thought the Elden Ring didn't work without it. Because sometimes it doesn't. Weird. I think it's where it disconnects. Or like, if it's not connected before you boot up the game, then it doesn't work for some reason. I think that might be it. Okay, well, good to know, though. Good to know. By the way, um, yeah, it's not gonna be a good stream. It's not gonna be a good stream. Dude, the fucking Chad drip. Oh, wait, get the fuck, get rid of these. I, you, ne you saw nothing, you saw nothing. I never, I would never use the spike ball, ever. Goddamn, look at that drip, though, for real. That winter coat. Alright. Uh, I think we just teleport over here, right? I think I'll uh, probably do Consecrated Snowfield first, then do the Halic Tree and Mikola, because, um... Mikola? Melania? Why did I say Mikola? Winter Chad, yes. Um, probably gonna do Consecrated Snowfield first. Just because I don't think the stream will be that long if I do Halic Tree and then Melania. Because uh, I, I, I'm sure the Melania will take a long time. Uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, and I don't want. I think there is a chance that we do it her first try, so I don't want to accidentally do it first try, and then have the stream be like really short. So we're gonna do a, a bit of consecrated snowfield first, like for like, for like an hour, I think. A bit of consecrated snowfield, and then we're gonna move on to the Halic tree. I think the Halic tree and Melania can take 
Probably like three to four hours. Probably. We'll see though, we'll see. Am I, yeah, I'm okay, I'm by a live chat, so it should be fine. I should be seeing all messages. Okay, 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 okay. I can, I'm, I don't know why I didn't just skip the cutscene to begin with. Should've done that. <laughs> skip. Okay, let's see if we can like change up the drift just ever so slightly for... Maybe. Hmm. Or can we just do this maybe? Hide our face? Nah. No hiding the face. Uh, okay. I mean that works, sure. We'll do that. Rotussi. Nice. By the way, why did you change your name? You added a 23 at the end. Or was that always there? It wasn't. Was it another another number? Or what, did it just... I'm so confused. Was it always 23 for your name, Ezrian? I seem to remember it being something else. Or just not... There not being a uh, 20... Or 23 at all before. I'm pretty sure anyways. Let me just switch up the trip real quick. Uh, okay. You know, that drip is fine, but uh, I just wanna... Let me, see, let me see how it looks without this. Hmm. I'm just thinking, like, of the drip, because I think this is gonna be our final drip. The one we end the game with. I'm, so I'm trying to, like, see which one would be good for that. Or I don't know, I guess not. I guess not. I guess we'll, we'll go through another, a couple other phases of drip. I'll just reset back to what we were wearing in the first place. This and then this. The champion. The champion still lives. The champion still, still lives. The beast eye quivers. Fucking hell. Oh god, you know what's funny? I just... I just... I just locked on and I realized that in the stream that we're gonna be doing the last stream but that's likely gonna be missing from my uh, available functions for a little while because those of you who know um, on Monday we'll be doing our last stream it's gonna be 12 hours long and we're gonna have a bunch of challenges and basically there's, it's gonna be like okay first of all I'm gonna discount everything to like one dollar so like all the TTS and effects and stuff, I'm gonna uh, make that a dollar, starting at starting at a dollar and then you know going from there. And um, I'm gonna also add it like a thingy where you can like pay for twenty as usual, and then you can spin a wheel or I'll spin a wheel for you, and that wheel has a bunch of challenges, and then it can land on uh, a certain challenge which I gotta do. Uh, one of them includes me, uh, my head. So yeah, that's gonna be great. Uh, although it's a very low chance, so it'll probably never never happen. Probably. I just go down here? Like that? Okay, good. I'm hoping that never happens. And also, I'm gonna be spinning the wheel, obviously, like, because I wanna still use the wheel, even if no one pays for uh, the entire stream. I'm gonna be spinning the wheel uh, for free once every hour. However, uh, all of the very rare, rare shit, all the very rare um, punishments. So, like, for example, th there's two, really, that are, like, really rare. Which one is sh shaving my head. And the other is uh, shaving my beard. So, you know, no beard, no hair. And so there's those two. Uh, although those, I'm not sure if... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to actually include them as uh, part of the free rotations. I'm only doing that shit if someone pays and gets that. There's no way I'm doing that for free. But the other challenges, yeah, the, the, the other ones I'm, I'm going to do for free. Every one every hour, so 12 challenges in total for free. So it should still add some entertainment to the stream, make it special even if no one donates. Because that is the goal with the, with the wheel mostly. I just wanted to make it like a special stream, you know, so something else is happening. And besides, it's not nor just a normal stream, since it is going to be our last Elden Ring stream for a while. Even though I did call it, I basically called it our last Elden Ring stream. Even though that's not exactly true, but I, I, there's a reason I made it uh, 
on Monday instead of Tuesdays because it's April Fools. So then I felt like I get I could get away with a bit of a bit of a a bit of a white lie, you know. But to be fair, it is gonna be our fucking last Elden Ring stream for a while until the DLC comes out. So. I'm going to make also be making the Discord public on the first. So for a last downloading stream as well. So hopefully we get a bit more engagement with that. Because right now it's just three people, including myself. Mm, nothing down there. And probably nothing down there. I'm going to go check though. Man, I forgot there was an invisible walkway. Yeah, I, I, I forget that uh, very often as well. Fresh inside of my head. You bastard. You fucking ba- Is there actually nothing? Again? Uh, I'm getting real tired of this shit, dude. If I see that shit one time in a DLC, I'm just gonna quit the DLC on the spot and refund it. I swear to God. Well, I don't actually. I'm not gonna refund it. I'm gonna still play it fully, but regardless. I'm constantly changing my drip. I literally just can't stick to one single drip. Stop baiting me with these fucking signs, dude. I keep thinking that there's something there. God damn it. A bunch of fucking liars playing this game, dude. What the hell? Wait, do they have Destin Death? On their swords, or just, just, just bleed? It could also be just bleed, I guess. You can always dislike those messages. I don't know what uh, it does to the message owner, like uploading those recharges on his health. Actually, funny thing is, at least I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure. If you dislike it, the owner gets a recharge on his health. So if you dislike it, you're literally assisting him. Because the, all that matters is, is that yeah, like you gave some kind of response to the message. If you did, the guy, the guy who posted the message, he gets a boost. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. He always gets a boost in HP. He, just gets, he always gets a health recovery. So it's literally pointless if you're trying to like punish him for something or something like that. Like utterly <laughs> balls. I'm pretty sure that command doesn't work still. Sadly, sadly. It's a shame, it's a shame. I wish commands did work. They should work, there's no reason for them not to work. But they just don't for some reason. Cam 2. Nah, I'm not, dude, I'm, do I look fucking rich enough to have two fucking separate cameras, dude? Hell nah. Hell nah. Your moderate, we should fix it. Yeah, he's not around, unfortunately. I should probably remove him from moderator, he's not even here. Most of the time. He's just gone. What do you guys say? Should we, should we ban the moderator? Or at least uh, remove his moderator status? It's been a while since, this is, since he was here. It's been a while. When he drops in, it's very rare. It doesn't drop in often. I'm trying to find like something to pair up with this. Don't be harsh. He is here sometimes. True. I mean, sometimes. Like last time? I mean, he was last time for like one message and he left, I'm pretty sure. To be fair. Uh, but no, I'm obviously not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna fucking do anything. I'm gonna let, his, let him keep his mod. It's not like it matters if he has mod or not. He doesn't use it anyways. Okay. I'm just trying to check like what could we combine with that. I mean, that kind of looks good. Holy shit, that kind of looks good. Is there nothing else that kind of like... That actually, you know what? I'm not sure which one, which one's better. Which one's which one better? The big horns or the, the fancy horns? Like the demon horns or the fucking antlers? Like which one, which one looks better? I'm thinking this one. I'm not quite sure. What do you guys say? Big horns? I agree, I agree. I agree. Horns. 
You can't just say horns. That doesn't that doesn't help me. I don't know which ones you mean. You just just say horns. But that actually kind of works as well. But now okay, we'll go, we'll do the horns. We'll do the whole horns. That actually looks really good. <laughs> Glowing horns are... What the fuck does DS mean? Am I, am I stupid? Are dog shit? Is that what it stands for? I have a screenshot from Elden Ring with those antlers on Chad character. Nice. I mean, my character is also Chad, to be fair. You can, you can witness the horns right now. See? Oh, but the glowing ones look so cool in the snow, though, for real. But now nah, this one looks better, just... Because we are more of a brawler type character, you know? Heavy, heavy type of... Fighter, so it looks better like this, honestly. Well, this is I, I've never seen anyone do this kind of fa fashion souls like this specific fashion souls. I've never seen anyone do it. I don't know, I don't, I don't remember anyone ever doing it. This looks super unique, like this fucking kind of like big hulking type, you know, guy character. It looks great. Okay, Yarek sent me the, the, the picture. Let me open it up in chat uh, on, on stream. Okay, wait a second. Look at this shit. <laughs> but what is it? that looks like a um, like a Spanish Chad like, I don't know something about him just looks look he looks Spanish to me or like Mexican Mexican or Spanish that, that looks great though that looks fucking fantastic El Chad <laughs> El Chad <laughs> uh, you should fight Melania with pure chat appearance. Oh yeah, we're stripping all of this. We're going full naked. We're we're gonna let her bathe in the glory of our chat. We're not gonna hide anything from the world. In fact, we might just go to our. Um, actually, no, we're gonna do that for the end. Something else that I thought of. I'm not gonna say what. But yeah, she's gonna bask in the nakedness of the chat for sure, for sure. Uh, okay, so I hate this fucking area because I have no idea where the fuck it anywhere leads to. No spike balls, eh? Nah, we're not gonna use spike balls unless we absolutely have to. But I, I don't think we're gonna have to use them at all. I I might have to upgrade him to plus what is it, plus twenty five or plus twenty in this game? I forgot. I think it's plus twenty five. So we're gonna have to upgrade him to that, to like to the maximum level, definitely. But we're not using spike balls though. But normal balls are getting upgraded all the way probably. Which I think is fair. I mean, it's fair. It's just like a... It's still challenging. Fighting Melania with no cheese is a challenge by itself. Spike Ball is literally only if we're here for like... I don't know how many hours. If we're here for like seven hours... And I still haven't beaten her... Or maybe like... I don't know. If we're fighting her for like an hour or two straight... And I still haven't beaten her... I'm gonna use Spike Balls. But it, I, I doubt that will happen. I'm pretty sure we'll get her eventually. It should be fine. Basically, or I shouldn't probably set like any kind of like time on it. it it's just I will, I'll use spike balls if I feel like I cannot beat her with normal balls. However long that takes, I don't know. But I guarantee I will try my hardest with the normal balls. Ayo, right, Spready, the mod is finally here. He's finally here. Spready, fix my fucking... Find a way to fix the, the commands so they work. Do something a mod would do. For once. Uh, fi fix the fucking commands. Tell me how to fix them. How, why, why don't they work? For uh, stream elements. Go, go do a little bit of research on that. That's your job. I'm so lost in this fucking snowstorm, I swear to god. I have no idea where I'm going. I hope I'm going the right way. I keep forgetting to look. I need to look at. I literally need to look at three things. This is so annoying. I need to look at Twitch chat. I need to look at YouTube chat, and then I need to look at the activity feed for like stuff like donations. Because if someone like comes into Twitch chat and donates like bits, I, they won't show up on stream. I have to literally read them out. Because I don't have shared. Um, what do you call it again? A shared uh, alert box. I think you could get one of those. Just, just not sure if I want to. Because I'm not sure how how much of oh fuck I thought I was gonna fall off like what what the capabilities are of that because um, for the one I have right now obviously I can set like specific 
price points for TTS to play and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I can do that with the other one. With like the ones that are like merged. If I can, then I'll probably switch to that. But if not, then no. Because it is a bit unfair for just like YouTube stuff to show up on the thingy. To be fair, if you donate, it doesn't matter either way. Because as long as you donate through stream elements, it doesn't matter where you donate from. Twitch or YouTube, you will still uh, get, the, get the message read out and it will pop up on stream. Because it's not, stream elements isn't YouTube or Twitch. It's just, you know, it's a third party thingy. Okay, let's fight this guy. How are these guys still considered bosses? That's so odd. Oh, it's a rot one. We haven't seen one of those in a while. No, 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 I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. I'm dead. I actually fucked up so hard. That was so bad. Yeah, but uh, you guys get your fucking savings. Uh, get your savings ready for uh, Monday. Get your savings ready. If, if there's any time to donate some money, it's, it's gonna be on Monday. Because then at least you get to see me suffer. You know, instead of just having like your message read out. Although obviously you can do that as well for a, for a dollar. Which is I feel like much a much more um, manageable thing for most people. I feel like everyone like is willing to donate a dollar. Five uh, five, uh, five dollars is a bit much well, a bit more. I guess it's, it's not five. It's four twenty. But I had to make it that because obviously I do not want to do some of the punishments. Like if that if someone sh if someone pays money to roll the wheel, to spin the wheel, and it fucking lands on me shaving my head, I'm gonna actually fucking, like, get depression. That's gonna be awful. I do not wanna shave my fucking head because some guy donated five bucks to me. That's not worth five bucks. How come they, that it's always the same thing? Oh, it's always the light magic, no matter which variant of the, the earth tree thing it is. Like, no matter which variation of this enemy it is, the, the, the stomp attack, or whatever it's called, not the stomp attack, the, the attack that's like, you know, whatever. The attack, the attack that, like that one. I don't know, how, how would you call that? The, the, I guess the ground stab attack? That one's always light. Then like a few thousand people randomly join and start donating every second, imagine the chaos. If that shit were to happen, which obviously it won't, but it would be pretty funny. And I would definitely like that, right? That means I would get like a thousand dollars, dude, that is amazing. Um, but it's not happening. But thank god, honestly, in this situation. If that were to happen though, I would definitely like just switch the prices. I would put it back to 420, uh, the normal thing. Or like at least up it to like three dollars or something like that, you know? So if everyone's donating, then I'm gonna earn three thousand dollars, which is way better. Um, but yeah, if that were to happen, I would just up the prices and then, then like for spinning the wheel, I would, I would up it to 6.9 euros probably, or maybe 10, just straight up 10. Because especially for the challenges, like if a lot of people would start, start donating for challenges, I would, I would definitely have to like, like it would make the game unplayable. Like, I don't know if you've seen the list of challenges, it's on Discord, it's on Discord, you should have seen it, I think. I did make it like a public announcement at everyone. Um, the list of challenges, imagine combining every single one of them. Imagine people donate so, so many times that I have to combine all of those challenges. Dude, the game would be unplayable. I have to do blind, right? Bl blind, can't see the game. Um, unarmed, a fucking, what's it, what else is it called? What else, what else, what else they got? I got uh, all bosses, no hit. Like if it lands on that shit, I have to do a boss, No, uh, the final boss is no hit, like one of them. I think, it was, I, think I could put it like for phases. So, so it's more common, so it rolls more often. But yeah, imagine that. And then, like, for example, there's, I also have, like, no fast travel. I was gonna originally do no map at all, but that, that, that shit would make just the stream boring, because I wouldn't know where the fuck to go. I would just be wandering around doing nothing. And, um... I'm gonna be lurking, have a good stream. No problem, man. I'm glad that you're, you're uh, sacrificing work for me, man. That, that is, uh... Work focus. <laughs> sacrificing work focus for me. That is very touching, very touching. Probably shouldn't do it though, but very touching, very touching. I'm not gonna stop you. Um, right, what was I saying? What other what challenges I got? I got like a ton of, I got like no healing. I got um, no jumping, so no jumping attacks. And I guess no jumping in general. So that also makes the game quite hard. 
obviously like if i if i were to like heal or dodge because obviously it can happen on accident that means death i just i just let the enemy kill me or i just jump off a cliff or something like that so yeah, that, that stream is gonna be fun though that definitely because regardless of if people donate or not i am gonna be rolling the wheel so there's still gonna be challenges happening constantly so it's still gonna be a fun stream rega regardless i am hoping obviously that people do donate I mean, I did incentivize it pretty fucking hard, to be fair, with all the challenges and also the fact that if you get lucky enough when you donate, you might get to see me just my entire fucking, uh, my entire fucking hair. All of my hair just goes bye-bye. And obviously I would do it here, live. I wouldn't do it off, off camera. That would be awful though. To, though, to be fair, my hair grows back fast, so it's not a too big of a deal. And not like I leave the house anyways that much. And whenever I do, you know, just put a fucking cap on. The dedication. I, uh, I'm, I'm shocked that more YouTubers don't do shit like that. Like, that's such an easy thing. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shave my fucking head, right? That's such an easy thing, though. Like, if you're a person who goes outside a lot, I understand. But, like, I feel like most people who stream do not get outside that much. So why do you care if you shave your fucking head? Like, do you really care about that much about your hair? I don't. I mean, I care enough to make you have to pay for, for a chance to... For it to happen, I'm not gonna do it for free, obviously. No fucking way. I don't care how many like views it gets me on YouTube. I'm not fucking do it for free. I need money. But um, yeah, still, I, I wouldn't like mind doing it for money. And besides, it is a chance, to be fair. Unless someone just comes in and is like, "Here's a thousand bucks," then I'll do it. Then I'll do it. I don't care when. You can pick any challenge. If you donate like a, a thousand bucks, I don't care what the fuck. You can. I'll do. I'll do anything. Any of the challenges that are present, or you can suggest one yourself. I genuinely don't care if you donate that much money. At that point, but I love. Uh, but obviously, like you have like the bigger streamers, who are already earning earning like thousands a month, and they're like, no, no, no. If you want me to do like the most basic challenge, a ten k, ten k, ten k, because they can say that because they they genuinely don't care because they earn money anyways. I can't do that though, obviously. I'm I like early on. I need to sacrifice as much as I can. As much self sacrifice as necessary till I eventually actually turn this into my job. Hopefully. To be fair, I just need like, uh, if I'm like eventually earning like a thousand from YouTube, that's fine, honestly, for me. I don't need any more with that than that. Mostly just thanks to my parents because they're absolute giga chats. Because like a thousand bucks is easily covers anything that I, um, like my part basically. Just like all the food food that I eat because I don't eat that much. Uh, all the uh, obviously to pay for all the electricity because obviously I do use the most electricity in the house. For like help pay for for water shit like that you know just for bills in general like a thousand earning a thousand bucks per month that would be perfect for me i'd be able to live off of youtube for that at least until my parents you know uh eventually kick me out then i'd probably need a couple a couple uh, like a thousand more or something like that but hopefully hopefully i'll get some money actually from uh from my games not not the one i'm making right now obviously that one's gonna be free because it is a fan game but uh the later games that i'm gonna make because this one is just more of a trial run to see you know if i can make good games and if i should continue doing it and if i like it at all which i mean so far i do man i've just been i said we're gonna do consecrated snowfield i've just been ranting i've just been fucking yapping for 30 minutes but to be fair not like it matters it just gives me more stuff to do in the um, in the final stream because I, I did say that was 12, 12 hours it depends, and the, it depends if it's gonna be 12 hours or not. The plan is to do like one hour of like catching up and then, or like to catching up to 100%. Um, so like doing all the side content that we missed and also just farming for, for items. And then the other, uh, the other hours, hour would be like PvP, for example. And then I'd, I'd switch back to it. Also not to mention how one of the punishments is playing a league game, which also like takes 30 minutes, obviously. So that is another thing that kind of ex extends the stream up to 12 hours and obviously I'm, I'm gonna let people suggest their own challenges as well uh, during the stream and it's not like a mind i will probably for like a suggestion you probably i'm gonna probably like have to say like pay like 6.9 dollars to suggest your own thing at what time uh, there will be pvp uh just every other hour just we're gonna do like one hour of uh, doing side content and stuff and then i'm just gonna do pvp I've got to do like both with P with randoms and just with uh, people here as well, you know. Anyone who wants to like do PvP, we want to like you know, if you have like different characters, different builds, and you want to try those builds out against me. Hey, we got time. We literally have six hours to do it. Well, not six hours, five hours, because I think in the last once we reach like ten hours, um, 
then I'm gonna do the last three bosses and end it. Though probably I, I I'm assuming that very few people would be there for the finale because the finale is literally going to be my time. It's gonna be 4 a.m. and like universal time is gonna be 3 a.m. So it's gonna be it's gonna be quite early in the morning to be fair. But at least like I feel like in, in uh, like 3 a.m. 4 a.m. is like late night for I think late night for Americans. So uh, at least I'll have some Americans over there because I'm pretty sure like for example critical streams like at like 3 a.m. which is why I can never catch his streams because he only he streams at the time that is really best just best for him to be fair I did the same shit but uh yeah um I'm assuming only Americans will be here by the time that we actually beat the game I, I did I get lost again I have no idea where I am that's the red wolf the red wolf wolf oh, dude that much damage no 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 you don't get to do that much damage fuck you oh also uh there i said there was gonna be like an unarmed challenge where we do an unarmed build uh i doubt that will count for pvp i will try it with pvp but if uh, uh, other people doing pvp aren't willing to go fist to fist with me like if they just jump with three rolls of blood multiple times so i'll probably do it for like for like one time right one time um, uh, and then once it, once the time runs, cause it's like, I think it's like, what did I set it? I think I set it to like one hour of unarmed build or was it 30 minutes? I think it was one hour. And if in that one hour we're doing PVP and fuck, I died because I wasn't focusing in. And if that one hour in, in that one hour we do PVP and nobody's willing to do like unarmed build against unarmed build, then I'm just not going to bother with it. Cause obviously it's not fun to just get killed over and over again for an hour. So if we landed on that, we're going to reroll. If it turns out to not work, work out, work out well. If it does, however, then yeah, obviously I'm gonna do it for PvP as well. <laughs> also, I guess doing unarmed versus like uh, actual viewers would be pretty fun as well. Unarmed people would take a few hours to kill someone even without armor. True, true. Kind of true. I, okay, well, to be fair, do players have that much HP? It depends if you heal or not. If you don't heal, then no. It, I doubt it would take that long. But if you, if you if you if you do heal, then yeah, definitely. It would take a couple of fucking hours per per enemy for sure. All right, let's see if this works. Ah, oh, it doesn't. It, no more. We don't get that glitch anymore where we could open the the, the chest. We actually gotta kill the giant. God damn it! But I can't do that yet. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go yoink the souls. I don't want to lose him because it's literally like three hundred thousand. But if you, if any of you watching have uh, suggestions uh, for like challenges that I could do, add to the wheel. Uh, feel free to re leave them uh, in the in the chat. I'll consider them as long as they're like reasonable and sound fun to do, or sound painful to do for me. I'll I'll leave them. Uh, I'll um, how do you say? I'll add them to the to the list of challenges. Yeah, if you got any, just feel free to leave it in the thingy. Have you played Sekiro? Yes, once. I've played Sekiro once. Very fun game. My second favorite uh, game from From Software, probably. First is Bloodborne, obviously. Least favorite? Can you guess what it is? It's Elden Ring. No, it's not. Is it? Is Elden Ring my least favorite? No, I feel like after this stream, after after or after the, these streams, I think Elden Ring. I, I've Become somewhat partial to Elden Ring. I, I like it. Is that how you say partial to something? I like it. I like it now more than I liked it before. And it's all thanks to this run, honestly. It's just thanks to this run and thanks to streaming, I feel like. It's become way more fun to play. So it's probably like my, like... I, Elden Ring is probably like my... I don't know. My... Second least favorite. I think Demon's Souls is then probably my least favorite. Uh, game from From Software that I've played. Dark Souls, uh, no Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne. Uh, for me, for the list, for my list of like favorite Souls games, it would probably or Souls games from software games. Did I grab the Souls? I did. Uh, it would definitely go uh, Bloodborne, Sekiro, uh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Two, Dark Souls Three, Dark Souls, Dark Souls Three, Dark Souls One. No, 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 no like that. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot it. Dark Souls Two, Dark Souls Three. Dark Souls 1, um, Elden Ring, and then Bloodborne. 
Although depending on the DLC, Elden Ring might become my favorite, who knows. I, I had thought it would become my favorite, but probably like, maybe like third favorite. I could see replacing the Dark Souls 2 as long as my favorite, as long as it uh, the DLC is like amazing. If it isn't, then maybe top four. If it's like the DLC is like great, you know, just as good as the past ones have been, then it could be a top four contender. But to beat Dark Souls 2 and how much I like it, uh, it'll have to be pretty fucking amazing. Because like Dark Souls 2 is, is really my favorite. I really love that game. It's not the best though. It's not the best. I want to make that clear. It's definitely the worst uh, mechanically game. But it's still my favorite. I love it. I just love it so much. Okay. Go past these guys. Hopefully I don't fall off a cliff or something. Oh my god damn, dude, that final boss in Sekiro, holy moly, that was fucking difficult as shit. That was hard as fuck to do. I saw some fucking, and that pissed me off. I, I don't think I've ever seen a fucking YouTube short that made me this mad, dude. Some fucking dude was like, made a short saying like, how come nobody's talking about how, how easy Sekiro is, dude? And then I fucking see clips of him playing it, and it bro's just literally running around, um, hitting the enemy, and then backing away again. He's not actually playing it properly. Nothing will beat the feeling when I first boot up Dark Souls 1 Remastered as my first Souls game. Such nostalgia. I, I, you know, it's funny. I don't think I am... Um, how do you say it? I don't think I am... Um, how would I describe it? I am... Weak to nostalgia. I guess that, that's, how, how we, uh, that's the best way to say it. I don't think I'm weak to nostalgia. I, my first uh, Dark Souls game was Dark Souls 3. And while I do like that game quite a bit, it definitely isn't my favorite. It definitely isn't my favorite. It's it's it literally might be like what is my fourth favorite Dark Souls game? It's right in the middle. Or Dark Souls game. It, it's my second favorite Dark Souls game, but uh, uh, fourth favorite from software game. So it gets beaten out by quite a quite a few games. I just don't think I'm actually like um or blinded by nostalgia in any case, really. At least I'd like to think so. I always like to like look at things through a critical lens, I think that's why. Which is why, you know, I'm so critical of Elden Ring, because I actually do look at it critically, which most people don't. Most people are just like, yeah, it's just a game, have fun with it. But then they'll dare criticize other games. Like, come on. If you're gonna say like, if you're ever gonna use the argument like, it's a game, or have fun with it, or like, I don't know, you're fucking, you're your critic, your, like, your criticism is petty or something like that. They cannot fucking criticize any other game because pr pretty much 90% of criticisms for any game is very petty. It's very petty. Maybe not 90%, but yeah. A, a very large percent of criticism for any game is very petty. Petty or just like, yeah, but not really. For example, uh, whenever someone criticizes the Far Cry games, the newer Far Cry games, or like um, the newer Assassin's Creed games, really anything from Ubisoft, uh, that those criticisms are, are not are not really valid to the quality of the game because all you are, all most people argue is the games aren't doing anything new they're not really original which I mean you could criticize the same like Dark Souls for the same thing and uh, Elden Ring as well they don't innovate that much to be fair Elden Ring does Elden Ring tried to innovate quite a bit although in my opinion it utterly failed in most what well, most ways the only thing really it succeeded in doing is making the game more open to people but they didn't succeed in making a good open world game. In fact, it's one of the worst that I've ever played. Like, as as an open world game. Because the open world sucks ass. I'll die again. I'm not fighting this wolf anymore. I'm gonna run away. Um, almost because I'm talking. I think that's why it's happening. Uh, what else? What else did they try doing? I forgot. They tried, obviously, like... like Another example. Sneaking mechanic in this game. Bro, it's useless. It's literally useless. Who the fuck uses that shit? It's, it, it, and the only time it's, like, incentivized is in the first area of the game. And that's it. They never again try to incentivize it in any way to for you to use stealth. So that's another fail mechanic. Jumping mechanic, again, they try to add, like diversify the combat, add more verticality. That also failed in my opinion. Like for some part, like for the level design, it worked out. But for the enemy design and boss design, like that that verticality ruins a lot of fucking boss encounters because it just doesn't work, it's broken. Like Sekiro did that way better. I don't know how they managed to fuck it up with this game. Uh, sometimes people just like every aspect of the set game. Like I almost, like I like... Almost everything about Elden expects except few re repeating bosses. Yeah, yeah, I understand that as well. But like for me, I genuinely do like try to look at things critically. Well, not, I don't really try to be fair. I don't go out of my way or anything. It just happens naturally for me. And that's how I just play games. I play 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 games and watch things through a critical lens. 
I still enjoy it. It's not like I don't fucking enjoy anything. I enjoy playing Elden Ring. I just like thinking about what I'm, you know, playing or watching, which most people don't like to do, really, to be fair. Like, very few people will criticize whatever they're doing, like watching a movie or... or very few people criticize a movie, TV show, anime, or game. Uh... Unless it's like blatantly, unless there's blatantly something wrong with it. Like for Eldering, for you, for example, um, you say like, for example, you you don't like repeating bosses. That is like very much a, how do I, how do I say, this sounds like an insult, but it's not. A surface level criticism, meaning it's it's very much like a blatant issue with the game, right? It's not, it's not like, uh, you're, it's not nothing you need to look too deep into. Like it's right there, right? Ryu's bosses, obviously, like they're spammed all the time. It's not hard to, no to notice what's wrong with the game. Another issue is, you know why a lot of people don't notice the issues with Elden Ring? It's because they don't play it like, like a Souls-like, or a Souls game. Or, or yeah, Souls-like at all. They don't play it like that. They use like overpowered builds. Uh, they get through the game pretty easily. They, a lot of them uh, tend to like stun lock a bosses. And also, how, what do you say? They, they, they tend to like stun lock bosses or like do massive amounts of damage to them so they don't really need to dodge them they put on heavy armor so they can just poise through everything heal and beat the boss so they don't really notice all the issues with the game and that's why they I, i'm just shocked that they, they that they are not uh, self-aware enough to realize that and that they like actually get pissed off whenever you criticize a game for something for something that they have no idea about because they never experienced it like for example me that me criticizing melania for her like uh just in general for her design boss design because i think she's one of the worst design bosses from software's ever made um me criticizing her, for example, uh, someone who has beaten her using cheese tactics, like Bloodhound Step or um, a Freeze Pot is not really a cheese tactic, to be fair. But for example, something like that, right? Didn't try to be her like a Souls game, okay? You just dodge through it. Those people will never understand. And yet they will somehow still try and defend it, which makes no sense to me. Like, why would you try and defend it if you never actually, if you don't know anything about it because you never experienced it yourself? You know? Like, a lot of people say, well, you can, like, dodge Melania just by rolling normally. You can, under two conditions. Number one, you're not in, in her face and not doing an attack while she jumps into the air. If she's doing an attack, you jump into the air, you're dead. You, I don't care how, you don't, you're dead. Um, unless, you obviously, you use cheese tactics. Uh, if you just try to dodge it, like, normally, with a normal dodge, in a normal way, no. And the only way to actually dodge it with a normal dodge is to, you run in a circle to confuse her AI, and you just roll out, out a specific moment, and she just roll, uh, attacks you at the complete opposite direction, and it fucks up her entire move. But it is bugging out the AI, it's not intended. It's not the intended way to dodge her attack. It's a possible way, but it definitely isn't intended, 100%. You're literally bugging out her AI. I love shitting on animations and movies and series. Every single detail I see it criticized. Okay, I definitely don't do that. I don't go that far, but that is also, yeah. For that really just shows like, um, I was gonna say that just shows you really like you're passionate about what you're what you're watching you know interacting with that just says like you're passionate but if you're not like if you don't criticize anything i don't think you could really be passionate about something as much if you're just like say like okay yeah it's fun and i don't see anything wrong with it it's like is that really is that really cannot really be considered passion you're not really putting in any kind of effort into it you know you're not thinking about it, about the thing that you like at all Obviously, there's exceptions, like, when people think about the lore, and they'll discuss the lore, that's an exception. Obviously, but, like, just in general, people are just like, yeah, I played the game, it's a fun game, it's a masterpiece, I see nothing wrong with it. It's like, I mean, that, that just makes, makes it seem to me like you don't give a shit about the game at all. Because you're, you're not even willing to criticize it, or, like, look into, like, what it, or think about, like, what it does right and what it does wrong. Uh, Queen. Melania? Nah. Nah, not a queen. Not a queen. A fucking bastard, I hate her. I hate her so much. Uh, the thing is as well, I've been shitting on her now, but I, uh, like once we get into her fight, I'm gonna do a fucking zen move. I'm gonna zone out. I'm gonna be like, okay, I've never fought this boss before because I'm actually really good at doing this. I don't know if that's like a, a common thing people can do or not. It, it makes it seem like I'm fucking like bragging about it. I mean, to be fair, I am. I'm really good at like zoning out and just like resetting my mindset. I, I think I'm, I'm really good at doing that. So when, if I, when I fight Melania first, I'm just going to reset my mindset and go into her being like, okay, this is, I, uh, I'm just going to be like, okay, what does everyone say about this boss? It's a great boss, you know, it's perfectly fair, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go into the, well, nobody says it's perfectly fair, to be fair, but still. 
I'm gonna go into that kind of into the fight with that kind of mind mindset, and we'll, you'll get to actively see my mindset change throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna go in with a fresh mindset, you know, as if I've never fought her before. I'm not gonna think anything of her fight, and then I'm gonna give you like the opinions I developed live. I'm gonna de develop new opinions live, and hey, if they're different from my current opinions, that would actually surprise me quite a bit. But it might happen. Who knows? It's been a while since I fought Melina. I don't know, but they might have patched her. That or you know, maybe I just got good. That's also a possibility. Maybe I just got good. Maybe it was just shit at the game. Uh, but yeah, definitely looking forward to that whole experience. What happened? Ah, invader. Invader. Fuck, I'm yapping so much. It's been 40 minutes. I've been just yapping. I haven't even been playing the game. Ah, sanguine noble. noble. Sanguine noble. God damn, the Giga Chad, dude. The, those pink eyes. Terrifying. Look at those pink eyes. Ooh, terrifying. Hello. Oh, fuck. Hey, dude. Oh, my God. What? I forgot I can parry. What the hell? I love how he gonna... He slashes multiple times. But I somehow don't parry a single one of those slashes. That doesn't make much sense to me. Fuck, I'm actually gonna die of bleed. Oh, well, how? Ooh. How dare you? Can, can this fucking flying thing stop? To like pr procedurally check everything to see that I didn't miss anything. Oh, both chats and uh, the activity feed for like donations and stuff. But to be fair, I won't miss donations. I might just miss like uh, other shit, like someone subscribing or something like that. I do want to acknowledge that at least, at least for now, while I don't have any like where I have a uh, very few subs. I mean, very few. It's not really very few. It's, I'm actually kind of shocked that I managed to get as many subs as I did. And the views as well. Now, considering I just started out, it's, it's kind of actually... I've I'm, I'm got a pretty positive mindset be because of it. You know? Like, 30-something subs in, like, a month. Like, that's pretty good, I'd say, for me. At le like, at least for, like, what I'm doing. Like, when did you see last a gaming channel, like, you know... In, like, a first... In their first month, get this much attention? Well... There are exceptions, obviously. Like people who do like insane challenge runs and like do something insanely creative. Like Duck Duck, for example. Like he's also a gaming channel, kind of a little bit. He does play games sometimes and lets his viewers play games, but not really a gaming centric channel. Mine is more of just like a standard let's play where you just, uh, where I just do like a basic challenge, you know what I mean? I don't really do any like insane challenges or anything. Yeah, I had the same mindset here. Mm. Okay, ah, uh, this is the one that shoots at the This is the one that shoots at you. Fucking hell, dude. Chill out. The fucking performance, dude. It's dead. It's gone. It's oh, the performance is dead. It's dead. It, it got killed. Nah, I know I'm dead. But it didn't work out. I mean. I don't know how long you've been uh, trying the YouTube thing, but and to be fair, you did. You said you did animations, which is yeah. That's that shit is just. If you're doing that shit on, on YouTube, yeah, that's just good luck. That's one of the hardest possible things you can do on YouTube. But yeah, I definitely don't intend on like giving up ever on YouTube. Now that I started, it's just too much fun to do. I don't think I could ever I ever give up. Like even if I just don't get any views, even like after a year. Like, even if after a year I'm still not, like, monetized and not getting, like, subs and views, as long as I have, like, a couple people here in chat talking, I doubt I'll ever get, like, bored of it. It's just so, it's just fun for me. I like talking to people. Especially about, like, all 
Not especially. I only like to be fair. I only like talking about with people about like um, topics that I, uh, you know, that I'm interested in. Well, I get to be fair, not necessarily. But it's definitely more fun than just talking about I don't know sports or something I have no idea about. You know, like having a serious conversation, like for example, like a professional conversation. Like that shit's just boring. That bores me out of my mind. I hate doing it. I don't even know why that's still a thing. Like, what, what what's up with all the like uh, professionalism? In the world, I feel like it's so unnecessary. Like, just talk casually. Don't be a fucking like. Nobody likes talking like that. Nobody likes like sitting down in in suits and talking professionally. What's the point of that? Like, I know what the point of that is. It's because people, you know, decided that that's how we're gonna do things. And now, if you don't do that, like things like that, you're a fucking weirdo. But honestly, like, I feel like we should all just be like look each other in the eyes and be like, yeah, that's kind of fucking ridiculous what we're doing. Like, you're gonna fucking sit down in a suit and when it's like 40 degrees outside. Like, fuck off, dude. Let's talk about business and politics. Um, sure, what, what, what politics? Sorry, what's happening? Uh, Ukraine, Ukraine. A very bad situation. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know, man. I genuinely do not give a shit about politics. I feel like there's so many fucking people who, like, have stupid opinions as well. When it comes to politics. Like, I feel like having, having, having no opinion on politics is probably the smartest thing you can do because, like... No matter which opinion you have, most 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 of the time they're all wrong. There's no correct opinion they have when it comes to politics. It literally deals with like humanity and like hum like you can't judge that really with right and wrong. Most of the time. I heard Farron decided to build pyramids. Wait, I'm late. <laughs> uh. I, I, well, actually, to be fair, he didn't build the pyramids. It was a. Uh, or was it? No, it wasn't a bunch of slaves, was it? They weren't, were they slaves or were they actually nobles who built the pyramids? I forgot, what, what was it again? Because, like, I, I remember there being something, some revelation. Wasn't there, like, we thought that slaves had built it, but then it turned out they didn't. They were, they were paid workers. Yeah, weren't they literally, like, given a spot in the, in the pyramid? Like, buried there as well? Like, it was basically, they were building their own graves, essentially, basically. <laughs> like, I heard something about that. So, it might be wrong. But I thought I heard something like that. Uh, we've been, we've been, it's, it's been an hour, so let's just go to Halo Tree and do Millennia and stuff like that. Because I feel like we're not really getting anywhere. Okay. Like that. Even Ezreon left? Bastard. Bastard. Uh, right, this is, I forgot there's an armor set on the, under the bridge. Oh, he didn't leave. He didn't leave. Fake news. <laughs> you didn't leave. You're here, buddy. You're here. Sorry for calling you a bastard. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Ban him. <laughs> uh. Okay. Time out at least. Not. Nah, dude, I can't time him out. He's literally a mod on my fucking Discord server. I can't do that shit. I can't do that shit, nah. He, he literally fucking... He's the only reason the Discord server is even, like, usable. I swear to God. Like, I, I like the first time I made a Discord server, like, you know, when, when I made it when initially, bro, there's so much wrong with it. With, there was so much wrong with it, I had no fucking clue. I got hit that he pointed that shit out to me. Otherwise, the Discord server would, like, get released and it would be utter, utter garbage. I probably actually I probably never would have released it even until I get like until I got like hundreds of uh, viewers. Then only then would I have fucking released it. But now we can actually get it released on Monday. Well, we can get it released right now to be fair, but I don't want I want to do it on Monday when there's a big big uh, big stream because I feel like that would be more of a uh, event, you know, I'd release something publicly. That'd be nice. Okay, I light the four. Yeah, okay. Uh, I tried to enter the ever jail first off, but I couldn't.
By the way, I want. I just want to say. Um, I'm not sure if I should thank you guys or ban you guys for joining my first streams. I'm st talking specifically about, about Spray D and Ezrion. Um, my viewer base is mostly German. Even though I do not speak German. Even though uh, I do not stream at times that are convenient. Well, to be fair, I guess I do stream at times that are convenient for Germans, I guess, kind of. But but still, I find it, I find, I'm pretty sure that you guys, because, because you guys joined and because you, you fucking asked all my other friends, uh, or I guess they're your friends more than mine. I, mean, I really fucking... Like, most of them, I, I never really fucking talked to, did I? Um, to be fair, Ezran, I didn't really talk to you either that much uh, in college. But, um... What was I gonna say? Fuck. I forgot what I was gonna say. Because you brought all those fucking people over, I think pretty sure YouTube thinks that, like, I speak German and that I'm, like, I make content for Germans. Because literally, I, I, think, I think it just keeps recommending my content to Germans. I don't know why. I mean, I know why. I literally just said why. And so I'm not sure if I should thank you for, like, making the streams more engaging. Or just ban you for fucking making my content being recommended to fucking Germans. But then, then again, to be fair, I don't really give a shit about my videos or uh, shorts. I'm sh mostly streaming. That, that's my main thing. The, the shorts and the... Um, the shorts and the videos are mostly just used to promote my streams. And that's about it. They're just promotional material for my streams. I don't really want to ever make videos exclusively because i just don't i just don't feel like uh if i'm like playing a game i'd prefer to just do it live unless it's a game that can't be played live which i mean it's very few games okay you like that that's the fucking invisible assassin i'm pretty sure fucking asshole How'd I kill him? How'd I kill him? Fuck say, how'd I kill him? Is there any way to make him visible? There we go, there we go. Oh shit, did you fucking see that, dude? Oh shit, I don't even need to fucking see him. The chat doesn't even need eyes. Oh shit. Oh fuck, he's gonna actually kill me. Where is he? God damn it, he did it again. What a douchebag. Fuck off. Fuck off, douche badge. Where is he? What? What? Come on! How's that fair? What was bro just standing around and then did that move? There he is, there he is. There we go, fucking hell. Wasn't even worth killing him. There's literally no point to it, dude. Literally no point. Do they need to get up there? Nah. Or? Maybe? Nah. I'm pretty sure the last one is like over there. Oh no, is there four or three? I think it's four. There's one over there, I'm pretty sure. We got that one. We got that one. I think there's one over here all the way to the left. Oh, that's great. There's another one. I'm going to ignore this one, though. I'm not fighting him. But there we go. That's it. But do I, can I just climb up here or do I need to actually... Because I feel like I remember like it being climbable, like here. Oh, there we go, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ladder. I'm gonna have to stop drinking energy drinks daily, because I think for the 12 hour long stream, I'll, I'll need two, at least. To keep me going. Otherwise, I'm, I'm just gonna be fucked. I'm gonna be tired of shit. 
So I'll definitely need two energy drinks that day. And I have to like increase my chances of getting cancer by two. So by half, just to say. Ain't no way. Dude, I fucking hate those guys so much. Look at him. Mm, oh fucking hell, my fucking... My f I clenched my butt cheeks. I was fucking terrified that it would hit me. Come on, where'd you come from, dude? Literally just fucking- what? I hope they spam that move as well, because they know that that's the one move you can't dodge. Because it actually requires timing. That is such bullshit. The worst thing is I don't even know if I can get back now. Or if I just gotta die. Never mind, I can, I can, good. No way. Fucking bitch. Shoots me through the wall, dude. Die, woman. Why did they even shoot you? I still don't understand. Aren't they, like, meant to be passive? They're definitely not meant to be fucking bloodthirsty psychopaths. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's been an hour now. We should be able to clear the helix tree, I think, in an hour, maybe? Maybe two? Two, probably. Two is more likely. And then we can do Melania for, like, an hour, probably. I, I doubt it'll take more than an hour to beat her. Maybe. It's possible, I guess. Could be. I'm, I'm mostly just hoping that it like, that it's not... Could that, can I get that item? God damn it. Are you serious? No, I'm literally dead. I'm, I don't know how to... How do I survive? I'm getting shot at all sides, dude. Nah, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. It's literally impossible. It's literally impossible. One over there. One over here. One over there. Who thought this was good game design? Just put just put him on all sides. Make it completely unavoidable. Oh, and, and by the way, you can't even kill him. Guess why? Guess guess why? Oh, because you're getting getting shot at literally while you're trying to kill him. Oh, and they shoot three hours. Three arrows, by the way, because one isn't enough. We need to, like, increase the chances that you get killed by three. Okay, well, at least I can, now I can get this item. It's still so fucking annoying, man. I hate this area so much. Usually it's not a problem, because usually I can just bust out a shield, but I don't want to... I don't want to break the rules of the run. Intentionally, so already broken once unintentionally. But to be fair, that was just on a regular enemy, but still. God damn, that is annoying. Do I need to do all three now again? I probably do, don't I? That's so annoying. I don't want to do all fucking three. Come on. Oh shit. Yoink, yoink, please. There we go. Okay, good. I hate that you can't use your horse. It's so annoying as well. If I, if I could just use Torrent, it would be way easier. But I can't. Right, I'm gonna go to the side first. Fuck, I opened the map accidentally with my headphones. Hmm. This actually might look this looks, looks kind of good as well. I do like the horns more. I feel like though. Let me switch them up though for a while. While we're in this uh, fantasy land. Oh, I don't need to do all of them. Okay, good. But uh, is the last guy over here or one of the archers? I believe so. 
I'm gonna try and kill her. Oh hell yeah dude, that fucking animation is so cool. Ooh, thank god I fell off. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Now is the issue of like getting back up there. Because I have no idea how. Oh never mind. It's here. I was in the right location, it's fine. Oof. God damn, dude, I can already tell, man. That, that, that fucking 12 hour long stream will be so hard to do. Welcome back, Yorick. From timeout? You timed yourself out? <laughs> God damn, respect, man, respect. Bro, 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 the game. Nah, this game is so stupid, dude. Oh my god, I fucking hate this game, I swear to god. I don't know what I even got stuck on. I got stuck on like a fucking little piece of something. I had to go to the left. I hate this game so much. But you gotta, gotta start, uh, suck on a piece of nothingness. At least I grabbed my soul, that's good. Justice? <laughs> what a chad. Nice. Grandma was calmer. Yeah, gram if grandma fucking raises her blood p pressure, dude, she's gonna die. She's gonna have a heart attack and die. She has to stay calm. Okay, I finished it. Now we should have our luck back again. No more, no more bullshit. We should be fine now for the rest of the stream. <laughs> grandma was calmer. <laughs> I don't think grandma knows what the fuck is even happening. Asshole. Cunt. Stomp on that bitch. Boom! Fuck yeah. Slap her ass. Yoink. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Yep, we can go to Melania now. Melania, boys! Soon, well, soon. In like three hours, probably. Two to three hours. I'm assuming that's, long, that's how long it's gonna take. Dude mocking his viewers. <laughs> I gotta, I had to, I had to do it to him. I don't know. I love I love the uh, the Helix's design I gotta say but uh, not, not level design I want to make that very clear I like it I like the visual design of it right I like the concepts and stuff I think they're poorly executed though for the most part I think it's I think it's complete some some parts are just complete bullshit like this whole tree section it's fine if it wasn't for these guys shooting you down I guess even these guys aren't the biggest problem you know what the biggest problem is those fucking ants down there. Like, it makes sense for ants to be on a tree, right? But it's still it's still annoying to get, like, have those, like, you don't need to put that many of them in, in such close proximity to each other. Kind of makes everything shit. Also, the problem is these bubbles follow you for a long time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and they're faster than you as well, which sucks. And they make no sound on top of that. Yep. They make, like, no sound. So you get fucked by those as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. Drop over there, please. Fuck's sake. And I'll just need to tank this. You just need to kind of tank this section. 
Because there's no way you're fighting all of these guys on top of these, these trees. They hit you once and you will go flying. So you, there's no way you're fighting these guys on top of these trees. Unless you have an OP build, obviously. Well, obviously I'm not counting those people as actual players. Because, uh, I mean, to be fair, if you have an OP build, are you really playing this game? It feels like more you're just like cruising through the game, not really playing it. Alright, that might be a hot take. That is a hot take, actually. You no, know, fuck it. I take it back. That's unfair. That's unfair. You can play the game whichever way you want. And it's fine. It's valid. It is easier, however. It is much easier. You can't deny that. Hello? Fuck, wait a second. I'll read your name out real quick, but... I need to first get to a safe space, because I'm gonna fucking die. Um, hello... Oh, I'm not reading your fucking name, dude. There's no way I'm reading your fuck. Change your name and then I'll read it. God damn it. We got another fucking uh, weirdo in chat. Why do I only attract weirdos, man? I swear to God. We had that Freddy Fazbear dude, and now we have this guy. It's always the weirdos. Then, then again, to be fair, I'm pretty sure most people nowadays are weirdos. Nah, it's not that bad. Mm, I don't know about that. That name implies several things, you know? Yeah, but welcome to the chat, T-Y-M, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream as well, not just the chat. I'm actually shocked that I'm, I'm actually getting new viewers though, that's actually quite a, quite a shock. Like it's almost like every, it's happened like almost every stream now that like a new person joins in and talks. It's actually quite insane. I would expect it like maybe like every week one person or like every month not not every fucking every sing a single stream it's nice new people always make the stream more diverse get more opinions you know differing opinions stuff like that i gotta buy the dlc when it comes out probably probably before it comes out i just need to gather enough money hopefully on monday i'll be able to gather enough because we're doing a pretty big st stream on monday i'm dead we're doing a pretty big stream on Monday. We're doing like a 12 hour long stream because it's going to be our final stream for the... For... for It's going to be our final stream for Elden Ring. Obviously it's on April 1st, so it's that's a joke, but... Um, it's going to be our final stream for a while, until the DLC comes out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hopefully I'll be able to gather enough money with that stream because to be fair, it's going to be 12 hours long, first of all. So the length of essentially three of my streams. And then it's also going to have a bunch of challenges that I'm going to do if people pay money. And anyway, I'm, I'm going to do them if, even if people don't pay money. Just not frequently. Once every hour. There's like a wheel I made that I can spin. I'm, you're gonna see, you're gonna be able to see it like on Monday because uh, I'm also gonna make like Discord public, ac um, pa public access. So you'll be able to join that as well if you want. And I, I posted there like all the, all the challenges. Like all the available challenges. Though to be fair, I'll also be posted in the description of the video as well. And that's bound to be fun. I'm just hoping that we get a lot of people, you know. Actually watching and talking. Like that, that would be really the, that's like my main goal probably with the stream. I'm hoping that just like the challenges like get more engagement from the chat and stuff like that. No, the DLC definitely pre-ordering, definitely pre-ordering. If I get enough money by then, to be fair, I'm like I'm like pretty close to having enough money now. Got a sec of free time, I got you with a dono Monday, gotta try to get you bald. Fuck's sake, dude, no! <laughs> okay, fuck, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Now I'm fucking scared. Oh, I should say this right away in case some fucking maniac who has money is like, you know what, this seems like a fun, a, a fun, uh, a fun Monday to spend. Some, a, a fun thing to spend some money on. Uh, if you got a lot of money, and you wanna make me bald with my money, with your money, uh, I gotta warn you. I also, I just lost 300,000 souls, that's, okay. And he pushed me off! He pushed me off on top. It wasn't enough that he robbed me of 3,000, 300,000 souls. He had to push me off as well. God fucking damn it. What was I gonna say again? I gotta warn you, I'm probably gonna limit it to three donations per person. Or like at least three, three, you know, spins per person. Or maybe like five, I think five might be good as well. I just like not that it's spinning like 50 times an hour because I don't have that many challenges is the issue as well I feel like for now it's three if we get more people if we got people suggesting challenges and I add more challenges 
then we can ex extend it to five because then there's more more challenges that can roll. But for now, there's too few challenges to make it like too few challenges to make it like um, so people can like donate frequently and just like get a bunch of challenges. Because like I'm assuming that I will get like at most one donation per hour at most. Oh, not one donation per hour. One four twenty donation per hour, which is the minimum for spinning the wheel. Uh, the, the other, the, the normal donations are all discounted. They're like one euro for everything. So for uh, did I grab everything over there? I'm not sure. I probably did. I'm gonna okay. I'm not. It's like one euro for TTS and one euro for effects as well. I'm probably gonna make it like did he just he just inserted it and he throws me. Great, yeah. It's gonna be like one euro for TTS and then it's gonna be like one euro one cent for effect one euro two cent for effect two you know etc. Because that's the only way I can do it right now. I can't do it any other way. Because I don't have, I'm not uh, verified in any way on Twitch or on YouTube. So I can't use TTS Monster, which is the thing that I feel like most YouTubers who stream would use for like sound effects and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's the only thing you can really use for sound effects on YouTube. On Twitch, there's options, but. And to be fair, on Twitch, I do got that enabled. Like you can donate bits and you can like play sound effects and st shit. I'm pretty sure you can like also. I, th I got like a thing that lets you like throw shit on screen, like tomatoes and stuff. But you gotta pay with uh, bits, I think. And on YouTube, I just got pretty much just the donations and that's it. And the effects that you can pay donations for. So before I go, I want to know, have you played any uh, of the other Souls games? I played all of them. Every single one. So, uh, most of them multiple times. The only ones I haven't played multiple times are uh, Dark, or Dark Souls 2 and uh, Sekiro. Both of which I've played once. And I, no, Dark Souls 2 I've played twice, actually. Never mind. So it's just Sekiro. I, uh, Sekiro is the one I played one time. Everything, every other game, I've, including Demon Souls, excluding the PS5 remake, I have played multiple times. So I'm quite the pro. I'm quite the Dark Souls pro. I'm very used to the games. And I also played a shit ton of Souls-like games, like Hollow Knight, Blasphemous. I never finished to be fair, but uh, Blasphemous. But uh, I did play it. I uh, played uh, like a bunch of other ones, like Ender Lilies. Uh, I can't fucking think of the top of my head, but there's a ton of games that I played that are all Souls-likes. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, no, 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 we're not done. We need to go up that fucking thingy and grab whatever is up there. How'd I get there, though? Uh, I gotta go. Fuck, I gotta go that way. Shit. Mortal Shell, that's one I didn't play. I started it, but I think... I don't know why I gave up. It might have been too hard, probably not. I think I gave up just because I was bored. Because at the time I was playing a lot of Souls-like and I just got bored of it. Um... Which is why, and on this channel, I'm definitely not gonna be just playing Souls Likes. I cannot do that shit. Otherwise, I will get bored of it very quickly. I'm gonna switch it up definitely from time to time and do some other games as well. But uh, mostly Souls Likes probably. But yeah, Mortal Shell. Mortal Shell. I'm probably gonna play on stream. I'm probably gonna play it on stream sometime. Though obviously I'm not gonna do any kind of challenge for that because I, I don't know the game. I can't do a challenge if I never play the game. If, if it's my first time playing a game, there will be no challenge because I don't know what challenge to do. If I notice one like mid playthrough and I'm like, okay, this could be fun to change it, change things up a bit, then I might do that. But like from I, like it's I'm not gonna go into the game with a set challenge in mind because obviously if I haven't played the game before, I I won't know the challenge challenges I can do. Fucking hell, I hate that guy so much. Hello, heal, heal, please. Is there anything even over there? I'm not even sure. Probably get closer to the microphone. I went back quite a bit. Is there anything here? Nothing? Ah, oh, futility. Mm -hmm. I agree, I agree. Futility indeed. Run. Fuck. I hate how they chase you for so long as well. It's so annoying. Fuck. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna have two fat guys shooting shit at us. No, come on. I cannot believe I lost like 300 souls then. That was, so, that was such a disappointment. 
To be fair, I don't think I really need them. Like, we're pretty high level by now. I tried dodging backwards. That did not work out. Let me go up there. Not sure what is even up here, but I don't care. Let me grab it. Lost Ashes of War. Pretty useless. Pretty useless. Yep, I jumped and I took fucking extra damage. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. That's good. Safety. Is this like a bird nest? What the fuck? What the hell is this? What is this whole thing? That's kind of cool that you can like get... I mean, there's nothing here. There's no reason to, but still, that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, I, since I don't have the energy drink anymore, I'm going to have to refill on the iced tea. I got very little left, probably like for, for just this drink, and then I'm going to go refill. All right, let me go refill. Wait a second. Ah, okay. Full. Full, full. We're gonna die of dehydration. For real. Now the problem is, um, and I, I say this as someone who watches a lot of streamers, I yap a lot. I talk a lot. Like a fucking lot. So I, I need I need to drink a lot as well. Because I got I really don't stop yapping for real. I feel like it's mostly just because I've been holding uh, I've been holding my streamer streamer self inside for so long. Do you drink water? Hell nah, hell nah dude. Hell nah. No fucking way am I drinking that tasteless shit. Only iced tea, only iced tea. My blood is made up of only iced tea and energy drinks. That's it. That's it. That's all I drink. No, it's very, it's probably, it's very giga chat to drink water because it's healthy for you. But I don't fucking do that shit. I'm, I'm not, that's, that's for the chat gods. You know, I'm, I'm just the chat bishop or bishop. Wait, I'm not, I'm not a bishop. I'm a pope. I forgot. For those, for those watching, I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. Uh, in the Discord server, the Discord server is named Church of Chad, and uh, yeah, my my role in is the I'm the Pope. Bro, obesity guaranteed. Nah, dude, nah. I'm I'm fucking. You know what? Uh, let's have a little funny for the stream. Let me just go and rest. Let's have a little funny. I'm gonna bring a fucking. I'm gonna bring the weight thingy. What do you call it again? A weight scale. I'm gonna bring a weight scale. You wait here for a second. <laughs> wait. Get it? Get it? Uh, uh, we're gonna see if, um, if obesity is detected or not. Uh, just wait a second. Not like in weight. Well, regardless, dude, I'm not fucking fat or anything. Like, look at this. Look at this. I'm flat as shit. But regardless, I wanna do this. I wanna, I wanna show you. I'm back, here it is. Right, so let me let me reset it first. It says Can you see it? 64.4. I am so fucking skinny. It is insane. I I, I have no weight. I, I'm weightless. I'm fucking weightless. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> now I can wait. Okay, now I could lean down and drink a bottle, and that shit would still slap. I love water. Respect, respect. You're more of a chat than me. I hate water. I hate it. How much? Well, I don't hate it really. To be fair, I just prefer iced tea. It's better uh, in taste, at least. Obesity, sugar level, and blood, which can get too low or too ho uh, high forever. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, when I think of a beast. I, you know, I, th I think of, I don't think of like, 
a, a guy who looks like me. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, and my metabolism is pretty high, so I don't think it's really a problem. Besides, I don't know how much sugar this has, but I don't feel like it has too much. And besides that, uh, I barely eat anything that has actually like a ton of sugar. Like mo most people, you would think like most people who like drink this, right? You would think like, okay, well, that's that's bad because you're, you're like eating chocolate or some other fucking bullshit as well on top of that. I barely do that shit. I never do that. I, I, I do not eat any sweets at all. I, I think that's like, I, I, they're just disgusting. It's called diabetes. Oh, well that, yes. Not obese, diabetes. Yeah, that I'll definitely have, have eventually. That I'll definitely get eventually, but still. <laughs> yeah, obesity, definitely not, dude. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure obesity is just, yeah, being fat. Uh, diabetes, though. Yeah, that might be, that might happen. But I, I highly doubt it. Since this is pretty much my only intake of sugar at all. So I think this is actually better for me to drink, drink this than just drink water. Because I don't, like, intake sugar from any, pretty much anything else. Well, obviously there's sugar in, like, other stuff, like normal food or whatever. I'm sure there's sugar in, like, normal food um, that you eat. Is there like sugar in meat? Probably not, right? <laughs> I mean, there's sugar in fruit. I eat fruit, but um, yeah, this is my only intake of like in artificial sugar. Let me say that, you know, of like not natural sugars, sweet sweeteners, natural sweeteners or whatever. It's my only intake of sugar pretty much. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. I've been drinking it as well, like for the past couple of years and I haven't noticed any, any actual issues with my health at all. Like I'm the healthiest member of my family, definitely. And they mostly drink water as well, all of them. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Okay. Besides, like, drinking something like Coke, Coke would probably be way worse. Actually, not probably. 100%. Drinking Coke is way worse than drinking what I drink. So at least I don't do that. At least I don't do that. I think Coke is disgusting, by the way. Both in taste and just the fact that it's so carbonated. I fucking hate. I fucking hate Coke. I love water. The sparkling one slaps hard. British detected. British detected. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. I love sparkling water. Or uh, an alternative, just an Andrew Tate fan. Could be that as well. Just move like to the center of the camera. There we go. <laughs> sparkling water. It's funny how in us there is no sparkling water. <laughs> is that funny? The sparkling water is just carbonated water, isn't it? That's all it is. Which actually makes it pretty bad for you as well, I'm pretty sure, right? I think. Isn't just anything carbonated is bad, I'm pretty sure. Ah, US. Is there? Is there no? None? I'm sure there is. I'm pretty sure they just don't call it sparkling water. They probably just call, call it carbonated water. Because in mean, sparkling water, that's all it is, isn't it? Or is, something else, is there something else to sparkling water besides just being carbonated? I don't need this anymore to be fair. It's, it seems like this is a bit of a hotter area. Let's just let's take it off and let's like put on a, a hood. Hmm. Let me see if there's like a, a good a better one. If there isn't, that's fine. This one's good as well. Uh that one actually looks kind of sick, not gonna lie. That one actually looks kind of good. Hmm. See if there's anything else. And this one's obviously good as well. I've, we've already worn that one, so I feel like I kind of want to wear this one since we haven't worn that one. The Balls Master. <laughs> yes, indeed. The Balls Master. Fuck, I hate those enemies so much. Annoying little fuckers. The thing is, I feel like if I'm using a... Uh... Okay, good. If I'm, if I'm using like this black cloak, then I have to also... 
change up the armor. Or maybe not. Because there is still black parts to the armor. I'm just not sure if this maybe would look better. It kind of does. I, we got a medium load then. I'd like a lighter, a light load. I'd prefer a light load. I mean, to be fair, we could get a light load just by like doing... But just by switching some shit up. Uh, let me just check all the arm. Amazing. Uh, let me just check up on the armor sets, see which one we got. Is this the only one we got that's like black? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll just stick with this. I want to face her as the champion. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. I could just... How about, to be fair, do I use jumping attacks against Melania? Probably not. Maybe? The strength thing, that could, we could remove that as well. Because, to be fair, we are doing a lot of damage either way. And it doesn't really increase our damage by that much. So, yeah, I think I'll just do that. Yeah, yeah. Although I'm so concerned with the drip. Like, I don't understand why. Who cares? <laughs> I guess I do. Alright, let's get up there and see if there's anything up here. Uh, shouldn't there be like a no it's a plant beneath okay i thought there'd be like a plant above i guess not fucking hell look at the amount of these guys jesus just a bunch of old men old uh could this be futility no it's not futility you get to drop on top of this and then go up here what is he talking about futility it's not futility uh, what was I going to say? It's a bunch of old and mushroom infested men. That's all it is. But is that actually futility? It's actually futility. Are you serious? That's disappointing. Was I ever up here though? Let me, let me go up there and check. Oh, so close. So close. So close. I thought I could make it. I thought I could make it. A shame. A shame. <laughs> Fucking spamming emojis. God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> I fuck. I, I do this. I I um. Uh, that scared the shit out of me. I, I love how I look up when I look up in the game. I look up in real life as well. Like what the, what's wrong with me? What? It's not like I'm getting especially immersed in the game. It's just, I think I'm just stupid. Like for some reason, my brain thinks, yeah, if you look up, you look up, you'll actually be able to see more of the game. When in reality, I don't see the game at all when I fucking look up like that. All right. Yeah, I did miss an item. Good. Look at my health. I literally had one health. Literally one fucking health. What the hell? What the health? <laughs> Anyways. Um, I could survive that. I can't. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing that, man? I keep doing that over and over again. I hate myself so much. Fuck. Okay. Also, the uh, back to the water thing. Another problem is like the water that I buy, or that we have available to us. So that is, uh, I'm not sure why, but whenever I drink water, like the the water that we have that we drink, my throat like starts to kind of like itch. No, not itch. It feels like I have something like like a, a something sharp in my throat, and whenever I drink water, I feel like that that sharp thing is like rubbing against my throat. Like the, I don't know how to describe the feeling. Besides that, like it feels very weird, and I hate it. That's kind of also why I don't drink the water that we have here. And also, you know, another thing that pisses me off is there's just like water that has. Let me just pull. Wait a second. I'll show you in a second. Uh, what do I get with the empty one? That would be better. I'm dead, of course. 
doesn't matter. Uh, this, like, kind of big, you know... Uh, what do you call it again? What do you call one of these? A cap. Right? Cap. Well, a, a big one? Uh, the one, the water we have, and uh, we don't have any other kind of water near us. It has, like, a really fucking small cap. It's like, it's like, not even, like, twice, like, well, not even half the size of this. And it's so, it's so fucking difficult to drink water through such a small, or just anything, to drink through such a small, you know, opening. It's, it's very difficult. And, like, it's, like, actually, like, as in, like, you, it takes, it takes me, like, probably double the, the time to drink the same amount. Because I just can't get it in my fucking mouth as fast. It's annoying as shit. Otherwise, I would fucking drink water. If I just had water that, that didn't fucking hurt my throat whenever I drank. And, uh, if I had, or what do you say? If I had, um, if, if I had water that was actually, like, had a big cap or, like, a big hole to drink through, that would, that would actually... I would probably have like no reason not to drink it. It's such a weird thing. I don't know why. I don't know if some, there's something wrong with the water or if it's just a byproduct of the the small cap. It's just because of the small the smallest the cap is so small. I'm like swallowing and my throat is dry because the water didn't like get in my throat yet because there's not enough of it going into my mouth. I don't know. It could be just a byproduct of that. Is it sparkling water? <laughs> no, it's just normal water. I don't like uh, carbonated water. I don't like it. It's awful. I, I, I don't really like carbonated anything. The only exception I make is like energy drinks. And that's because they're like barely carbonated at all. Like things that are like heavily carbonated. I hate it so much. It's also for the kind of like the same reason. Like if I'm drinking something, I want to drink it. Right? And and like it being carbonated prevents me from drinking that. Because I can't just go and, you know, chug it. Because it is carbonated. It's a pain in the ass. Like it's way harder to drink. You can't, you can't drink that much carbonated shit. Obviously you can try, right? But that... That's not like how you're meant to drink it. It's definitely, it's definitely not. I'm a, I don't know if there's any like long-term effects that are negative, but I would assume that is not. You're not supposed to drink it like that, right? I'm assuming it's not good, very good to drink it like that. Just chugging carbonated, a carbonated drink. I love carbonated water because I hate it when water just flows through my throat without feeling anything. Okay, a bit weird, but okay. I understand that for like, for example, energy drinks, right? I guess I kind of understand that. But that's just because the energy drinks are just like... They add just like a little bit, you know what I mean? Because they're barely carbonated. Meanwhile, like, I feel like... Well, the, maybe it depends on the water, but like, I feel like the carbonated water that I drank... And, um... Especially, like, Coca-Cola and stuff... That shit is just so fucking carbonated, it's insane. Like, I don't need, I don't need that much feeling, like, when I'm drinking, you know? In my throat. I don't need that much stimu- I don't need my throat to get that fucking stimulated, dude. It's like my throat is fucking vibrating when I drink carbonated shit. Like, why would I want that shit every single time I drink? Especially co considering... Like, obviously, I'm pretty sure for most people, they drink more than they eat. Right? I'm pretty sure they drink very often, so having that feeling in the throat, like, all fucking day is very annoying. How's that fair? How's that fair? Bro literally grabbed me, and the other guy literally pushed us both off the fucking cliff. What? What? That is so annoying. That is actually so annoying. That is such a pain in the ass. That is such a pain. I can't believe- why does he just- why do we just slide off? That's so stupid. There we go, I drank a little bit more this time, so ho hopefully I won't have to drink as soon. I, I find it so weird that people, uh, that there are some people who like pour their drinks before they eat, uh, before they drink them. It, it's so weird, why would you ever do that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. What, what's like the benefit of it? Like you fuck, first of all, you're just dirtying dishes, right? Like, the only way I understand doing that is, like, if you're pouring it for, like, uh, what do you call it again? Like a, uh, like a cardboard, you know, thingy. It's, it's cardboard, right? Like, the thing, the thing milk is storing, what do you, what do you, how do you call it again? What's it called again? I forgot. 
the thing that milk is stored in. Like that, I understand why would you pour, why you would pour that in a glass. I could do that shit with uh, Iran. Is that how you pronounce it in English? I'm not sure. Iran. It could be Iran as well. It's like a Turkish drink that's also like stored in the same thing that milk is stored in. Or carton packs, like shit like that. That that shit I 100% understand why you would pour that shit out. But like, why would you pour out from like a plastic bottle into like a, a glass, gla a glass, glass, <laughs> a glass, glass? It just feels like inconvenient having to like pour it all the time. Obviously, like if you drink, depends on like what you're drinking. Obviously, but still, like if you're drinking alcohol, obviously you're not just gonna drink it from the base, but. Pouring water to uh, if the glass, I think it's only used when you give water to someone. Well, yeah, that's how I would think too, but then, then I see actually like, um, I, I, for example, Pyrocynical, who I actually watch actively, he drinks it from a, a from a, I think, I don't think anymore, he switched to like, uh, glass bottles. He switched to like, drinking from glass bottles, but he definitely drank from, uh, from just glasses. Uh, water from glasses, he would like pour the water into a glass and drink it that way, that's so weird, I find that always so weird. And I saw other YouTubers doing that as well. Well, not YouTubers, streamers. You know, they're, they're the only ones uh, drinking it. Alright, this is going as planned. We're almost done with the first part of the Halo Tree and it's been an hour. That, that That's as planned. That's very good. Oh, did you see that jump, dude? Did you see that fucking jump? I am a fucking professional. Is there anything here though? Or did I just jump there for no reason? I just jumped for no reason, yep, okay, great. Just how? <laughs> I'm I'm just that skilled, dude, I'm just that skilled. That was the most skilled the jump you've ever seen in your life. Fucking hell. Nah, don't block my fucking way, no. Thank god, thank god I got out of that. Holy shit. Bunch of assholes, I swear to god. No, that was my reaction to my previous comment. Ah, uh, Parsinical is fucking weird from what he uh, just did in the stream when he showed that pile of glass bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was just a fucking huge pile of glass bottles. Bro looks like an alcoholic, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, that's not all sparkling water. There's no fucking way. That's gotta be like beer. That's gotta be beer. Half of that has gotta be beer. And then the fucking idiot is like, Dude, there's a little bit left in here. And he fucking drinks it and, and it's probably like weeks old water. That's just been sitting in that fucking glass. Probably like warm as shit as well. Like what the fuck, dude? Well, what's wrong with bro for fucking drinking that shit? That's gotta be piss bottles? Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay, we got the dramatic finish. Fuck. Yeah, but you know what's even fucking weirder though? What he did after that stream. I, what, was it directly after or was it uh, slightly later? It's when he dressed up, fucking had his girlfriend like put on makeup in him and he like uh, dressed up as a fucking woman live. Holy moly, dude, what the fuck? I mean, not gonna lie, if I didn't know he was a guy... But, uh, yeah, fucking... Jesus Christ, what a fucking fanboy, dude. Oh, well, he had to put, like, a disclaimer, disclaimer as well in, like, the comments. Or in the chat. Like, uh, a disclaimer that he's not coming out as trans, because obviously... You gotta do that nowadays, because, it, you know, you, it's a touchy subject, you can't... Uh, you gotta fucking give disclaimers and that shit as well. But it is funny that he had to give a literal fucking disclaimer that he's not coming out of trance. Because he was dressing up as a woman. I mean, not, it's not because he was dressing up as a woman, it's because he fucking came... He, he, he literally... He uh, called the video finally becoming a woman, or the stream, finally becoming a woman. So yeah, obviously he had to put the fucking dis disclaimer in, makes sense. Makes sense that we'd, he would have to put the disclaimer in. Jesus. <laughs> Bro, really wanted the fucking uh, 
the title of the stream that. Because, I mean, it is a good title, to be fair. But it definitely does make it seem like he's coming out of strength from that title alone. And, well, to be, from, from, to be fair, from what he did as well. And then he, say, then he says, like, then he copes saying, like, oh, it's normal for your girlfriend to put makeup on you. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe, like, if, if it's, uh, uh, like, like, one time for fun, you know? Maybe, like, one time a year thing, at, at most. Yeah, I could understand that, but not as often as he does it. And especially not to that degree. Yeah, he, he not only fucking, like, you know, like, his girlfriend put, on makeup, put makeup on him, right? Not only that, he also fucking wore... A fucking bra, dude wore a bra and then also, uh, what else, uh, he also fucking wore like a, a woman's clothing as well. And, and he fucking literally ripped it because it's too small for him. Because he's such, such a fat bastard. God damn it. It's a result of that fucking sparkling water, dude. I still got carbonated shit makes you fat. Uh, am I going the wrong way? Most likely. I think, uh, I drink a gallon of water every day, but I hate sparkling water. A gallon of water? Wait, is that fucking... Up? I don't think... That doesn't sound healthy. Pretty sure two liters of... Well, well how much is a gallon? Wait, are you American? Oh, it is a fucking... Oh, wait, you are you American, dude? We got a fucking American in chat, damn. I guess it makes sense, yeah, with the with the times um, that you work as well. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, that's 3.7 liters. Dude, what the fuck? That's so much. I guess you're supposed to drink like two liters a day. Like, how, how much water are you supposed to drink a day? How, how much water should I drink a day? Uh, drink a day. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's not much. Okay, so you're supposed to drink 3.7. I thought it was like 2 liters or something like that. How much do I... Then I don't drink enough, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I, love, I love how it differs between like male and female. Like as if that's meant to like... I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with male and female. I'm pretty sure it has to do like with your weight and your, uh, and your uh, height, right? And not really if you're a man or woman. Like I'm pretty short, right? And I don't weigh that much. So I doubt that I gotta drink 3.7 fucking liters. I'm pretty sure 2 liters is enough for me. Or two something. Like how much is this? I okay, I drank. What is this? This is 1.5 liters. And I drink an energy which is 250. Yeah, I don't drink fucking- I don't drink- I don't even drink two liters a day. And, and this is iced tea. This isn't even water. I don't drink that much. I genuinely do not drink, uh, drink that much. So I guess I'm drinking underneath the recommended limit. That seems kind of weird. Because I mean, I drink a lot compared to like my, my family. My family do not drink that much water. Uh, I, I like drink more iced tea than they drink. Uh, water and other sh shit. And I definitely don't drink like more than two liters a day, I would say. I drink like two liters a day, probably, of like water and shit. It makes a big difference. Well, like if you're male or female, like what in which, in which way would it make a difference? Besides just like the average, you know, because obviously on average women are uh, skinnier than men and shorter. So I guess it would, yeah, obviously it would make a difference. But only in that way, only because of just like a general shit. General statistics, not because of the actual gender. No fucking way I'm gonna die from this. You fucking ass like I hate this. I hate the helix tree so much. It's actually the worst fucking. It's the it's the best looking, but the worst functionally, a uh, dungeon or the legacy dungeon in the entire game because they just put like the most annoying enemies in it and called it a day. It's so annoying. But should I even go retrieve the 40k souls? Like, I almost don't wanna. I almost don't care. Almost, though. Almost. But yeah, I generally do not drink that much, dude. That seems like a lot to me, dude. I'm smart enough to know I'm right, but I'm not smart enough to argue about that. <laughs> I, again to the same attack? I hate this game so much. I don't know what to do. You have to go and kill the enemy. Yeah, as if I'm gonna go kill the enemy with... Uh, how much HP does he have? 100,000 HP every single time? I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm just gonna leave the 40k. I don't care. It's not enough, enough to level up. Besides, what level are we even? 
Bro, 124 is enough, dude. 124 is enough. That's enough for the DLC. I probably should be lower level. I feel like I'm overpowered now. Wait, am I doing shit wrong again? I am. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't think the gender itself makes any difference. Though. I'm pretty sure it's just like the statistics average averages from each gender. Just because of that. I highly doubt that like men process water faster or something like that. Or just, you know, use up more energy than women. I mean, on average, obviously, because they do more physical jobs. But not like naturally. If a woman were to sit in place for two hours and a man were to sit in place two, for two hours, I'm pretty sure they would use up the same energy. As long as they're like way the same or the same height. I, I don't even know if height matters if you're not doing anything. Maybe it does. I'm pretty sure weight does, definitely. I think it's height is weight as well. Alright, first boss, Loretta. Knight of the Halic Tree. Are we doing enough damage? Well, we're definitely taking uh, appropriate damage, I think. Four shots to k get killed? That that seems... That seems overwhelming, actually. Uh oh, underwhelming. I, I would think that I would, like, die sooner. What? Did he not shoot at me? What? Yeah, I don't think we're doing enough damage. That doesn't seem like enough damage to me. I'm gonna have to upgrade. Yeah, that's definitely not enough damage, dude. We should be doing like 800 by this point. It's really double what I'm doing. Well, not, not literally double, but almost double. Doink. Fuck's sake. Holy shit, I don't know how I fucking stunned him there. Yeah, it's about weight and activities, yeah. I can imagine. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. You're not getting to second phase, baby. Well, to be fair, she did, but still. Fuck. I mistimed my dodge. Fucking hell, that move. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat. I was looking at chat. I'm actually... I couldn't even dodge. I love this game so much, dude. It's such a good, a good game. You get hit by one move. You get you get hit by one move. And guess what? You're stun locked till the next. Oh, what's that? The move does half ha health. Well, guess what? It's a one-shot then. It's not two moves. It's one move. It's one one-shot. I hate this game so much. I swear to God, I fucking despise this game. Like, some of the ga game design decisions are fucking terrible. You cannot argue for that being a good game Good game design. I got hit by one of the one attack. And automatically I die because I get hit by the other one as well. I can't dodge. I was literally spamming dodge and I had enough stamina as well. The way you dodge attacks by attacking the boss. I love this. I love it as well. It's so fucking cool. Because because of the, the way that you attack with the... With the fists, because you lower your, your fucking hitbox, you can literally dodge all attacks so much. It's such a fun, fun build to do, honestly. It just feels it just feels like all fights so far have felt more cinematic than in any of my other playthroughs. They just feel so much more cinematic and action-packed. Because I don't gotta even dodge as much, because I'm automatically dodging all the attacks just by fighting. It's so good. It feels so good. I thought I would beat her in one try, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to upgrade my weapons though. If I die again, I'm upgrading to plus 15. This was never meant to be a plus 5 or plus 10 or like no upgrades run. Anyways. It's just meant to be fists only. This is just like an extra challenge that I add to myself. Okay, okay. Yoink. Nah, she gone. Fuck.
<laughs> but there's a wall there, you can't jump through it. That's funny, every single time she attacks me, I look at the fucking chat for some reason, I don't know why. Fuck's sake. Yep, she's gone. There's no way. Plus 10 weapon. I don't even need a plus 20. Goodbye, Loretta. Weak. Second try. Fucking weak. Plus 10, by the way. Plus 10. This isn't even the challenge, dude. The challenge is to do fist weapons only. I'm fucking kneecapping myself just to make the game harder. Just to prove that I'm such a fucking giga chat that I don't even need to upgrade my weapon. She would be harder if she was running away from you. True, true. I mean, not harder. She'd take longer. I don't think she'd be harder. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, there's a fucking ladder here. I didn't even notice. I was like, how the fuck they got down there? And we're done with half the Halic tree. At two hours, pretty much. So one more. So we should be able to... Like, this stream should last, like, four hours optimally. If it's longer, like, I don't mind. I doubt it's gonna last longer than five hours. That would be absurd. That, that I would get frustrated at that point. Because that would mean we'd be fighting Millennia for, like, two hours. And not, still not winning. Which would be quite upsetting. I swear to God. I don't know if Ezrian is still here. Probably not. Uh, he better be here when we fucking fight Melania. He better fucking be here. Because he was asking for this. He better fucking be here. I ma imagine if he's not here for the Melania fight. Dude, I would fucking... Uh, I would actually turn my ban him from the fucking channel. For causing me that much mental anguish and then not actually being there for the thing that he's been asking for so long. But he'll be there. He'll be there. He has to. Fucking hell, it's bright. Tomorrow holiday starts, it's so good. Nice, nice. For me, it's holiday every day. Well, not really, to be fair. I am I am working, basically. If you count YouTube and game dev, you know, work, even if it's unpaid. Well, YouTube pays, just very little. <laughs> better than nothing, though, better than nothing. Nah, buddy, nah, you thought you were chill, you thought you were smart. You thought you were fucking smart, bro, you're not, you're big dum-dum. Alright, I'll, I'll do a little something. What's this, huh? Do a little something. Oh, let's see if there's anything else. Is there any other one that I can uh, use? Hmm. Not really, most of them suck. At least for this build. Okay, that looks kinda <laughs> looks kinda ridiculous, honestly, but. Eh. Looks kinda stupid. I might just go for this. Like we are we are arrived, we, there's no need to hide our face anymore. We'll let the Halic tree know. Let them fear the Chad. I don't want to just have this style for uh, when we fight Melania and that's it. When we fight Melania, besides, we'll just we'll just go naked, as we said, completely. I love how I, I, I literally break their stances in one hit. But this is all it takes. One charge attack and their stance is broken. They're gone. Look at that. Oh, that's... That. How are we not overpowered? Like, how is this not overpowered? I feel like I'm cheesing the game, dude. I didn't even... I literally tried to challenge myself. And I still end up cheesing the game. I tried to challenge myself. This is insane. 
that's the, that's the funny that that's the funny difference between me and like people who like you know say x is cheesy in the game y is cheesy in the game um i say x y and z is cheesy in the game all of it even the shit that i do is cheesing the game still it's it's hard to play this game without cheesing it that's that's just a fact it's just such a hard thing to do like the only thing you can do to not change the game is just go unarmed build really that's literally the only thing you can do <laughs> Or just like use a straight sword as well, that's also fine. I doubt you can cheese it by using a straight sword. As long as you're not using like any Ashes of War or anything like that. Everything else is cheesing the game because it just makes it easy as hell. At least until you get to the boss fights. The boss fights can st are still pretty hard regardless. But like the normal counters, you're def everyone cheeses that shit. It's impossible not to. At least very difficult. Be very, very, very. You have to go out of your way by quite a bit to not cheese all of like the game, excluding the bosses. The bosses you definitely have to go out of your way to cheese, which is what ninety percent of people do. To be fair, just throw on that rivers of blood, that uchigatana, that frost uchigatana. You know, throw a pot on your head. And, and, and just call it a day. Cheese the game. To be fair, the combo I just named, uh, that shit doesn't even matter uh, if, if it's cheesing or not. Because um, the one and only legend, Lemmy Solar Her, uses that build. And he, he, he is too much of a chad. You can't say he's cheesing the game. He's just too much of a chad, dude. Like, regardless of what his build he's using, the things that he has achieved are impressive regardless. Like, beating Melania once, right, with a cheese build, it's not really impressive, right? Beating her consistently hundreds of times, goddamn. Goddamn, without dying, by the way, without dying once. That is, that is impressive. That is fucking impressive. Actually being able to dodge her moves, which he has done as well. It's not like he just, like, stunlocks or attacks her, right? He actually fucking sits there and dodges her moves just to show up. Show off. He's an actual Giga Chad. He is. Oh yeah, I think I can go down there, but like, what's up here? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. There are actual items here. McKellen Night Sword. Even got a gift from From Software. Did he? That's so cool. What, what did he get? I can't believe I actually gave him something. That's so cool. They should have just put him like in the game as like a enemy you can fight. Or like like an actual like sword. Like Rivers of Blood? Okay, that's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. If they actually like recreated Rivers of Blood and gave it to him, like a replica. That's actually kinda cool. No, I swear to god, From Software is just like one of the best studios out there. No normal sword? So the katana, or just like just like normal ass sword? Because if it's a normal ass sword, that's kind of boring. I mean, what the fuck's the point of that? And it's still it's still cool that they gave him something, but you know. Do you mean like Uchi katana then, like just like a normal katana? Or do you mean just like just like a regular ass boring long sword? Because that shit is just that's a different story. That is very, that's very odd that they would give him that. I'm just gonna... Can I remove my camera? Wait a second. Are you seeing this? A band From Bandai Namco. Okay, okay. Same thing, pretty much. Okay, he's not spamming anymore. That's good. We can actually play the game now. Okay, we can actually play the game. He stopped spamming. Still spamming. He's just spamming it. Watch this. I come out. He starts spamming it immediately. Immediately he does it. 
I can't survive. That's impossible to survive. That's an, that flurry is impossible to survive. You will take so much damage. Watch some fucking idiot come in here with holy armor, full set of holy resistant armor. Be like, you can't survive it. Yeah, you can if you're fucking specifically built for it, but not not normally. I I got sent. You sent me something. I think. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, all right, the sword. Oh, that's lame. That's lame. Is that even? That's even a sword from the game. That's just a normal ass sword. That's just a normal ass. Look at this. Wait, let me show it off. Let me show it on the stream. Um, look at this. That, that's what. That's what they gave. Let me solo her. Just a normal ass sword. That's so boring. That's not even from the game. That's just a normal sword. That looks like something from The Witcher, dude. Does it look like something from Elden Ring? That's such a. That's so mid, dude. That's so mid. I mean, at least they gave him. It's cool that they gave him something, but it's still mid, dude. It's still. Like they should have, they should have like made the like river a replica of the rivers of blood katana and just gave him that, or like a millennia statue or something like that, like a like a golden millennia statue something like that would be cool. Not obviously made of like actual gold, but just like yellow. Like that would be much cooler. I hate this uh, tree guy the most. Yeah, me too. He just spams his fucking attacks. It's so annoying. You actually gotta like wait for him to fuck off over there and then only attack him, and even then you're fucked. Cause if he does that fucking uh, laser move, you're, you're fucked. You're, you're fucked. You can't do jack. You can't do jack shit. There's not enough space to run around or anything. You can't avoid it. Yep. Rip. And he has that as well. God damn it. Of course he's a rot as well. Yep. Good. Yoink. How much damage? Oh god, that's so low damage. Though he's definitely gotta do that fucking light attack. I actually pressed dodge. I have literally pressed the dodge button. I- Why is there- Why is there like a little bit of rot here and then there's a break and then there's more rot? That's so stupid! That's so fucking stupid! I thought it was safe so I went backwards. Such shitty game design. Actual old game design. You can tell that- You can tell that- You wanna know why the uh, game design is so bad in the late game? It's because they were finishing- They finished the game by the time they made this. This was just extra. So they just they were, they were just like they were just like yeah we finished the game let's just uh, make it let's make a bunch of other shit let's just experiment a bunch and not actually refine any of it guaranteed uh, here's here's a fact from software never finished Elden Ring as in playing it and as in making it as well they never finished the game oh, look at this yeah impossible impossible to dodge impossible to dodge impossible to dodge literally impossible to dodge what are you gonna do what are you gonna do impossible to dodge it's not like a panic roll either. I literally roll at the perfect time to dodge that one flurry, but as soon as you stop rolling, as soon as your iframes end, another one shoots at you. Because they shoot at the same uh, at the same time. They shoot one after another. They never shoot, they don't shoot like in a sequence or anything. I never kill them. I kill them every single time, but it, it just takes such a long time and it always pisses me off. Like I, I doubt a lot of people kill them. I'm pretty sure most people would ignore him and then say like that I'm capping whenever I say that, or like say that the move is dodgeable. You know, even though they never fucking beat him, the sucks. Uh, he'll, he'll go like a little bit of a chad face until he decides to stop spamming that move and fuck off. I literally can't do anything, I gotta wait here. Yeah. There we go. Um, okay, he stopped, that's good. I was gonna give you like a, the view of the chad un uninterrupted for like five minutes, but I guess not. We good. Uh, is there anything that we can like put on our uh, on ourselves? That's such a cool helmet. I really like that helmet. Where is he now? Yep. I gotta wait for him to get to the other side. Otherwise, I can't do jack shit. Hmm. Oh, this this sucks. This sucks. Just having to wait for him to fuck off to the other side. It's so annoying. I thought he noticed me and he was about to start shooting again. That would have been such a pain in the ass, actually. Okay, I think I think we got it now. 
Right, let me just uh, remove this talisman since we don't need it anymore and put on strength. You know what? Because I hate this guy so much. Nah. Nah. I'll beat him like this. I can do it. I shouldn't give up after like one try of actually fighting him. Look at that! One after another, how is this fair? One after another, he threw one after another. There's only two sides to this bridge, mind you. I Meaning he can poison the entire bridge, which is great. And he does this now. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm dead. Lucky! And then, I, of course. But did you f slow that back? Slow that fucking footage back. Tell me if his hammer ever touched me. I bet it fucking didn't. I bet it didn't. It's just the broken hitboxes. You want back Doom Melania now? I'm gonna fucking time you out for saying that now. I'm not in a good mood and you're fucking with me. You're telling me to go Doom Melania now? Put user in timeout. Uh, 10 seconds. You're in timeout for 10 seconds. I timed my fucking own mod out. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had to time my own fucking mod out because he's coming in here telling me to fucking do Melania when I haven't even fucking done this stupid fucking tree spirit yet and he's pissing me off, this stupid fucking tree spirit. And bro comes in here and fucking keeps, tells me to do Melania? Okay, Sprady, you fucking, you fucking piss me off now, right? Right? If, you don't, if you're not here when we actually fight, fight Melania and beat her, if you're not here, you're gonna get a fucking permaban on my channel, I swear to god. Oh, now he's gonna fucking do this again. Now he's gonna spam this again. I gotta wait. You better be here. Same goes for Ezrian. You guys have fucking bullied me the entire fucking time saying, Do Melania, do Melania, do Melania. Every single goddamn fucking stream. If you're not here when we actually do her, not in that way, you're getting a fucking ban. I swear to God. Dude, I got a real life. Well, rip, rip. I got a fucking, uh, I got a mental health that you guys ruined. Wait, how long? Have I, I just came in. Oh, okay, well, now just, you know, just don't leave. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, as you wake up, Melania is here. <laughs> Imagine if he just suddenly activates. Uh, look at him, he's just fucking wandering. Can you fuck off, please, enemy? Uh, what was I gonna say? Of course I'm staying. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm joking, for real, though. Like, now, you gotta be here at least for, like... One part of the Melania fight, otherwise the, the ban is real. Uh, not a perma ban, though, obviously, not a perma ban. I've never perma ban fucking someone, especially like at the, how few viewers I get, relatively. But um, at least be here for like a part of the Melania fight. Because you guys, you guys were fucking asking for it non-stop, so. And now that you're finally getting it, you gotta be here. I'm so fucking done. This guy's actually not gonna... Look at this, this guy's not leaving me alone. I fucking... I rolled off. Hundred percent run. Hundred percent run. My fucking headphones are sliding up. Look at my fucking hair, dude. Wait, look. Look at this. Look at the fucking hole. Look at the indent. Oh my god, dude. I literally, my skull is indented from these fucking headphones. I got a hole in my head because of the fucking headphones. Daddy Bear comes in, says Melania. Alright, you're getting a ban too if you're not here when we actually fight her. I am here. Look, he actually fucking came! <laughs> he actually fucking woke up as soon as you said, like, Melania is here. No, I'm actually, I'm actually done. If he hits me through the wall, and I fall down, I swear to god. Everyone came, nice. I, I also came. I just gotta sit here and wait now. I just gotta sit- Look at him! Fuck off, dude! Like, how do I fight this guy? How do I fight him? As soon as I come down- look at this, look at this. I survived this. I survived this. The best thing. The best thing is. Uh, see, <laughs> why does the game do this? It's like it's doing it on purpose, right? It's like, okay, I'm gonna fall down and die. It's like the game is like, no, 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 that's too easy. That's too simple. You're gonna fall down. You're gonna survive. 
And then, then you're gonna die to lasers after you think that you survived. How is this game so cruel? I swear to God, it's like, I, it's sometimes it feels like I am, I am, it, sometimes it feels like I am, um, what was I gonna say? Sometimes it feels like someone is actively watching my, uh, my, 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 me play the game, right? I'm prof software dev. And he's actively fucking with me. I swear to God, sometimes it feels like I go for millennia, leave this guy for, uh, for last stream. Nah, nah, I'm doing this guy now. Besides, if I do millennia now, then I'm going to end stream. Because obviously that's the peak. There's no point in going past the peak. Um, and considering we are at two hours right now, millennia is not going to take any longer than an hour, most likely. I don't want to do it yet. All right, we're, we, can, we can kill him now. Are you, are you serious? Okay. I didn't fall off. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. But here, for just for you, just for you, I'm gonna make the process faster. I'm gonna make the process faster, just for you. What a douchebag, man! Oh, fuck. That was my fault. That's the worst thing. I, I've, I've ran out of patience. Oh, God. I have ran out of patience at this point that I'm just... I'm just... I'm just making stupid mistakes and I'm just dying because it's my own fault. Just because I'm so pissed off at all the f times I've been cucked. Millennia will be easier. Actually, I, I'm, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Of course she'll be easier. There's no way she can be harder than this. There's literally a 0% chance that Melania will be uh, harder than this. I'm actually so done. I'm so done. I'm so fucking done. I'm actually done. I'm actually done. We're doing this line. Fuck. <laughs> We're doing this. Is there, how much is there of the Halic tree to do? Is there enough for an hour? Or oh, 40 minutes? I think there's enough. I, I'm ignoring him. I'm doing this last stream. I'm doing this last stream. We're doing this in the last stream. This, this stream's got, the last stream's gonna be 12 hours anyways. I need content. We're gonna do that, that guy last stream. Because... Uh, I, I just can't be fucked anymore. I think it's it's pretty boring for you guys as well, and I don't want to make you guys bored. So we're gonna we're gonna go do the we're gonna do Melania. Not straight away, obviously. We're gonna, I'm gonna clear out the rest of this, the uh, the earth tree, but at least we're gonna be doing something, of course. Uh, okay. Grab this. I didn't know Brooke could fucking jump that high. What the hell? Hey, see that curse for the quest we will never finish because we killed Bogart and we can't finish it. What the fuck? What is that copy pasta, dude? We <laughs> literally just posted some fucking copy pasta, you Dude, you think Kazam, Kazam, you think Kazam, Kazam, fuck, I'm actually gonna die, I'm actually gonna die because of you, you fucking asshole. I'm actually, I'm actually dead. I'm fucking, you're not getting a timeout. You're 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 getting a timeout. Time fuck you. I'm actually getting a time out, goddammit. I hate how YouTube, um... I, I, I hate how YouTube, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? I hate how YouTube hides the messages. Like, if I time someone out, I wish the YouTube didn't hide messages, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna hide them in live as well. And I think it'll only hide them after the... the time... that I timed them out. So I think it'll still be visible, so people will still know why I'm, like, timing him out. Go sit in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Go sit in the corner. Think about what you did. Bro posted, bro posted a fucking copy pasta, sucking himself off as the moderator. Says, I work tirelessly. Bro, this is, bro, this is this shit. 
But does it do shit? Literally, he's just a moderator in name only. I gave him a fucking job, literally, he couldn't even do it. I actually told him, like, hey, find out why my bot isn't posting, or why my uh, commands aren't working for the bot. Like, why the bot commands aren't working. And bro just ignored what I said. I just didn't bother doing it. Literally a mod in name only. Yep, gone. Gone. I hate these guys so much. They're such an annoying enemy. They're the worst enemy in the game. Definitely. 100% the worst enemy in the game. Fucking hell. What a cunt. Get fucked. Yeah, give me that fucking ass. Mm, fucking cunt. I hate these enemies so much. They're actually so annoying. Did I get everything here though? I think I did. And now there's gotta be another one here, I know for a fact. Yep, I fucking knew it. What the fuck? Bro, stop! What a douchebag! How's he not stunned yet? How's he not stunned yet? Get stunned, bitch. Bro, I hit him so many times and bro didn't get it. He recovers so fast! How's that fair? Bro recovered in like a millisecond from that stun. No, 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 not... Dude, that title definitely would not have been better. Bro said... Daddy Bear said... I think Melania Mommy of Rot would have been a better title. Okay, first of all, how's that better title? That is a title for fucking... I think he just... Yeah, another one spawned. I know, it's, it's gone. It's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. I'm running away. It's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. Also, a second, right? Second. How does that fit into my uh, uh, theme? Into the theming of these videos so far? Everything had to do with, like, uh, chads and looks maxing. How does... What does Mommy of Rod have to do with chads or looks maxing? Or, well, chad culture or looks maxing. No, I'm actually... I'm actually pissed off. No, I'm just mad. I'm just mad. The, the This game design... I, I'm surprised there's people who defend this shit. I think those people actually, like, have... Actually must like literally like go to the from software offices and literally just suck suck the devs off Like physically Suck them off because they, how can you defend this? How can you defend this game late game design? This is insane This is so bad Everything about this legacy dungeon except for obviously the visuals. It looks amazing. It's the best looking uh, Legacy dungeon by far and the level design itself is creative. The only thing that's bad is Is the the enemy placement? It's literally Dark Souls 2 enemy placement. How do people shit on Dark Souls 2 for the things that they praise Elden Ring for? It is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The fucking, the fucking two-faced pieces of shit who fucking say this game is good. I swear to God. Like, if you say this game is good, you gotta say that, like, uh, Dark Souls 2 is, like, even better. Because it, it does the things this game does, except it does them even worse. Meaning even better for you. And it spawns again?! Uh, I'm just insane. Game needs harder. No, it doesn't need harder. It needs it needs easier. Uh, it's not even about hard. Yeah, the game can be harder. Yeah, I agree with you actually. The game is kind of easy in a lot of parts. And it needs to be harder. But you know what it also needs to be? It needs to be more fair. Because it's not fair. I I'm surprised that the game can be both uh, easy and unfair at the same time. It's insane. Because, like, the parts of the game that are hard aren't hard. They're unfair. Not all of them, obviously. Like, most of the bosses are still good. It's just all the endgame bosses suck ass, dude. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, done. I'm, done. I'm not doing this anymore. No, we're doing this uh, uh, last stream. I can't be fucked. I'm not getting any money for this. I'm not doing this. 
I'm gonna do this on Monday when I'm actually gonna get some money, maybe. Dark Souls 2 better than Elden Ring? It is. It is better than Elden Ring. It is literally better than Elden Ring. Elden Ring is dog shit. Worst game ever. See, this is the funny thing. This is what, like, I love how... It's not, by the way, right? Just to make it clear, it's not. Dark Souls, Elden Ring is better than Dark Souls 2, mechanically at least. Um, just because the, uh, the end game is so awful in Elden Ring, it makes the whole game suck. Be, uh, not not like literally, like literally, you know. Doesn't make the game actually suck. It it just makes it feel like the entire game sucks. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. Most of the game is great. Um, it's just that it really makes it feel like the game fucking sucks ass. Just because the end game is so awful. And it's literally the same thing. Like when, whenever you watch a show and like it's a goaded show, but it has a horrible ending. Like you're gonna think the whole show is trash because it had a horrible ending. DLC would fix it, right? Right now, I will guaranteed. Wanna know why? It's because unlike the idiots who think this game is perfect um, and can't do any wrong, uh, From Software actually thinks otherwise. I've read I read interviews that they made, the From Software did for like the DLC, right? They did they did like a couple of interviews, um, and a lot of them they've, they've spoken on both the uh, late ga late game boss design as you know being uh, less than satisfactory, just to put it mildly, right? They, they talked about that, how they're not satisfied with how they did the, the late game. And they also talked about uh, the open world. They talked about the open world and how the open world is garbage, basically. They didn't say that, but you know. They, just, they talked about how they were not satisfied with the way they did the open world either. Which is the two main criticism I, I have for Elden Ring, right? The open world sucks ass. It's not, like, it, it's open, yeah, sure. Like if you take, like, is it a is it a literally good open world game? Yeah, you can go anywhere. I guess uh, if that's what makes a good open world game for you, yeah, yeah. But the open world is empty as shit. Should it be more open now, and it won't be. It won't be more open. I know for a fact. You you see you see if you've seen the DLC uh, trailer, you know for a fact that it's not gonna be as open as the original game. It looks way more linear, uh, which is a good thing, honestly, because From Software knows how to do like linear. But at the same time, interconnected world, which is what they're best at. They shouldn't change that because that's better than having an open world. Because clearly they're not good at making open world games, as is pretty much nobody. Because open world games are incredibly difficult to make and there's no point. Just put your effort into other shit, like making the uh, you know, gameplay mechanics actually good and, and have a point. Sneaking in this game is pointless. Jumping is so overpowered to the point where there's no point in doing any kind of other attack except for jump attacks, etc, etc. You know what I mean? The horse combat is present, but completely unusable. You know? Shit like that. I, I think they should just focus on, like, making... The, like, just keep doing what they, they, they know they can do. And try and innovate in, like, one one at a time, you know? Don't try and innovate in, like, 50 other things. Like, here's the problem with Elden Ring. What did Elden Ring try to do? It's very... Uh, or you, or how do you say? It's very... It's very... It's very... Elden Ring is very... What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Come on. What's the word? It is very... Fuck. Uh, I forget the word, what's it called? When they want, they like, want to do a lot, a lot with the game. You know, they wanted to do a lot with the game. I forget what the word for that is called. I'm trying to remember, I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Basically, they tried to do a lot more with other than they could. They tried to make it more open and more friendly for people to play. They tried to uh, expand the combat. They tried to expand the combat, right? Uh, by adding jumping attacks, by adding sneaking, neither of which really were a good addition. They tried to add horse combat as well, which is, again, not a good addition. Uh, half potential. Uh, that, 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 no, that's not the word I'm looking for, but... It, yeah, I don't think it ever, ever have potential for me, not really. Uh, at least to accomplish all the things that it set out to do, because it set out to do, like, too much. They aspired to do too much. Um, what else was there? Obviously, they tried to make the game look way more flashy as well. That, that's another issue, right? Wait a second. That's another issue. They tried to make the game very flashy, right? You can tell all the boss fights look way cooler than in any other previous game. The issue with this is that they're not balanced, especially late game. Especially late game. They're not balanced at all because they tried to make him cool, look cool over actually making him, like, you know, fair. Um, I'm, I can't, like, think right now of anything else off the top of my head, but yeah. You, you basically, they, they set out to do much more new shit than they could, than was realistic. Like, no studio would be able to, like, make that many new things and make them good. Like, accomplish that many new goals. Like, 
The scope of the game is too big. That's what I was looking for. That, that's, that, that's the thing I was looking for. They didn't keep the scope of the game realistic. You need to keep the scope of the game realis realistic. Like, you need to know, like, okay, what should we aim for and what can we actually achieve? And only do the shit that you can actually achieve, you know? Don't try to, like, do things that you know you can't do or are, are not confident that you can do. You need to be confident that you can do it. Like, set out to do one thing right. Don't set out to do, like, five things okay. Which is what Elden Ring does, right? With all of its new mechanics. They're all okay, but none of them are good. They're acceptable. Well, most of them. Half of them. You know? Fuck's sake, I hate these guys so much. Nah. Alaho, by the way, I, I remember you saying, uh, I believe it was uh, Yarik. You said last stream that the worst enemies of these this kind are... Fuck. You said the worst kind of enemies are the ones with the spears, right? What does Elder Ring do? Clearly the developers knew that too, which is why they th uh, threw two of them at you here. They were like, yeah, those enemies are unfair to fight. Let's throw two of them at the player at the same time. Look at this. And let's make him not attack at the same time, so so it's impossible to dodge them. He input reading as well. That's great. Uh, on top of that, on top of everything, they decided to input read. This game is actually trash. What? Oh, dude, I'm so sick of this game and at this point. I can't wait. I'm so happy that we're finishing it in a couple of streams. And I'm taking a big fat break from it. I'm so done with this game. I'm actually so done. Like, early game, this game is super fun. But the longer you play it, the worse it gets. And then at the end game, it's just, like, not even fun anymore. I'm just doing it at this point just to get through it. The next, the last stream is going to be fun, though, definitely. But that's only be not because of the game. Because of the game being good. Just because I'm going to make it fun. I'll try at least. It's my first actual attempt at making any kind of like event for a stream. So we'll see. All right, how? Well, two hours, 32 minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm rushing to Melania, I think. I, I think I'll just ignore all the annoying ass enemies and I'll just rush to Melania. Endgame for real boring. Melania area sucks ass. It's not boring, it's annoying. There's a difference. If it was boring, it'd be even worse, honestly. That's the only thing I can give it. At least it's not boring. It's it's just it's just painful. It's it's annoying as fuck. Because if it was boring, I would just quit the game. That's the thing, right? So it's always better that it's always better to be at least annoying than to be boring. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, by the way, like while we're at that topic, a lot of people will shit on uh, on like movies and games and stuff like that for being inoffensive. Uh, specifically, I think movies and stuff like that. That is, uh, from my from my understanding of what the words offensive and inoffensive mean, uh, I'm pretty sure it's better to be inoffensive than be offensive, right? I'm not quite sure if I understood the, the meaning of those words, but uh, words, but I never understood people saying that, like uh, inoffensive as an insult. It's like should it not offend you, or does that, or does inoffensive have some kind of other meaning? And English is just being stupid again. I always thought like inoffensive means not offensive, correct? Because if so, like, isn't that a good thing? Why, why would you want fucking a game to literally offend you? Or, or like a... A movie. Or something. Now, I would rather not be offended. I, I prefer to be entertained in other ways, you know, or engaged in other ways. Obviously, it's better to be uh, offensive than be fucking straight up... Well, it's not, actually. I'd rather take up something straight up boring than something actually offensive. But still. I could just be misunderstanding the word, though. Actually, let me look it up. What the fuck does inoffensive mean? I swear to God, if it just means not offensive, then that's the stupidest thing people say. I swear to God. Let me check, let me check what it actually means. Um, in, inoffensive definition. Well, let me read out the definition. Inoffensive. I got the German definition. Why? Causing no harm or injury. Giving no provocation. Yeah, isn't that good? <laughs> isn't that good? What do people say that as if it's a bad thing? The problem is that they're trying so hard to make people not hate it that they don't focus on making it fun. Yeah, that's an issue, but like still saying saying inoffensive is kind of a weird 
It's a weird thing to say, like, as a negative thing. Like, why would you want to be offended by something? You know what I mean? There's such a thing as, like, like I feel like if you're, like, have your views challenged or, like, I think about something, that's not getting offended. That's not what it means. It's a different thing. Getting offended means, like, actually, like, here's an example. Whenever people say, like, anime is bad because it's inoffensive. Bro, I do not want to see another anime with, you know, roping in it. Like, I do not want to see another one. That shit is offensive to me. That pisses me off. Like, I, I instantly quit an anime when I see that shit because it pisses me off so much. Like, I do not want to see that. Or, or cest, you know, cest. I also, like, I also hate cest in anime. Or, you know, uh, lolly stuff. Uh, all of that shit. Like, that shit is offensive. It's good. And whenever people say, say, like, inoffensive, it's like, yeah, I'd prefer my anime to be inoffensive. Thank you very much. I do not like when anime fucking offends me with that kind of disgusting garbage in it. Like, I, I guess just people just, like, like, misuse the word then, I guess, since that's, that is the, what the definition is. Uh, being offended is a you problem. Some random homie, for real, though, for real. I mean, I, I, I mean, that random homie, it does have a, it does have a, wait, it does have a point. It is literally a you problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's still a problem, you know what I mean? It's not just a, a specific person problem. It, it's obviously a problem for a lot of people. But people get offended by different shit, you know what I mean? Again, back to the anime community. Uh, I would say 90% of anime community don't give a shit about any of those things that I listed. They'll they'll watch an anime, if it has that shit, they'll just be like, yeah, it's just another anime, who gives a shit? Meanwhile, I still very much give a shit. Especially if it's a good anime. God damn, dude, if it's a good anime and then includes some of that shit that I just listed, God damn, bro, it makes me want to fucking do unspe unspeakable things to the to the writer uh, in, in a video game, obviously. In a manga, in a manga. <laughs> No, it's just I just fucking hate when when people just do that shit. Chad, all right, wait a second. Let me pull off the face. It sucks because I don't have my beard anymore. You know what I mean? It's not it's not it's not as big as it was. Like in my profile picture, it looks it actually looks photoshopped because it looks so good, right? But it, it's not. It's just because I had a bigger beard, so it looks better. I mean, let me try it. I mean, let me remove this. It kind of makes it look a bit weird. I'm not sure if that did it look good. Wait a second. Like, a couple of variations of that. I, I just can't do it as good anymore because, uh, just because I don't have, like, that big of a beard anymore. Uh, do something good, uh... Do do something good, someone will hate it. The problem is if you don't risk something disliking it, you can't make something great. Yeah, yeah I understand that point, I understand that point. To do, okay, yeah, yeah, I understand that point, I understand that point. That, that, that does make sense. So using the word inoffensive for that is kind of weird. Obviously risking, risk, uh, like it's not really about risking offending someone. It's just risking someone disliking it. Like I feel like disliking something or even hating it is not the same as being offended. Being offended is something different. At least to me, like uh, being offended is a much stronger word. That, that means like I'm, I'm like my being is against that shit. Like I, like from the bottom of my soul, I fucking despise something. That's what it means to be offended by something. That, that's what I feel like. What it actually like makes me uh, like really emotionally upset. That is what I think, you know, that word means. At least to me. I, mean, I think people just might use it for like a different reason, you know? Because obviously like if you're gonna make something and just like make it like boring as shit, like straightforward. Yeah, that's horrible. But like I wouldn't use the word inoffensive for that. I just use it. I just use um, like uncreative. Just call it uncreative or boring, you know? Doesn't do anything new. Just use something else to describe that. Yeah, it's an English being bad thing, I guess. Yeah, it's it's very odd. It just always when I hear, always when I hear it, I was like, I was like, because I never I never bothered to look it up. You know what I mean? Or like ask an American because to be fair, I don't have any American friends. All my friends are either German, Croatian, or like I guess I have like a Polish friend. Um. <laughs> God damn it! Just just thinking of him, Jesus Christ! What a fucking fanboy, dude! What a fucking fanboy! Um. It's like, oh, m most Polish people, I would imagine, are fanboys, excluding the ones in chat, of course, unless you obviously identify with that. Um, but yeah. Now, to be fair, every single language has, like, stupid shit like that. Like, a German of most, I fucking despise German so much, you have no idea. I fucking despise the language. It's one of the worst languages I've ever seen. Like, first of all, why the fuck do you feel the need to make every single word so fucking long dude shorten your fucking language also not to mention combining two words to make a separate word that that's like either loosely connect like those two words loosely like make sense to like the new word or they just make no sense at all like why would you use those two words to make a new word which doesn't even mean anything related to that thing you know what i mean 
Like, it's, it's insane. Like, I can't think of any examples right now off the top of my head, but, like, multiple times I had that feeling. I fucking despise German. It's such a bad language, dude. It's actually the worst language on the planet. I know there, there's the one. I see, like, okay, one, two, three German. There should be three Germans in chat if, if uh, Furkan. Furkan? If he didn't leave. Because uh, I know him in real life as well. Although, to be fair, he's not German. Wait, were, were you born in Germany or Turkey? If you were born in Germany, fuck you, you're German. You're not Turkish. If you were born in Turkey, it's a different thing, though. But you know German, so you should know what I'm talking about. That's another thing, by the way. I fucking hate when people are like are like born in a country, but like their parents are from another country, right? Let's say, let's say for example, you're born in Germany, right? Or you're born in Germany, but your fair, fair parents are Turkish. Just an example, right? Um, and then you say that you're Turkish. Like, are you really Turkish? Are you really Turkish? Or are you German? Are you more German or are you more Turkish? I say you're more German than Turkish. You know what I mean? Depends on just or depends on the individual as well. Like obviously, if you know like. If in this example specifically, if you know Turkish, you know, and if you've been to Turkey, you like visit regularly, then yeah, obviously you're Turkish as well. You're Turkish and German. Then in that case, you're half. But like, if you if you've been born just born in Germany and you don't like speak Turkish or anything, you're connected to the culture at all. That's a different thing. I mean, English is worse than a lot of things. We have uh, things like Arkansas and it's pronounced Arkansas. Isn't it Arca Arca is it Arkansas? It's Arkansas. What? <laughs> it's Arkansas, dude. Are you German or Gurkish? <laughs> oh, Turman or Gurkish. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm a full, full blood Croatian, though. Full blood. Uh, although, to be, fra to be uh, fair, I don't really give a shit about it. I'm not patriotic in the slightest. I genuinely do not give a shit where I come from. I'm basically not even Croatian just because I don't care. I generally do not relate to any of that, any of that shit, or not relate, I guess, identify, I don't identify really with any of that shit. I'm like, what would be, what would be I'm, I'm non-national, I'm non-national, <laughs> non-national. There we go, uh, LGBTQ, add another, add another one to the list, you know, uh, add a, whatever the fuck, N, add an, add an N, a N for na nationality. I, I am non-national, I do not identify with any nation. English is dumb. Most languages are, to be fair. Most languages are. Why? Uh, I just don't give a shit, really. Like, there, there's not, there's no reason for me. I'm not li like, I'm not like, I don't hate Croatia or anything like that. I'm just impartial. I just don't care where I'm from. I don't know. I just don't see a reason to care, Th or to be, to be patriotic. It's not like my country ever did anything for me, to be fair. You know what I mean? Like, the only thing it did or, in Croatia specifically, the specific example of Croatia. A lot of people like Croatia, right? A lot of people who aren't Croatian. Because they're like, Oh, yo, bro, you know, pretty sea, pretty sea, nature, nature. Yeah, sure, bro. Try living in Croatia as a non-rich person. Like, try try living in Croatia, working in Croatia as like a working class citizen. Move to Croatia and try working. Working there. I was like with a normal job, job just like a normal job. Not like a, like, like an IT job, some high paying shit, not as a politician or anything. Try working like that. Bro, you will fucking, you will starve. You will literally fucking be starving, dude. It is insane. You do not get paid anything, Krisha. It's awful. Every, literally, like, 90%, 99% of the money goes to the politicians. It's awful. They literally rob you of every, everything. It's horrible. The Croatia is, like, one of the worst countries in the world. I swear to God. Okay, so, to be fair, I did say, like, I don't, I don't hate Croatia, but I, I, that makes it sound like I kind of do, but I genuinely don't give a shit. I'm just saying facts. It's literally, is like, one of the worst countries in the world. world. That's, like, 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 my opinion. That is fact. It is horrible. Send me to Discord, you want to see how bad English is? Wait, I'll check it out uh, uh, in a second. Let me just get to uh, Melania real quick. Uh, she should be near here, I believe. We should be close. Mm. Yeah, Croatia is just not a very good country. So there's definitely no reason for me to like be patriotic about it. But I honestly just, even if it was a good country, I just wouldn't care. Like, I just, I'm just impartial. I just don't care about that shit. It seems ridiculous to me just to be, like, patriotic to something. Like, why would you be? Unless your country literally did something for you. Like, something, like, actually something good. Which I don't think any country does anything, like, particularly impressive or good, like, for their citizens. Like, to the point where you would be, like, like, willing to, like, defend it and, like, you know, stay in your country. That seems a bit weird to me. That's why I was thought, like, Americans are kind of weird, like, for being so patriotic. It's like, what the fuck did your country ever do for you? Except for steal your money. Like, literally. Hello, Nico. You came just in time. You know what's beyond? You know what's beyond that fog? Do you know what's beyond that fog? Yeah, it's the one, the only. When millennia, millennia now. All right, let me let me check out that meme that he that um 
uh, Reaper sent in the Discord. Discord? By the way, the Discord's gonna be public in, um, what was it called? In Monday, on Monday. I'm gonna make it public. We're gonna have a long ass stream, 12 hours. So by the way, Nico, uh, you said you would donate next month. Do it on the 1st. Because, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Because we're gonna be doing like a bunch of challenges. What what are your pronouns? You can you can see them on on Discord. I, let me read them out. My pronouns are uh, Chad Alpha Sigma Giga Chad Looks Maxer. Those are my pronouns. <laughs> right, what was all right, I was gonna sh uh, show the stream. <laughs> the rats claim another. What the fuck does that even mean? I, I understand. I would understand that if it's like a British meme, but like uh, American. I'm, uh, to be fair, yeah, it, it probably is a British meme, right? Like, the, the, that would make sense for, like, British because of the plague, right? The plague was in Britain as well, right? Not just in, like, the other parts of Europe. But, like, that makes sense. The rats claim another. Like, it makes sense. It's Black Plague, right? But... I, I don't know. I, I guess that's how I interpret the meme. I'm not sure. Uh, and I, Wait, that's not the one you sent. That's not the one you sent. I, I fucking misread. Wait, well, you sent something else. You, you sent something else. Sorry, sorry. I misread I misread the message. I, that was from, that was from uh, Yarek. Wait a second, wait a second. I'll, I'll, all right, I'll open this up. Hopefully this doesn't get me copyrighted. Let me open this up real quick. I literally fucking, I wasn't even looking at who sent the meme. God damn it. Fucking uh, read the wrong thing. I'm snackless. What the fuck does that even mean? What's that even mean? Okay, wait a second. Display capture. Yeah. All right, let's see this. Uh, wait, you, can you hear it? Oh, uh, let me check. Oh yeah, I saw actually I saw this clip. I saw this clip. I saw this clip. Yeah, that's that's a fucking good clip though. That this guy's funny. Coom. <laughs> Cooming. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Boom, yeah, exactly. Boom. No, it's great, it's great. That, that's fucking fantastic. I like that a lot. Yeah, that guy's that's, that guy's fucking hilarious. I like him a lot. Alright. Is everyone here? Can we get a check? Can everyone type one in chat? Just just want to see how many people are here. I just want to see who I need to ban or not. You know, who, I need to, who, who gets a ban, who doesn't get a ban. So everyone type one in chat. Okay. Sprady doesn't get a ban. He's lucky. He's lucky. Yarek doesn't get a ban, good. Oh, to be fair, he never said Melania. Nico's here. Where's where's Ezrian? <laughs> where's Ezrian? I don't see him anywhere. A little, little Ezrian, where is he? Where's Ezrian? Hello? Ezrian? You better fucking you better type that one, dude. <laughs> you better type that one. Uh unlucky. Look, someone's getting a ban. Someone's getting a ban, dude. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, someone's gotta get banned, dude. The guy who f fucking wanted to see Melania the most is not even here. That, okay, he came here. Someone fucking sent him a message to come here or something. Okay, you're not getting a ban. Fair enough. Fair enough. Are you guys ready? Most of you, half of you, have been wanting this for so long. So long. Melania. It's time. Melania when? Millennia now. First try. We'll see. Mind you, mind you. We have a plus 10 weapon. <laughs> we have a plus 10 weapon. We're gonna die, dude. There's no way. Literally a plus plus 10 weapon. If we beat Millennia with this, I think I'll actually make it onto some fucking clips because I'm pretty sure a plus 10 weapon would be pretty fucking impressive. Uh, especially it's considered it's a fists. Millennia catching some balls now? Hell yeah. Not at win moment. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck was this? Helpful review. There we go. Flirt with her and sedu <laughs> and seduce her. I will. Why was that helpful review? YouTube is retarded. YouTube is so stupid. Why would you? Why would YouTube fucking help, help, hold that for review? That's so stupid. Like it's not even like it's not even a, a swear word or anything like uh, offensive. I guess because it's, it's sexual in nature. I, I, don't know, I don't know. Stupid. I dreamt for so long. Dude, feet, feet, feet. Feet! Oh my god, feet! Iron feet! Iron feet! Was dull. 
Steel feet, guys, steel feet. Everyone sniff the screen, sniff the screen. I want to see some sniff emojis in chat right now. Corpse after corpse. Some nose emojis. God damn, there she is. As I awaited his return. Yeah, he ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. In two months, in two months you'll get to see him. Your little bro. Alright. My words. Oh no. I am Elenia, Blade of Nicola. No, 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 no. If die counter greater than one. <laughs> OS start. Welcome to the game, too. No, no, we're not playing Welcome to the game, too. Fuck no. Not yet, not yet. Anyways. Nose emoji. Hell yeah, Reaper of Memes. Base Giga Chad. No, no. Why? Why can't I move? Nah, that's so unfair. Literally starts out like this. I can't even move. Yeah, two healing flasks? Gone. Because I couldn't fucking move. Goddamn fucking controller thing. Because I think I just clicked off chat, I think. Or I clicked off the game, that's why. At least we stun her. That's good, that's good. Fuck. Half my HP, by the way. Half my HP gone. And she's at full HP again. This isn't happening. Okay. That was fair, I think. What? Like, starting off and not being able to move? I don't think that was very fair. Fuck. Bitch. I bet you've never sk seen skill like this, dude. I bet you have never seen skill like this, bro. Furkan, there we go. Nose emoji. Giga Chad. Run away, run away, run away. She's gonna do it, she's gonna do it now, I bet. I bet she's gonna do it soon. Yep, fucking knew it, bitch. Woo, okay. Lucky, lucky, she did it, we're lucky. Just don't do it again now. No, 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 no. Can I heal? Thank you. Giga Chad? Yes, Giga Chad. Watch this. Fuck. We got nine flasks. I don't think. I think we'll get our first phase, first try, but not second phase, definitely. Imagine we get our first try, though. Imagine with a plus ten weapon. Not happening, though. Not that. Not happening. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna jump in the air, bitch? I bet she's gonna do it soon. I heard that she can only do it twice in her first phase. That's not true. That's 100% not true. Oof, okay. Fuck. I got hit by that. That's bad. Stop edging her? <laughs> Fuck's sake. God damn it. Oh, she fucking topped off again. Yeah, okay. I love how she just has immunity. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Fuck's sake. Look, she's back to full HP almost. Fuck's sake. That's 75%. I think she's gonna do it again now, right? She's walking slowly. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna do it, bitch? You gonna do it? I, she's literally waiting for me to get it right up in her face. Watch this, watch this. Fuck's sake, man. Okay. I'm playing like a pussy, I need to stop. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, okay, to be fair, to be fair, I did mess up there. That was dodgeable for me because I got lucky. 
Well, although they might have, they might have improved her moveset to be fair. Not, I'm actually, <laughs> fuck. Why am I being proven wrong? I'm like, actually, that could have been dodged. I see the potential. If I, if I knew what I was doing, I would have been able to dodge that move. Like, sure, I still got hit. I, st I, sh I still got hit from it for, for the first time, right? Like the first tick, that was unavoidable. That's bullshit, right? But I got lucky enough not to get stun locked. Therefore, I could dodge the rest of the move. But it's still bullshit because the first tick is unavoidable if you're that close to her. Okay, let me read. Stop edging her. Yeah, Dami, Mommy, Melania about to make me Scarlet Rod. <laughs> what the fuck? Dodge, bro. Yeah, I'd like to see you try, but you never fucking even play the fucking Dark Souls game. You literally stream like Valorant and League. Fuck off. Did you still do the fucking... Did you do the Dark Souls stream I asked for? I bet you didn't. I bet you still didn't do that fucking uh, Dark Souls stream I asked for. <laughs> Yarek, just fucking face emoji. Fuck's sake. Spray D, okay. Another, we got another fucking face emoji, nice. A combo, a face combo. Come on, bitch. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh, big mistake, slut. Big mistake attacking me. I am here. Hello, Vistalex. You came just in time. Fuck. Fuck. Stupid bitch. No! How I miss? How I miss? Impossible. I, I do not miss ever. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Do the move! Do it! Jump in the air! Jump, flutter your feet! Flutter your feet in the air! Do it! Do it! Flutter your feet in the air! You gonna do it? Do it, pussy! Do it! Do it! Do it, pussy! Fuck's sake! Fuck's sake! I'm done! What is she doing? I don't think I've ever seen that move in my life. Nah, I'm done. Explain to me. Explain to me how I'm supposed to dodge that move. Explain to me how I'm supposed to dodge that move. How is it anything other than luck? How is it anything other than luck? I don't know, I'll try. I'll try a couple more times and then we'll, then we'll, then I'll make my conclusion. Maybe I am just shit. We'll see. Haha, <laughs> dead. Nah, you're getting a timeout. You're getting a timeout. You're getting a fucking timeout, you fucking piece of shit. Here you go, 10 seconds. Fuck you. 10 seconds of silence. What the fuck are those? Just monkey emojis. That's it. Chadnik ha happy? I'm not happy. I'm happy that you guys are here. Nine watching Pog? Hell yeah. Wait, nine people? I don't even... Do I even know nine of you? There's, there's gotta be someone watching in silence then. Well, uh, whoever you are, hello. He hates monkeys. That's kind of racist, I feel like. You seen that guy beat her with Elon Musk build, fat roll and all? Dude, fat roll is irrelevant. If you have a bunch of fucking armor and you have a heavy weapon, you can easily beat her. I beat her first try. No, I didn't. I beat her very e pretty easily. Um, like first try after like trying another day, right? I beat her first try that day uh, while using like a, a, a greatsword and that's pretty much it. So it's not, it's not that bad. Chadnik beat up woman, Chadnik happy. <laughs> Second phase, Chadnik sad. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, Elon Musk had like two shields in EQ. Why, why would he have two shields? <laughs> I don't think you have seen his build. Uh, it's just like that build where he just has a bunch of weapons for no fucking reason, right? Like he has like dex weapons, he has like sorcery, he has like a heavy weapon. The guy said it took like nine months. Okay, well, yeah. That's just dedication at that point, not even skill. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I dealt damage to her, it doesn't even matter. She just heals it all. Nah, she knows. She knows when to dodge away. She knows. Oh, big mistake, bitch. Big mistake. Big mistake. Wait, so Elon beat her? No, I don't think it was Elon. I think it was just a guy using the build. Right? If I understood that correctly. 
I doubt Elon managed to beat her. <laughs> Imagine if fucking Elon Musk was able to beat Melania, dude. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine if bro was that that much of a no-lifer. <laughs> it just ignores Tesla. Ignores all of that shit. That makes no progress with anything. And just plays fucking Eldering for months trying to beat her. Puts everything else on the shelf. <laughs> Melania comes first. <laughs> that'd be great, that'd be great. But nah, it wasn't Elon for sure. Elon never beat her, guaranteed. As to be fair, Melania just difficulty just poo whenever you use a mimic tier. I'm not using that, so. Melania professional killer. Melania Chad of Nicola. To be fair, she's very Chadly. I love how she can parry your attacks as well, or block him, I guess. It's it's an interesting mechanic. I just wish uh, I just wish she she didn't, uh, you know, do that on top of healing, on top of having that fucking literal unavoidable move, you know, on top of all that other shit. You gonna jump? You gonna jump, little lady? Yeah, jump, little lady. Fuck you. You can't do shit. Nah, it doesn't matter, bitch. Mikola better be a beast in the DLC. I don't think we'll even fight Mikola. I think she, he, he's just gonna be like a dude. You know? Just just a dude chilling out, like guiding us through the DLC. I don't think he's actually gonna be like a boss. Oh, that could be wrong. And I hope Mikola is a good NPC. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. I think he's just gonna be an NPC. I don't think it's actually gonna be a, a boss. Maybe the form that we see in the egg, you know, like with the, where he has like a long ass arm and shit. Maybe that form. Maybe we'll have to defeat that, like to release his soul or some shit like that. I don't know. To give him peace. Alright, we're actually dead. Yep, we're actually dead. How? 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 When you have that little HP. Okay. I, I dare you, I dare you, I dare, fucking, I dare chat to argue with me, and do it, argue with me, I want you to argue with me. How could I have avoided dying in that situation? Just, the only thing I can think of is, be a pussy, run away, and heal. <laughs> Chadnik, professional woman, millennia, beater. <laughs> I wish, I wish, but nah. Is someone counting these deaths, by the way? Is, is someone kind, counting these deaths? Haha, ha, fucking points a thing at me. Uh, spray the timing, time daddy bear out for 10 seconds. B, let me solo her. True, but that requires cheesing the game, to be fair. And also, uh, perfect timing. Was that meant to like uh, be like an argument on how to dodge it? You can't. There's no perfect timing for that move. You have to run in a circle and then bug out her AI. You can't do it otherwise. And that's not intended. I mean, it's bullshit. That's literally cheating. You're literally bugging or not cheating. It's... It, Exploiting, I suppose you would call it, but it's, it's you're literally bugging out her AI. Nah, I love how she extends her moves whenever she just like notices that she can hit me. Yeah, bullshit. Mods, crush his balls. Yep, mods, can you please crush his balls, please? For me. I actually tried to dodge so hard, but it didn't work out. I hate that move so much. She dodges and then she attacks right away. It's the most bullshit fucking attack I've ever seen in my life. But as you can see, I don't really have too many problems like dodging her attacks in general. It's just mostly just the waterfowl dance. And like that, whenever I get greedy, because I'm, I'm just fucking annoyed now. What is that? Bailiff Wack is pee pee? Le Bon Bon, you are my sh sunshine. What the fuck even is that? I don't even know the reference. Come on, did you see that shit, dude? What a bitch. Nah, not happening, bitch. Suck my cock. Suck my 10 inch long schlong. It's not 10 inches, by the way, it's way longer. How does she not get stunned? What's happening? 
No, no way. Get stunned, bitch. Get stunned, whore. She's literally not like losing poise. I don't know why. I already hit like we have established that three charge attacks breaks her poise in quick succession. It's a new LeBron meme. Hmm. You haven't seen the bailiff walk his PP vid. I did not. I'm not too caught up on you know modern memes. I feel like uh, I just don't like I don't really browse Reddit. Like, I feel like the only times I was actually like caught up in meme culture was like when uh, Felix did like meme reviews. Like that's the only time I was actually like active with meme culture. Or kept up with it. No, no, not really. Besides, there's just so, like nowadays it's kind of hard to do it as well because memes literally die in a week. They die instantly. Like they do not last long. There's like no point in even keeping up with the meme culture because it's gotta be re irrelevant. Whatever you learn is gotta be irrelevant in a week, anyways. My nose emote looks like a dick. I don't know why, dude. Like, I mean, it, it really does look like a cock. To be fair. I'm eating cereal in a cup? What the fuck is wrong with you? Disgusting. What a weirdo. Nah, you're really gonna fucking backstep, you fucking bitch? Nah, she's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. I got a feeling she's gonna jump. I need to, like, uh, go to a correct side that I wasn't gonna get fucked. Jump, jump, bitch, jump. I know you're gonna jump. Watch this. As soon as I jump attack her, she's gonna jump. Never mind. The game, the game heard me, so it decided to prove me wrong. Watch this, as soon as I jump... Actually, I'm not even gonna jump. Come on, do it. Fuck, watch this. Fuck. She's not doing it on purpose. Bro, why does YouTube hide those things? Uh... Uh... Uh, what's, what's your fucking name? Uh, Spray D, can you, can you, like, approve messages if they're being held for review? Like, you should be able to see that as well, right? Like, could you, like, approve those messages for me if they're not, like, anything extreme? Like Reaper of Memes right now, he wrote my massive cock and that got like held for review. So could you uh, just approve those? I click on show. Yes, okay, yeah, thank you. Do that for me then. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, that one was my fault to be fair, but still. My true name was Sadie. Sadie. Said. Was it? What do you mean your true name was said? Haha, <laughs> dead again? He keeps doing it. Someone time, t time out daddy bear for a minute, please. Time out for a minute. Every single time he does this, up the timeout. Up the fucking timeout. Goofy, ah, uh, YouTube. <laughs> Fourth death I saw, nice. No, it's not doing it then. <laughs> he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Don't actually up this. Don't actually up the timeout. Just just time out for a minute every single time he does this shit. <laughs> my name my name weirdo was named said. What the fuck are you even talking about? I have no idea what's what's happening. What do you mean? Your name is weirdo? Fucking bitch. Man, this 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 uh what was I gonna say? This boss fight really tries to like recreate uh, a lone boss fight from uh, Dark Souls 2. It really fails. This does not feel like a duel. It feels like her kicking her fucking ass and you can't do anything about it. Is bro having a stroke? I swear to god he is. <laughs> Are you good, man? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not letting her rest. I'm not letting her rest. I have to though, kinda. I hate that she heals with her leg. How's that making sense even? With her fucking leg? Come on! What's with the range? See, if I had a if I had a great sword, it would be easy, but like because I would actually have range. I don't have any range, so it makes it way harder. Oh come on! That literally edged me, dude. That edged me. I'm not even gonna bother healing. I'm not healing. Fuck it. Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, I food get now. Me, me, me caveman. Me, me bang wife. <laughs> These fucking faces, man. Fuck, I need to go I need to go uh, fucking piss soon. I need <laughs> yeah, I I'm gonna have to take a break and like... 
I I'll do a couple more attempts and then I'll take a break and I'll go piss real quick. Because I've been drinking a lot this stream and I haven't wanted to piss yet. Oh, I hate... You see, the, th the issue with Melania is, even when I do like a jumping... I shouldn't take out my, my hand off my controller. Uh, even when I do like a jumping attack, of course you dodge. Even when I do a jumping attack, I still get hit. Even though with most enemies, I don't. Yeah, I'm dead. Even though with most enemies, I don't because my hitbox is so low. But she swings directly in my head. So I can't do anything. One Melania drink stream. <sighs> okay, I'll just... Okay, I'll do a mild... I, uh, I don't have that much left and I want to save it up for the for the 12 hour stream. I want to save it up. I want to save it for the 12 hour stream where I drink for every challenge. Every time people donate shit. How was that held for a view? What the hell? So, uh, you know, I don't want to drink yet. Cause, uh, let me check how much I have. Because I doubt I'll drink that much for the, the stream. But... Okay, so I I don't have too much. I want to save it for the stream. Uh, f no one was doing it. No one was fucking pointing at me saying dead. Fuck you. Fuck you. I would time every single one of you out, but I can't. And I don't, as in, like, I can't and Spray D shouldn't. Because, you know, then the stream looks fucking dead. Literally everyone timed out. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck's sake. Come on, Reaper. Don't join in. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were better than that. He can't stop us all. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Put your fucking ass in the bed. <laughs> The fucking, the fucking mod joined in. Are you fucking serious? The fucking mod joined in is pointing at me. Thank you, Yarek. Based Yarek. Pointing saying alive. I am alive indeed. Guess who isn't though? Melania. What? Did you see that? One of us. <laughs> Yeah, now everyone's pointing alive. Nice. You're just gonna, you're just gonna point out my whatever my current status is. Is that it? Like as soon as I die, you're you're all gonna start typing like pointing pointing finger and saying a dead. But did you see that, bro? That fucking thrusting attack. That was such bullshit. She literally snapped snaps onto you. That's such bullshit game design. What the fuck? And of course, again, input reading, input reading. That's great. I love input reading. Yeah, I can't even like do it like super early because then I die. Probably dead. Probably indeed. Probably indeed. I fucking hate you guys so much. Spray D, ban everyone including yourself. <laughs> indeed, indeed. What are we promoting indeed now? The company? I forget what, what does indeed do again? Is it like for job offers? Is that it? I forget. Alright. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. The, the stream will literally be dead if you do that. Don't do that. About to fall? Fuck you. I'm not about to fall. I'm alive. I'm, I'm healthy. Look how much damage I'm doing to her. We're good. We're good. Hey, by the way, before any of you say skill issue, I got a fucking plus 10 weapon, alright? What'd you beat Melania with? Yeah. Sorcery and, 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 and uh, Mimic tier. Yeah, bleed build and mimic tier. Yeah, strength build, full heaviest armor in the game, mimic tier. Fuck you. Stream dead? Your mom dead. Fuck off. I hate this bitch so much. Literally any damage I do doesn't drink water. I do. I do drink water. Through iced tea, I get water. I use bare fist. Uh, uh, add spray D and then points. <laughs> Literally pointing at himself. Oh, fuck off. Bitch Lania. You know, just kill me. Kill me. Kill me! Oh, we'll have diabetes. Fuck off, dude. As if you fucking... As if your diet is any better, bro. As if your fucking diet is any better. You, I, I bet you just drink... You, I bet you just eat, like, meat and vegetables and that's it. Am I right? Dead, dead. Yeah, fuck you guys. I hate you guys so much. Fucking kill me. I'm gonna kill all of you in the video game. I'm gonna kill all of you on Monday in, in Elden Ring. I used Briar set. Yeah, sure you did, buddy. Sure you did. Rolling only? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy, you did. Sure you did. 
In game. Yeah, in game, exactly. By the way, uh, I'm pretty sure all of you play Elden Ring since you're watching an Elden Ring stream. Surely, right? Uh, make sure you prepare some builds for uh, Monday. Because we're going to be doing a lot of PvP on Monday. And I'm going to kill all of you guys in, 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 in Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, obviously. In Elden Ring. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Have a nice day, just points. Have a nice day. Okay. Okay. This stream is such cancer, dude. This is the, this is this is literally worse than Queso's chat at this point. And he has like hundreds, uh, tens of thousands of people chatting, and I just have like what five? I don't want to wait, not five, more. You'll make me happy, point. Thank you. You also, you guys also make me happy despite your very toxic behavior. Oh, come on! Not six foot? Two feet? Fuck you, I'm not... You're right, I'm not six foot tall. I'm actually seven foot tall. <laughs> I'm actually seven foot tall. Two foot down, <laughs> down there. What? <laughs> I'm not two feet, alright? Fuck off, I'm tall. I'm a Giga Chad. I'm the tallest person you've ever met in your life. Okay, that's a good combo. That's a good combo. We figured it out. We figured out a good com to, 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 uh, combo. Millennia taller? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. She is taller than the in-game character. No, I'm dead. I fucking hate this shit so much. Bridge troll? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay, that's actually so fucking mean. Time him out. Time out, daddy bear. Fucking... He, he calls me a bridge, tr bridge troll. By the way, Melania is canonically 9 foot. Is she? <laughs> There's no way. How tall is Radon then? What the fuck? Come on, dude. Ah, oh, you bitch, you bitch, you slut, you whore. You can always summon us? Uh-uh, I'm not happening in your fucking dreams. I ain't summoning nobody. I, I'm not a pussy. Not the people who summon are pussies. I don't want to fucking, like, criticize anyone for it. Actually, fuck it, I ain't gonna care. You're a pussy if you summon. That's, and that's okay. That's okay. Being a pussy is valid. In fact, I like pussies quite a bit. So I like you. If you summon, you're a pussy and I like you. Yeah, just pointing fingers now. Just pointing fingers. Just pointing fingers. Yep, they're literally not even- They're not even bothering to be creative now. They're just pointing fingers, all of them. I fucking hate you. Woman gets stunned! She's literally mid-air. How does she not get stunned? That makes no physical sense. Nah, this is not gonna work out well. Nah, I'm gonna- Nah. Nah. <laughs> it just points up. <laughs> it points up. A little bit of variation, very nice. Oh god, dude. Yeah, now everyone's pointing up. It doesn't count anymore, you're not creative anymore. Radon is canonically 27 feet tall. Okay. Lore master. I thought Reaper was the lore master, dude. Now everyone's fucking- Now everyone became a lore master. Dead. Oh, fuck you. Okay, um... How many deaths are we at now? Has anyone been keep keeping count at all? Does anyone know? How many deaths so far? Dead lol. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many? How many deaths? Chad? Thank you, Reaper of Memes. I am a Chad. I'm a wine Chad. <laughs> a wine coping Chad. Someone give me a number. How many deaths? I'm never doing a jumping attack again. I'm never doing a jumping attack again. Fuck jumping attacks. Nah, fuck you, woman. I do a jumping attack, of course. How? That didn't even hit me! Pause the video. Pause the video and fucking... Pause the stream. Zoom in. Slow down. Did she hit me? Did she hit me? There. Did she hit me? Did... Did... 
the blade touch my nipples. It did not. It did not. Literally, the white, the white trail the blade leaves, that touched me. And that deals damage. Ridiculo. Ridiculo. Fucking hell. Yeah, dead. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, I'll tell you what. Five more tries. And if I die every single time, because I'm not even getting her to phase two. This is awful. Um, I'm going to upgrade this to plus 15. And then for every five deaths, I'm going to upgrade. Up, or for every 10 deaths after, I'm going to upgrade it to plus another plus five. And I'm going to keep doing that. And then if we still can't beat her, even phase one, uh, spike ball. I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm just not... I'm just not... Oh, to be fair, it is because I suck, but also not dealing enough damage. That's also a problem. I need to actually bit out her attacks. I can't attack first. Or can I? Yeah, alive. Okay, yeah. Gear Chad. Okay. Nah, fuck's sake, man. I love how she, like, pretty much heals to full HP. It sucks. Uh, yeah, great, great. Oh, of course I miss. Of course I miss. No, it's just unplayable. The game is unplayable, I swear to god. I can't attack her. Like, she doesn't leave any openings. Like, for a light attack, maybe. But what the fuck is a light attack? She heals that shit right away. Don't at me, dude. Don't fucking at me and fucking... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you said you said I'm a giga chat, but... Still, don't at me. What the fuck, man? Watch everyone start adding me. Did someone add giga... giga uh, uh, Daddy Bear and call him a giga chat? He's not a giga chat. He's a fucking furry, dude. Moon. It's just a moon moon face. She doesn't literally leaves me no openings, that's the thing. Nah, I literally can't even play the game. Nah, she doesn't even let me play the game. Look at that, that's all the damage I can do. Like if I can if I can't rely on my stun for this fight, then then there's I can't beat her. Because, like, that's literally the thing, why I've been able to play the game for so long with a plus 10 weapon, is because of stun. Because of stun. Because I've been able to stun enemies and repost them, and deal massive damage that way. That's the only way, but if I can't do that with her, I gotta upgrade my weapon. That's that's it, that's the only thing. Foot lover. I mean, and I'm not gonna deny it, but only 2D feet, I don't like 3D feet. 3D feet are disgusting, and real life feet, but like 2D feet, like, Briar from League of Legends, whoo! Or that one scene from uh, Freerun. Holy moly, dude. The feet. Amazing. Any 2D character with feet. Holy moly, dude. Wood. Wood. Soap. Just soap emoji. Wash it. Wash your Wash your soul after that. <laughs> just radi radioactive signs. Yeah, of course she does that while I'm healing, by the way. Literally giving me no opportunity to actually block it at all. Got miss! I'm dead. One. 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 Oh, dude. This sucks. This sucks. I love how, by the way, nobody's on Twitch. Like, I, I, maybe, they're, maybe they're reviewers. I doubt it, though. Uh, but uh, nobody's chatting on Twitch. Which I find, like... It's a good thing I switched to YouTube. But because clearly nobody clicks on the, on my Twitch thingy. Because uh, nobody clicks on people. Whenever, like, whenever people on Twitch see zero viewers, they won't click. Because there's no way to in incentivize your viewers to click. There's no thumbnail, right? The title, I mean, I can adjust the thumbnail, but then I have to adjust it for every single stream. And even then, it's not... Then nobody, nobody's gonna click uh, for a fucking thumbnail. Or for a title, most likely. Especially the titles I make. I'm pretty sure most people click on the on the videos because of the thumbnails, I would, I would think. I intended to switch to Twitch. Ah. I don't know, just whatever, whatever people prefer, obviously go there. Doesn't make really a difference where you are, but still, I, I feel like Twitch just makes it harder for me to get viewers, which is why, which is why I prefer YouTube. Twitch is probably gonna ban me for that because I'm pretty sure it's against uh, Twitch TOS to like promote YouTube in any way, and I, I genuinely don't care. I, I get zero viewers. It's not like it's gonna make a difference if I'm get, if I get banned on Twitch. But I mean, to be fair, if they're not gonna ban like literal nudity, you know, and like a woman literally getting her cheeks clapped on stream, then I, I mean, I, I don't think it's very fair to ban me for promoting fucking YouTube. If, if I'm promoting it for something that Twitch doesn't even have, which is the ability to promote your streams. Message retracted. What the hell did he write? What the hell did he write? Can, can someone say what he wrote? 
Message retracted. Why did he why did he retract his message? What kind of hating shit did he write? Not aggression. I don't know if he did it by himself. Yeah, no, he did it by himself. I'm just curious what the fuck he wrote. I sent feed emoji. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Dead again. Dead lol. Fuck. Why do you gotta... You know what the worst thing is? If you just said dead, I wouldn't even mind. But the fact that you added a lol there at the end... I fucking hate you for that. Like, that that, that rubs it in so much so much more. I hate it. Why why just point and like what's what's with the present emoji? Just like point and present. Like what's that even mean? <laughs> now to be fair, the, the my current appearance of the chat is quite indicative of my current mental behavior. Four more subs. Did I get four more subs while I was streaming? How much how many am I at now? Also, what the fuck? Who's subbing? There's no new people here, is there? Unless there's people who are watching and not talking in chat, which obviously, yeah, fine. That's fine. Speaking of, right, if there is... Enjoy the stream. 35? I, I, did I have 31 before? I thought I had more. I thought, didn't I have 34? No, I had 34. That's one more sub. And one since I started streaming, then one more sub. It's probably that, that uh, person that was uh, in the stream earlier. Wave. I am a wave. I, I do not understand what that means. What's with all these cryptic messages? We already had like one of these streams where, where a bunch... Everyone was just leaving like uh, cryptic messages and I couldn't understand jack shit. Like am I, am I the only one who doesn't understand these fucking messages? You had 31 when I was here last time. Yeah, yeah, I, I had 31 when you were here last time. But uh, I got like four, uh, three more... I'm waving at you. Aha, I get you, I get you. You need to explain this shit to me, man. I'm, I'm too stupid to get this shit. I'm too mentally old. To actually understand all these uh, complicated ass, you know, things. All this uh, modern kids culture. These these little kids emojis. I do not understand them. I'm too old. No way! No way did she do it. I didn't even know she fucking did that. That animation is not well done. I did not even know that she was gonna grab me. Are you serious? That is dog sh I couldn't even dodge that one. I literally could not even dodge that one. What the fuck? I hate this game. Alright, tell you what, guys. I'm gonna drink and I'm gonna go piss. How many? That, that's two, right? We're at two. Three more and then I'm upgrading a weapon. Three more. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> literally had to spit it back out as soon as I saw the, 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 the snap and then the feet. <laughs> Uh, you're lucky they didn't make it so that she can attack you when you're down in like a second. What do you mean? They, she absolutely can. I literally... Did you not watch my first video? Come Or uh, la latest video? I literally made a joke about that. How in this game, whenever your uh, enemies... Whenever you you take enemies down, enemies are like this. And here, I'll, I'll just do it like this so you understand. Hittable. Meanwhile, you... Hittable. That's it. You just need to like slightly stand up, like like lean your back forward, literally a little bit, you know, and you're hittable. That's literally the entire thing. You know, meanwhile, enemies actually have to be uh, normal and stuff. All right. Tell you what. Um, okay. I, I got a good idea. Since I got to go piss, we're going to do something else. Uh, we're going to do something else just to entertain you guys. And since clearly none of you watch my videos, God damn it. I'm gonna- I'm gonna play my latest video for all of you. It's, you're not gonna watch the whole video, because I'm gonna go piss. And it, that's gonna take five minutes. Max. Less, probably. But I'm gonna play one- my, my latest video, and you could get- you guys can watch that. Uh, while I go piss. Real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is the- fucking- where is the thing? Like, game? Alright, I'll, rem I'll remove the camera. I'll, I'll keep the- I'll remove the camera, yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> what's that? What's that? Is that diapers? <laughs> I'm not gonna wear diapers and piss myself on stream, come on. Uh, wait a second. Display capture. Alright. Everyone, 
subscribe. I'm, I'm, you're probably all subscribed, but still. All right. You guys can hear this, right? Wait a second. You should be able to hear it. All right, I'll put it like this, like that, like this. Let me boost the volume a little bit. Um, where is it? Where is it? Stream. I'll put it up to like 30%. Should be fine. Is that loud enough? Is that loud enough for you guys? I leave. Go ahead, dude. I don't give a shit. I'm going to go piss for like five minutes. If you can't wait that long, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, I, okay. I'm assuming it's, it's loud enough. I'm just going to leave it leave it here. Let me just put it to repeat in case. I'm, it's not going to take 15 minutes, but still. I'm going to go piss. I'll be right back. Enjoy the video. Mm, now I'll use the main gate. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Fuck. Okay. Go. I'm a fucking Dark Souls master. Boom. Not a scratch. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Thank God I stunned that guy. Fuck, uh, fuck. Okay. Fuck that. Cool. I'll take care of these guys. Fuck, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Dude, what the fuck is that? What is that? What fucking language is that even? Is that fucking... Uh, bro, I'm not good with language. Is that like, with Spanish? French? It better not be fucking French. It is French, isn't it? Fuck off, dude. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know any of these fucking languages, dude. All I know is fucking Croatian, German, and English. It is surrender. Okay, so it is French. It is French. Okay. Oh, you actually fucking donated? I didn't even fucking see that. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I made my first money. 420. Based. So I'm such a base giga chat. I don't even gotta pay attention to the game fully to beat this guy. Okay. I better stop paying attention now. Fuck. I'm gonna die. I've literally been here for like a couple of seconds just looking Yo. at what you guys are typing. It's not Hassan's stream, okay? It's not, it's not Hassan's stream. Look, at least I play my own content. Right? That, that makes me better than 99% of streamers. Because at least I'm not stealing other people's content. I'm just playing my own. Imagine if I actually just played like a, like a uh, I don't know, some, someone else's video. Bro, watch Discord. What? What'd you send me? Chad Horny. Yeah, we got the, the horny shield. Horny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Wait a second. Let me show you guys this. Can I? Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, Spray D, my moderator, uh, clipped something. Let me let me show you guys real quick. It's from a previous stream. Hell yeah, we got the, the horny shield. Horny. Oh, wait, I, I fuck you. I can't see it because of my webcam. Wait a second. Uh, webcam, where's webcam? Where's webcam? Where's webcam? Camera, boom. Right. I love how much smaller my camera here was back in, back here. I gotta make it bigger. The, the horny shield. Horny. My, my moderator clipped that. He thinks that's funny, apparently. That's, I can tell it. That goes a lot to show like the humor of my uh, moderators. You, you can tell they, they are the, just the peak, just the peak. What's this? Where did the main character chair go? What the fuck are you talking about? Main character chair? What's that mean? I get the bit. What's the bit, dude? I don't get it. Main character chair. What oh, fuck? My controller disconnected shit. I don't, I don't think it's empty though. I don't think it's empty. Imagine, imagine, imagine if we're doing second phase millennia. We're close to beating her. And this shit just gives out. Dude, I would actually fucking end stream right away, dude, if that happened. I would actually end stream right away. No more mommy rot. I mean, we're fucking, we're gonna do it now, dude. Yeah, literally, I was literally gone for like less than a minute, dude. I went to piss. Why am I, why am I not piss? Where did the main character go? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. the, the chair. Aha, uh -huh, you mean the chair is the main character. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. It's still behind me, dude. It's not, it's not like it's gone. Well, I could parry her. What the hell? I can't parry that. <laughs> 
Perry God. <laughs> Perry God. Literal Perry God. Yep. How'd you guys like that Perry? Very good, right? Very impressive, I know. Ex incredibly impressive. The worst thing is even if you parry her, nothing happens. Dead. Yeah, okay, fuck off. No, I like object permanence. I mean, it's still here. It's like, God, dude, what do you mean object permanence? I fucking hit my uh, leg on the desk. Sorry if that sound, uh, sounded uh, loud. Why are you sitting on the chair's lap? <laughs> Where the fuck else am I gonna sit? <laughs> it's my mommy, my mommy chair. It's my mommy chair. I need to sit in its lap. Alright. Let's go yet again. Are you serious? Okay, watch this. I thought she was gonna attack me. Standing up attempt? What the fuck's that even mean? You want, you want me to stand up now? Well, for what reason? I learned, but it's a first person shooter. Yeah, that is a video that I saw, yes. What, why, what's, what's up with that? Why, why are you referencing that now? Weird reference to make, like, randomly. Fucking hell, what the hell? God damn it. Fuck's sake, man, I hate this bitch. By the beater was standing up. Alright, sure. Kill me. Kill me, woman. Kill me. Alright. Ah, fuck. Wait a second. I need to, like, move my headset. Beater was standing up. What the fuck am I? I can't do this with my fucking. I can't. I can't do it with my uh, with my headset on. I gotta take off my headset, but then I can hear the fucking game. Okay, whatever. I'll do. I'll do one attempt. I can't even see me, dude. Hey, wait a second. There we go. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Okay. I'm pretty sure you can, right? I'm doing it, right? I'm doing it. Standing attempt. Standing attempt. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm assuming you guys can hear me, right? I'm assuming you can hear me. Yeah, and it's fine. I don't gotta scream louder than this, alright? Right. Let's do a standing attempt. My neck is gonna fucking break from this, dude. I can't focus. Imagine this is the attempt where I beat her, dude. Imagine this is the attempt where I beat her. Fuck. Okay. It's already going better than usual. What the hell? Dude, you were onto something. What the hell? You were actually onto something, I swear to god. Fuck. Okay. It's going well? It is. It's actually going really well. Now go stand on the doorstep. What the fuck? What do you mean? What? Stand all the way over there? What the fuck is that gonna do? I'm not even gonna be able to, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to even, like, have this connected. Elden Ring un unarmed. Unarmed. Blindfold. No hit run. No, no, no. Never. I'm not... I'm never doing that fucking shit. That's psychopath energy. Should I do another one? Another standing attempt? Or, or... Now stand on top of your house. How am I supposed to get connection when I'm standing on top of my fucking house? Idiot. Y do you want another attempt at standing or should I sit back down? Haha, <laughs> dead. Okay, yeah, fuck you. Sh should I do another one? Or should I just st uh, sit down? What would you guys prefer? Should I sit down or another, another standing attempt? I'm fine with either. What do you guys say? Now you're good, so I should keep standing. Well, what are you saying? What are you saying? Should I float? <laughs> okay, well, technically, right? Technically, I'm, st I'm, st I'm in my shoes right now, so technically I am floating a bit. You know? I'm not touching the ground. Laying down attempt. I...
I don't know. I'm not gonna, gonna see fucking hear me like this or not, but uh, let's go. Let let let's go with like this, like this attempt. I can't even see her, honestly. Uh, my microphone is blocking the screen. I can't see her. I literally cannot see her, dude. I cannot. I can't see her, dude. It's literally blocking my fucking screen, my microphone. I can't even see her. What am I supposed to do? I, that's it. I'm not doing that. Fucking hell. Not doing that hard. No play from your bathroom. I'd have to take my entire PC and put it in my bathroom, you retard. Bro, I'm dead. <laughs> Upside down attempt? Can I like... I can't. I, I was thinking like, can I like flip the game in some way? I'd have to like go and research that shit. That's not good. That, that I wouldn't be able to do that. And obviously I can't do it physically upside down because there's no way for me to like stay that way. All right, we're sitting back down. Enough of, enough of that. You had your fun. You had your little stimulation, all right? You had your... You had your, you had your stimulation, you had your little fun. You had your little stream moment to clip, a little diversity. Fuck's sake, man. Fucking sitting down, dude, sitting down. What kind of fucking idiot thinks of that? Sitting down. Jesus. What's wrong with you guys? Where'd your brain cells go? All right, there we go. Dead, lol. You try doing it sitting down, bitch. I literally, I literally didn't even have connection to my fucking control. My control was like disconnecting and reconnecting rapidly. And besides that, I uh, fucking couldn't see because of my fucking microphone in my way. Now one-handed attempt for my Melania. How am I gonna do that one-handed? I can't attack even. Like, how am I supposed to do one hand? Like, I'm pretty sure most people who do one-handed do it on like a mouse and keyboard or something else. Like, I literally cannot do it one-handed on here. Like, it's impossible for me unless I change the button layout. I'm gonna do a clipping channel to profit from you. Go ahead. It gives me attention. I doubt you'll make much money based off of short videos. One hand attempt is a good idea. No, it's not. How am I supposed to do that? Like, the only way I could do that is by, like, changing all the button inputs, which I'm not doing. It takes too long. I already have custom button inputs, so I'd have to, I couldn't even, like, reset the default. I would literally have to remember which buttons I had for what action. But I'm fucking hot as shit because of you guys. You know, all this fucking movement. Like, it's hot as shit, dude. It's actually, I'm actually getting, all right, fuck it. I'll let Millennia kill me. I need to turn on the, the heating. I need to like, uh, turn the heating off. Feet only attempt, impossible. How the fuck do you expect me to do a feet only attempt, dude? I'm not, I, I'm not, um. It took her that long. It took her that long to kill me. Of course I'm not gonna do that, that is wrong. No, 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 do it, do it, do it. I give you my consent. Because that shit is just going to um, give me more money in the end. Because more people are going to come watch my channel. Besides, I trust you to edit more than I trust myself. If you if you want to do it, for real, do it. I genuinely don't mind. If any of you feel like clipping shit or just like like taking... Well, don't take the entire video of any, or anything. If you feel like taking parts of the stream and uploading them somewhere, go ahead. I don't mind. Even if you make money from it, I genuinely don't care. As long as it like drives more people to my stream, I don't care. Like there, I find there's some YouTubers who actually care about that. I'm, I'm so shocked. Like you really care about like getting as much money as possible. Like I just care about getting enough money to like live from YouTube. Like what's I'm at that point, I genuinely don't care. You can fucking join my content. I don't care. As long as like, you're doing it with my consent, obviously. Clip random parts that have no context that aren't funny. That, that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea as well. Just like just like no context. Uh, no context chat, Nick. Just, just find random shit to, like, clip. That has, like, makes no sense, even. Gear chat knows any advertisement, good advertisement. Yeah, exactly. My, I, I, I do not, I'm not at a point where I could actually be like, nah, don't clip my shit. Like, I'm not earning enough money from YouTube to be able to say something like that. And even if I did, I wouldn't say it. Because, obviously, if I'm earning enough money from YouTube, why would I care about someone else, like, profiting off my content? Like, I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Just gives me more intention. Like, uh, like, at the point where I'm basically earning enough money from YouTube to live, right? At that point, uh, the only thing I care about is more, like more people watching my streams just to get like more engagement and more viewers and like to make more people you know, have fun with the streams. That's literally the, my, the only goal after I start earning enough money to like live off of this. Because I don't need that much money, I really don't. I, you know, you see these clothes right here? The only reason these aren't other clothes, which are way older, like, I have clothes here that are like, I don't know, five years older, or five years old, or some, or older, you know what I mean? 
These clothes are like, I think, three years old or two years, two or three years. The only reason for that is because my mom is obsessed with, uh, with like not, you know, wearing the same clothes all the time. So she literally buys clothes for me. I don't, I literally don't even go, go buy the clothes with her because I'm like, I don't want you to buy me clothes. She does it anyways. Because she gives it, she gives it, for some reason, she gives a shit. Go grab, I gotta go grab some uh, water. Let me pause it right, right quick. Well, I'll pause it. I'll pause it here. I'll pause it for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, wait. Well, wait. Well, wait. Is he gone? Okay. I think he's gone. I didn't even dodge. Wait, I need to pee. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll wait. How long do you need? Like five minutes? Okay. I'll wait for like five minutes and then we'll continue playing. See, I'm, some, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Go ahead. Go ahead. One pause my video. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, is, is Yarek gone? He went to pee? Okay. All right, what was that? That was like okay. So those don't count. Those don't count to be fair. Those were like, like all meme attempts. All right, that's two. That's two deaths that we had. All right, three more, and then I upgrade my weapon. I, I'm gonna actually try to like focus more on the fight now. As I say that, as I fucking say that, I unpause your vid. <laughs> I fucking hate this bitch so much. Stop dodging shit. Oh my god. I love how I can only get one hit in and that's it. Not even a full charge attack. Like, if I get a full charge attack in, I'm lucky. Okay. How dare you, daddy bear. How dare you unpause this video. How dare you. I literally pressed dodge. What's happening with the stupid fucking game? I literally pressed dodge and it didn't work. It should have didn't work. Now I swear to God, I, I noticed this, and this literally only happens with the Millennia fight. And when I click a button, it doesn't work. I don't understand. Do you just get like stun locked by every single attack for like five full seconds? Like I don't get it. Is there like a bug in the game that makes that happen? Like makes makes it so you get like stun locked or like turns off your button inputs? It only happens with Millennia. <laughs> well, we just met already calling me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a point, dude. It's kind of sus. It's kind of sus. Cope? No, no, it's not cope. It is kind of sus, though, that you're calling him daddy. It's kind of sus. Is she even gonna do anything? No. Holy moly, holy moly, okay. Okay, we good, we good. What about you, Chadnik? What do you mean? I've known this guy for a while now. He's been in the streams for a while. I can call him daddy. We didn't just meet or anything. We're practically, practically best friends, isn't that right, daddy bear? We're practically, practically best friends, I can call you daddy, it's normal. Makes sense. Reaper though, you're kind of weird, not gonna lie, for calling him daddy bear. Kind of weird. Melania Chad of Mikola. Exactly. Adrian, welcome to the stream. You're new, right? Yeah, you are new. I don't think I remember seeing you. Welcome to the stream. Currently, we're suffering against Melania. We just missed the best bits, unfortunately, where we did a standing attempt and then a laying down on the floor attempt. The standing attempt actually went pretty fucking well. The on the floor attempt did not go well because I kept losing connection with my controller. Chad, Nick, you keep asking where my maidens are, but where are you? Where am I? Or, or where are mine? Where are mine? Mine? You're seeing her right now. You're about to see me fuck her in the ass.
Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yours. Okay. Yeah, she's right in front of me. Plus, Ronnie. I forgot. I don't know if you were there for the stream. I'm pretty sure you weren't. We put a ringer. Uh, a ringer. We put a ringer on that finger. <laughs> now she's gonna peg you? <laughs> I wish. <clears throat> I beat her some days ago and I killed Plastic Dusex first try, but not Melania. She's pretty hard on New Game Plus 9. Wow, humble brag, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> What build did you use though? That's the most important part. I'm literally using fucking plus 10 balls, dude. They're not even upgraded. Like, what the hell? It's not even a challenge, by the way. The challenge is just to do it fists only. That's literally the only challenge. I just keep making uh, harder for myself for no reason. Great. Bleed? Ah. Classic, classic. I did it bleed my first try. And mage? I did it mage my second try, I think. Or oh, my second, my second uh, time I beat her. He's punching her with balls, exactly. This is the chat. That's why it's the Chad playthrough. I think you'll understand the meaning of Chad mode now. Nah, fuck this bitch. I love how she input reads her attack. It's so annoying. I say I love, I love it and then, you know, it's annoying. <laughs> Wait, did she already do... Did she already do her waterfall dance? She's breaking against Frost. Yeah, no, but I'm not gonna use it on purpose. I, I want to beat her the Chad way. I already got, look at this, look at this. We already have these. Which are also fist weapons. But I'm purposefully shooting myself in the knee. Because I'm like, uh, this is Chad mode. I want to make it hard. I'm going to forge you for the <laughs> domestic abuse on your maiden. Hey, we didn't burn her yet. We didn't burn her yet. Nah, I rolled right into it. Are you fucking serious? At least I didn't die. I will as well. Okay, dude. We didn't burn her yet. Chill out. She's not our maiden. She's our wife. I abuse Melon and Ronnie. See, report him. Report him. I love how he does that. She does that. Uh, because I fucking did a move, right? She literally must have, like... She changed her combo. Because she read my inputs. And was like, okay, he started attacking. Now I'm gonna change up my moveset. What? She doesn't do that move every single time. It's so stupid. That's what I hate about Elden Ring, right? That one thing that I hate, one of the things that I hate about Elden Ring is n the enemy movesets aren't consistent, right? They're combos. They're, they have like fluent combos, which sounds like a good idea, but it's not. It's not because it uh, adds an element of RNG to every single fight. How do I know if she's gonna, how do I know when she's gonna finish her combo? How do I know when her combo is over? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know when to, when to punish. It's fucking annoying, which is why when, when you see people do like uh, no hit runs, they always tend to bait out one specific attack that they know that they can punish, which is just a pussy way to play the game, honestly. I mean, nothing wrong with being a pussy, but still. Are you on PlayStation? Hell no. I'm on PC. I am playing with a PlayStation controller, though. Oh, by the way, while you're here, I want to advertise a little bit. On Monday will be our last Elden Ring stream. Last. It's April Fool's, so I'm going to title it Last Stream, basically. But, um... It's going to be our last stream for a while, for like two months, until the DLC comes out. Then I'm going to play the DLC as well, obviously, because this whole thing is to prepare for the DLC. But we're gonna beat the final boss of the game and shit on Monday. And it's gonna be a big fucking stream. It's gonna be like 12 hours long. And we're gonna have a, a, like events. So you can like donate money for example. Uh, to uh, like I think it, what I said to 420. You can donate 420. And if you donate that I'm gonna like spin a wheel. And I'm gonna, do be, be, gonna be doing it for free every hour obviously. Uh, because otherwise the stream would be pretty boring. Um, but you can do it to make me spin the wheel. And then there's like a bunch of challenges including me shaving my head. Which I'm gonna do live obviously. I don't beast is easy on New Game Plus. I can imagine that it's easy. Considering, you know, you're doing a fuck ton of damage. Although with a bleed build, I don't think it matters much. So you probably... I'm assuming you changed your build. And not use bleed. Well, yeah, be sure to be there on Monday, dude. It's, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be an awesome stream. Album Breast. <laughs> Mr. Breast. That's literally Pyro Cynical's bit. Uh, that he probably stole from someone else, though, to be fair. I, di I did not use bleed on Elemis. Yeah, it makes sense, since it's not weak to bleed. Yeah, of course. So the issue is with Melania. I really don't want to keep my, like, distance. I actually want to beat her. No, nah, no fucking way. Dude, that's, that shit is barely noticeable. That's annoying. Yeah, she killed me with that. One shot. Literally one shot. That is that is so annoying. Because that move, literally all she does with that move is, you know, 
like her her hand like pulls for like a millisecond, and then she literally lunges at you with the fucking head. Just, you know what I mean? Literally just instantly. Fuck, I missed. Wait a second. Literally, that, that's her move. It's so unfair. The only way it's fair, obviously. My fucking voice cracked. Uh, the only way it's fair is when you're looking at her, you know, when she's in front of you, because then you can see her hand move. But if, she, if you're looking at her behind, hey, hey, which is what most of us did to be fair, you know, uh, you can't notice when she does that move. On Melania, I used Renala full move, moon and other stars, so I got aggro and my teammates deal damage to her. Dude, that's... I don't, I, I, whenever someone says something like that, I have to like resist uh, shitting on someone, you know what I mean? Because I am one of those people who was like started with, you probably started with Elden Ring, I'm assuming, right? Like you didn't play Dark Souls before Elden Ring, that's what I'm assuming at least. Because that or you'd use the poise build in uh, Dark Souls. Because the thing is, I'm like, a, I'm like a Dark Souls player, originally. And I always play like Dark Souls, like the intended way. Um, so whenever I see someone like, like making the Elden Ring easy, for example, or any of the games easy, I always get fucking pissed off as hell. Obviously, though, it's, there's no like correct way to play or anything. I'm not. I don't have that mindset. That mindset is pretty stupid, but uh, it still does piss me off a bit. You know what I mean? Makes me want to call you a pussy. Nothing wrong with being a pussy. I like pussies, but still. I feel like Dragon and Elden Beast were made just to punish bleed builds for their sins. <laughs> true, kind of true. She's easy sometimes, Melania. Uh. Yeah, it depends on your build. I mean, it depends on your build. The second phase is looking good. Bro. <laughs> we didn't even fucking go to the second phase yet. We, I fucking suck, I suck a lot. I think once we reach her second phase, though, we should be fine. I think her second phase is, like, easier than her first, probably. Maybe. I don't know. It's been a while since I fought it, but I remember the last time I did it. I'm dead. The last time I did it, I had a much easier time with the second phase for some reason. Though, to be fair, the last time I did it was with a... Uh, with a like a poise build, pretty much. Like a heavy strength build. Yeah, I'm dead. I love how she regens HP. She does it so much. I gotta go. See you later. Hopefully you'll be there on uh, on Monday. Because that stream is actually gonna be really good, I think. At least, I think that's gonna be the plan. Never done a stream, a stream like that, so. But yeah, see ya. Thank you for uh, dropping in. I like the Rotussi. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Go look, another fucking viewer. The thing is, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a PS online, so I did it. I guess the in, uh, in intended way. I don't think there's really an intended way to be fair. I, I, I did it like quotation marks the first time as well. There's not really an intended way, but like I feel like the whenever people talk, you know, whenever people talk about like the Dark Souls experience and stuff like that, the Dark Souls experience, and this is this is I can I can say this very confident that this is a fact. The Dark Souls experience is not get as much armor as you can, get the heaviest weapon as you can, just attack and then heal. That's not the Dark Souls experience. The Dark Souls experience is you fight a boss, it fucking decimates you. You fight a boss again, you, it decimates you, but you learn how to dodge one of its attacks. Repeat until you can dodge all of its attacks. You beat the boss, you come. That is the Dark Souls experience. At least in my opinion. Actually not. That's a fact. That's the only thing that I will stand behind. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna hear, I'm not gonna hear, be here to like gatekeep and say what, what's the right way to play the game or not, you know? But I, I'm, I'm gonna say that the, the way we're doing it right now is definitely one of the more based ways to play the game. The Asmund Gold build experience for real, which is funny. The dude started playing Dark Souls 2, I believe. And he quit because he realized in Dark Souls 2 you can't do a poise build. You can't do a build like that. You can't cheese the game, really. Like, literally the most powerful build is just a rapier in Dark Souls 2. It's, it's almost uncheesable. It's almost... It's, it's pretty... Well, it is... I think it is pretty much uncheesable, which is why he gave up on that game. Which is why a lot of people think it's shit. Because a lot of people do not play Dark Souls, you know, for the Dark Souls experience. They play it just to beat all the bosses, you know? Like, just, just to beat all the bosses using poisons and shit like that. Come? <laughs> yeah, you do, you do, you come. You come at the end. Like, as it feels so good that you've finally beaten that fucking boss. A lot of people t talk about it, like, it feels so good to beat a boss. Like, I can't imagine that it feels so good to beat a boss if all you did was just trial and error until you got lucky enough to beat it. Because, you know, or like, farmed enough. To get like more HP. Dark Souls 2 gets way too much hate. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's not the greatest game. It's literally... I, I do agree that it's the worst game. Out of all three. But it is... It, ha it has... It's the best game in terms of like... I think just in terms of like... The world. The world building. Just the world in general. Just uh, the characters. I feel like that. 
Like, obviously, it has the best animations out of all Dark Souls games because it was done by someone else, you know? Like, I'm sorry, but From Software doesn't do very good animations when it comes to your, like, player character, for example. They do skimp on that. They make them pretty simple, you know? They, they want to make... There, there's an intent behind that, though, to be fair, but it's, I don't like it as much. Because they, they try to make it... Um, they, they try to make it, like... Uh, so you feel like basic, you know, not badass, you know, underpowered. And all the enemies get all like like the super well done, like badass animation. So there's a point to that, but it's still kind of disappointing when your character is like a weak fucking little bitch boy, when in reality it's this fucking badass that just kills all these uh, bosses, you know? Like, I'd much prefer there was like a bit of a more attention put to like the animations. Like in this game, fair enough, there's, there, it is, there is a lot of detail. Okay, th this was a bad example. This animation is very fucking simple and basic and looks pretty bad. This one's, all, this one's a bit better, but still. Like, th those are like the things that I think Dark Souls 2 does very well. And also, gatekeeping. It's the best at gatekeeping, because you can't cheese it. I'm assuming you can, probably. You probably can, but... Um, I'm assuming it's very difficult. Alright, enough yapping. Time to get to the fight again. Also, um, fuck, I don't know. I'm just gonna call you Ryan, because I don't know how you pronounce the first part of your name. Um, I don't know if you were here when I was talking about it, but check out the stream on Monday. It's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be it's gonna be 12 hours long and we're gonna have a bunch of event, events. Fuck I missed. Yep. Woman. Woman. Fuck. Did you see that shit, dude? It's like a middle, middle child ignored and shitted on. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, until recent years, at least. In recent years, people have been saying that it's it's not as bad, obviously. That's become quite a popular take. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. There's no way to dodge that move. There's no way to dodge that move. Because the issue is, not, it doesn't matter which fucking direction you roll in. Because you have a lock on, you will roll into her. You will roll into her. It's so stupid. It, it, that move is so badly balanced. I hate it. And that, that run was going so well. You can tell that I, like, I was literally ripping her ass off. By the way, I made my nephew play Bloodborne. He was like eight and, I, and made it to Shadows of Yarnum And wanted me to beat it for him. And I was like, now nah, you gotta beat it. <laughs> then you will thank me. Dude, that's fucking based. That is fucking based. That is true. That's a good, that's a good fucking way to put it. Literally. That's another thing. Bloodborne as well. Well, to be fair, Bloodborne does can't be more cheesed like, than Dark Souls 2. I feel like. Cause like, I feel like basically, you know, you know what you should look at. Uh, I don't know how many of you watch Jacksepticeye. Probably none, for good reason. He, his content did kind of drop off. He he did kind of fall off. He he makes pretty shitty content nowadays. Basically, like almost completely unedited. Because uh, I mean, he could do that now. To be fair, doesn't have to put in as much effort. He's basically half retired. To be fair, like he doesn't put as much effort into his videos. It's obvious. I mean, to be fair, I don't think he even edits his videos. I'm pretty sure it's someone else. But back to my point. Just look at look at Jacksepticeye's channel, right? Look at Jacksepticeye's channel. Any game, any Souls game that he hasn't played, that is a Souls game that you cannot cheese because he cheeses every single fucking game. I saw it. Every single game he does the poise build. I swear to God. I hope that he, he didn't do that for his first playthrough. If so, I have respect for him. If not, then I have no respect for the man. How dare he do that? And he pretends to be like a, a, like a huge Dark Souls fanboy. It's like, no, 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 no. You're not a true Dark Souls fan if you don't, if you don't know what the Dark Souls experience is. But to be fair, that depends. I'm, I'm assuming just, you know, based on what current, build his, current builds he's doing. Then again, you know, those are his, you know, builds that he does after. I, I'm not sure. Maybe he mentioned in the video what kind of build he does first. I don't know. I don't want to judge him without knowing anything. I hope in the DLC there will be, uh, that there is like a boss, like Rykard, but hard, like you have to use a weapon. Actually, uh, there, are, there already is one in the base game. It's called Rykard and you can beat him without using a special weapon. Or do you mean just like beat him using a normal weapon? Do you mean like you want a boss? You want a, you want another gimmick boss that you have to use a special weapon for? Is that, is that what you meant? Or did you mean just like a boss like Rykard, but you can use any weapon to beat him? And to be fair, you can use any weapon to beat Rykard as well. I proved that. I used uh, balls to beat him. I literally beat Rykard with balls. To be fair, there were spike balls with, which caused both bleed and frost, but still I beat him with that. Didn't even use a special weapon. Yes. Yes. Woman. Come on. 
Come on. Why did she delay that? I could swear to God she delays that. I, I jumped the wrong way. I'm dead. Uh, that is the... Wait. That it's required to use as a special weapon, I assume? Okay. Yeah, that I, I definitely don't want that. I definitely don't want that. Sure, sure enough, the... Like a gimmick boss, but not easy boss like Rykard. Okay. Well, I don't think... Yeah, that would be interesting, but I, the From Software had never done that. From Software had never done that before. It's always been piss easy. The gimmick, box are, gimmick bosses are always piss easy. And I don't think you can make a gimmick boss like that that's like, you know... Like Rykard, at least, where you gotta use a special weapon for him. I don't think you can make one that's not easy as fuck. Like, you could give him more health, but it's not like that makes him easy. You know? Maybe just like a weapon that specifically damages him, but it's not like a... You know? Maybe like just like a sword, you know? Like, let's say, oh, no, no, the enemy's made out of some material that you can't damage. Like, let's say a ghost enemy, right? And you, you have to use a special weapon to beat him. But the ghost enemy still is, like, designed like a normal boss, aka he still has a, a goaded moveset. And actual attention and care put into him. Because Rykard has no attention and care put into him, compared to the other bosses. I mean, his design, sure enough, yes, absolutely. But his moveset, not really. It's pretty lame. Fuck's sake, fuck's sake. I'm just gonna brute force. No, I can't. I tried to brute force it, god damn it. Fuck, I'm stinky. How long have we been streaming? Four hours. Alright, so we have played... We have tried Mik Melania for one hour now and we haven't beaten her. That's bad. Did you play Sekiro? Yes, once. I want to play it again sometime for the channel. Actually, I 100% will play it sometime for the channel again. Because I do want to replay the game, I just can't get motivation. Because it's not really a game where you can do different builds. Therefore, it has no replay value. Oh, next to no replay value. There's not really a lot of things you can do different. But yeah, I did play it once. I'm gonna play it for the channel as well. The game, that, that game made me want to pull my hair out. Well, apparently, according to some people, uh, the take has changed and they're saying it's a piss easy game, apparently. Didn't Asmode Girl do a no hit run? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Unless it, uh, what, Elden Ring? Elden Ring, I would believe. Because you can do that easily. Just use Mimic tier. And you, it tanks all the hits for you. It, it's not even a no hit run. It doesn't count, in my opinion. If you do, if you use a Mimic tier on no, an Elden Ring no hit run, you're a pussy. You're a coward, and you did not do a no-hit run. That's my opinion. Very hardcore, yes, I know. But, I mean, you can't really deny it. If You're still taking hits, basically. You're literally just like... If the boss isn't focused on you, what's the what's the point of a no-hit run? If the boss isn't focused on you, you could also do a no-hit run where you just summon like 10 friends. They all gank the boss while you sit back and call that a no-hit run. That's not, that's not, it's not the same. I'm pretty sure Asmongold did it that way, knowing him. He probably used like Rivers of Black Katana or uh, Sorcery Build and then used Mimic Tear and then beat it like that and called it a no hit run. I didn't watch it, but imagine he did Int and Mimic Tear. 100% he did something like that. He used a Cheese Build and used Mimic Tear. 100%. Asmongold is not. He sucks at games. I don't know why. And I'm sorry if any of you are like this. He is an MMO player. MMO players suck ass at games. They don't know how to play games because MMO doesn't require any skills. It's, it's just leveling up. That's all you need to do. Grinding and leveling up. So I'm sorry if any of you like are like that, but MMO players, like generally, have no skill. But you baby gamers. I'm I mean like people who play it ex like may, may, like most MMOs, you know what I mean? If you like play like one MMO, that's fine, right? Or like a couple, but like if you literally play every MMO that comes out and like huge on MMOs, then yeah, you don't know how to play games. Most likely. I don't wanna I don't wanna say everyone. Asmongold sucks in general? Sure. Sure. We can say that. I'm not- I don't really have any opinion on him as a content creator besides that. I only watched him ever play Dark Souls because I pretty much watched everyone play Dark Souls because I'm curious how other people play it. And what I noticed is most people don't play it like me, aka aren't true Giga Chad uh, Dark Souls fanboys. Like me. Why did they do that? <gasps> no, no, I'm dead. I'm, I'm an idiot. Why did I fucking? Oh, I should look at my stamina. I saw a guy who did uh, who who did only summon. What he did was a uh, hack to get max stats. The mimic plus ten. Then I like that was so hard. Oh my g. Oh my god. I, I saw. To be fair, I did saw people uh, do. Um, I did saw people do. What would you call it? What's it, what's it called? Uh, I did see people do the same thing. Uh, summons only, but they didn't do something like that. 
they didn't something like that they actually did like progress to the game naturally with mimics you know what i mean they started out with the jellyfish and the fucking the the, tr the two gargoyle dudes or well, not the jellyfish nobody uses je jellyfish the two gargoyle dudes they're, they're pretty good since they cause bleed they start out with those and they, they make their way up to the mimic tier they don't skip any bosses make their way to the mimic tier they actually like, have natural progression which is just base that's that's actually cool that's a cool idea for a build i have full respect for that i did still level one dark souls 3 and, and uh what is bl4 um a uh, blood level four bloodborne um yeah that's cool that is that is cool i would never do that shit because just like i feel like oh i guess hmm i, mean, I guess you could still do damage like the damage isn't exactly tied to levels it's more tied to refinement well level of a weapon so that's still viable to do it's not the hardest one but it's still it's still decently hard it's much harder than what i'm doing at least bitch no insane builds that's good okay that's actually impressive though that's that is actually impressive then oh yeah that was the guy that did the pacifist mm. yeah yeah i think I, that's what the video is called pacifist run yeah yeah exactly i forgot what his name was was it scumnut or was it someone else i know scumnut does a lot of cool challenges but to be fair, he's kind of a hack at, at times as well because he does use overpowered builds as well for some of his challenges thoughts on bushy he sounds familiar i'm not sure Sounds, like, sounds familiar. I heard that name before for sure, but I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with his uh, content. Can you give me like a refresher and then I'll comment? Bloodborne was especially fun. Well, to be fair, Bloodborne is in general especially fun. <laughs> it is the best, best game ever made after all. In my opinion. Holy moly. Woman. Dodge. Okay. I'm locking in, guys. I'm locking in. No hits. No hits. No hits. Nah, that's bullshit. I fucking hate that move so much. When she just dodges, and she 100% is reading your inputs as well. Fuck's sake. I clicked dodge, dude. My stamina literally disappeared as well, and I didn't dodge. So the game took my stamina... But didn't allow me to dodge. What? What kind of fucking bullshit is that? You steal my stamina and then don't dodge. Don't let me dodge. Uh, one of his vids uh, is beating the game with uh, just a tournament. Okay, okay. If he does something like that, that's actually really based. That's actually really cool. Respect to him. Well, I'm assuming he used it to deal damage, right? He didn't... He didn't, like, use it, wear it, and then do an overpowered build. And that's it, right? How do I dodge that move for real? What, like, what direction am I supposed to dodge in? I think you're just supposed to lock off. Not lock in. Lock off. <laughs> lock out. Lock out. And then you can dodge that move. I kind of want to try to do a Briar only Melania Blood Level 4. Because before the DLC. That's actually... That actually sounds pretty cool. But I would not want to suffer through that. Yeah, he could just roll. Okay, that is based. Okay, that's great. I love that she just extends her movesets. I think that's a very fair feature of, uh, of uh, Elden Ring, that, you know, enemies just expand. Yeah, of course, she, she input reads. Now, she pulls out the perfect move, you know, the perfect counter every single time. It's very annoying. It's clearly rigged. It's clearly rigged. The game is clearly, like, reading your inputs and shit. It, it has to be. It has to be. That or... No, it has to be reading your inputs. There's no other way. And even if it's not, it, then they're reacting to your animation literally at the very start, as soon as the animation is triggered. Meaning, the animation didn't actually start to play. You know, technically it did, but there's no movement going on. There's no way she could react to that. Uh, and Fire Giant took him an, <laughs> an hour. Well, an hour is actually um, less than I would think. I think it would take way longer. Not in runs, but one run. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I swear to God, Melania just def at least Melania, not every enemy in the game, maybe. I, 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 would, I would honestly assume every enemy. Melania 100% reads your input, knows what you're about to do, right? Or maybe it doesn't read your input, it re she reads your action and responds accordingly. Meaning, she's literally unbeatable until she stops actually doing it, which I'm pretty sure is... I'm pretty sure it's rigged, so that she actually stops doing it eventually. Like, the, like after you die to her a certain amount of times. It has to be. That or you know, you just play like a pussy and you win. 
Then there are the attacks that take 10 seconds for the boss to do. Yeah, true, true, true. There are some attacks that are really slow. And then there are some attacks that just come out, like, literally as soon as you click a button. Like, it's insane. Oof. That was bad. Fuck's sake, I was greedy, I was greedy, I was greedy, I was greedy. Nah, I was greedy, fuck! I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I should stop. Can you leave me alone for five seconds, please, woman? Thank you. I fucking reached her, I swear to god, I reached her. I reached a tight little pussy with that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, I'm, I'm backing away, I'm backing away. Good call, good call, good call. Can I get a fucking 100? For calling that? Oh, perfect dodge! Perfect dodge! Skill! So that's how you do Did you see that HP? That was literally one HP. Nah, look at that, by the way. She healed all the damage I dealt to her. What's the point of even playing the game? I swear to God, I'm upgrading after this. After, if, if I don't manage to beat her this one, I'm up, upgrading my weapon to plus 15. And then we'll try again. And then five attempts after that, plus 10. I, she, look at that, she spams it, literally spams it. Bitch literally spamming the move like this. And I heard, there we go, disproved, disproved. All of that bullshit of those idiots on YouTube saying she only does it like twice when she's at 75% HP and then when she's like at 40 or something like that. Bullshit. Look at this shit. She did it twice, literally. Why? Because she went over 75 and then went back down to it. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Uh, imagine Melania was like the watchdog in Dark Souls 3 so you could just backstab her repeatedly. I wish. Domain expansion, infinite back shots. <laughs> and there we go. She does it again. Nah, fuck you. If you think Melania is fair, here's evidence that she's fucking not, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Nah, you call that fair? You're fucking off your rocker. Go go, turn yourself into the police if you think that's fair because you're on drugs. Unless drugs are legal, I guess, in your, whatever you're, wherever you're from. Dude, I hate this shit. I already see that uh, Spray D and Ezreon left because obviously this is taking way longer than, uh, than it should. Fair. Fuck off. It's, that's really not fair. Like, it's such bullshit, dude. Literally spamming that atta attack. and Spamming an attack that is very, very difficult to dodge. Like, I, I don't care. Like, let's say it is possible to dodge it. And let's say, like, it's not the hardest. Like, like, it's not unfair to dodge. Let's say that, right? Even though that is not true. Let's say that. It's still really, 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 really difficult to dodge. The fact that she can spam that move, that's bad game design. Like, you can't disagree on that. At, at least that. That's, that's, the, that's the least... That you can't disagree on, you know what I mean? I also love how she... Yeah. Literally, like, the be right before my attack hits, she dodges. Yep. Do that, please. Again. Woman, please, again. Do it again. I literally dodged. I literally dodged every single one of those. I don't know why the game didn't dodge. I pressed dodge for every single one of those perfectly and it didn't dodge. That's great. I love this game. Yeah, I'm glad he I'm glad she read my move again. That's great. I love getting my inputs read. I love getting my inputs read. Elder Ring, but I'm Gojo. That, that should be the name of the no hit run. True, kinda true. And the issue is that that uh, title only works if people who play Elder Ring also watch anime. Well, to be fair, most people watch anime nowadays, I would say. Most people do. Sadly. Sadly. Obviously, that includes me as well. I am him. <sighs> well, I might as well talk a little bit of Jujutsu Kaisen. 
I don't know if you're caught up on the manga. I'm gonna just give you the, the rundown. Infinite cycle. That's all it is. Just the same shit keeps happening over and over again in the manga right now. It's it's boring as shit. It's awful. I hope they cut cut all of that shit out in the anime when that eventually gets adapted. Because this is I'm bored in my fucking mind. And like all the all the like uh, bi-weekly weekly breaks, you know? Like every every two weeks there's a week break basically. That shit is also I love how I couldn't dodge that second move. Like that that first strike stunned me and then the second strike was undodgeable, that's great. Good game design. Between heaven and earth, I alone am in the and the repeated content, of course. Fuck's sake, man. A lot of you might be wondering, why am I not healing? Am I a psychopath? The answer is yes. Main expansion, 8th mute. What the fuck is that even meant to be? I'm dead. No. How? Explain to me how. And none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. That is bugging her AI out. That is not a legit way to dodge. That is not a legit. That is literally cheating. That is literally cheating. How do I dodge that move? How do I dodge it? 8 hour mute. I still don't get it. Am I misunderstanding something? Domain expansion, goth, I have Okay, Spray D is still here. Good, good. Good. I thought I thought you already left. I wouldn't blame you, honestly. This is taking too long. I was like, no, nah, this I, we can do consecrated snowfield. It's not gonna take that long. At least I kept my promise to Reaper. I told him that, you know, by the time he comes back from work, we'll we'll be we'll still be on Melania and goddamn we still are. <laughs> we still are on fucking Melania, god damn it. Uh, this sucks. I hate her so much. The main expan- <laughs> The main expansion Femboy Hooters, nice. Right. I love how she delays- Did you see that? That is proof, that is evidence. She literally can delay that attack. It's bullshit, how am I supposed to do it? I can't- Her, her attacks are not like the reaction type. No, no, what you can react to. You have to- Preemptively react to attacks, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna get hit. So I don't see the fucking how it's fair to have her like have an attack that can't be delayed, but also doesn't have to be. Yeah, of course she dodges. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? What? She can dash that much? That's insane. Are you gonna do it? You gonna do it? Do it. She won't fucking jump now. What a bitch. Now she will, right? No? Still not? No! I'm dead. It one-shots me. It one-shots me, by the way. If, if I have a little bit of health lost, it one-shots me. I'm upgrading my weapon. It's, it's, it's over. I'm not doing it. Look how little health damage I'm doing. I don't want to be stuck here forever. I'm going to upgrade my weapon. Not, not even to plus, plus 15. Plus 20. I'm upgrading. I'm doubling my damage. I don't care. I don't want to do this forever. It's annoying. And there's no point to it either. Because Melania is not a well-designed boss, so there's no point. Like with, with Ry- not with Rykard. With uh, Moog, I regret it. Because I think I could have still beaten Moog. If I just, um, if I just kept my plus five, right? I think I still could have beaten him, but uh, not Melania. Melania just, Melania just stupid. You cannot. If you, if you don't beat her quick enough, you're fucked because you, you, that's just impossible not to take damage. Unless you're obviously bugging out her AI and using cheese strats and sh cheese strats and OP weapons, stuff like that. Uh, Chadnik be like, nah, I'd win. Nah, I will win though. I will win though.
Domain expansion, infinite uh, waterfall dance. <laughs> true, true, kind of true. She literally do be spamming that shit though. She spammed it multiple fucking times. It's annoying as shit. It's actually starting to like make me mad. Just the amount of spam is insane. Strengthen. Yoink, 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 yoink. That's it, plus 20. Or should we just do plus 25? What do you say, plus 20 or plus 25? Should I just max it out? Should I max it out? I'll be lurking, but I gotta go do something right now. Okay, see you when you come back. Uh, for the other people that are here, do I do plus 25 or plus 20? What do you say? Should I just go all in? Or should I just bet on the plus 20 and, and that'll make it? Because I obviously don't want to be overpowered for the last bosses, but I don't think I will, honestly, at this point. I don't think I will at this point. So what do you say? Because I'm pretty sure, like, the, the last few bosses, plus 25. Okay, can we get another plus 25? Or, or uh, does anyone else want plus 20? Because uh, I do want to get, I want to have, like, two words. So I want to just, like, you know. Because I would rather have plus 25, honestly. So I'm agreeing with Yarek, but uh, I still want to have, like, some kind of a boat. So someone else, can, like, plus 20 or plus 25? Spray, spray D, you still here? Plus 20 or plus 25? Which one should we have? I'm giving, I'm giving you, like, 20 seconds. Alright, he's not here. I'm gonna do plus 25. The opinion of- I can't even do it, plus 25. I can't even do plus 25. I don't have smithing stone 8. Are you shitting me? Can I buy them? I probably can't. Fuck me, dude. This sucks. Right, I'm gonna switch off these and put on... My bruised armor. I'm not bruised. I don't think he's here. Bastard. He's my mod and he isn't even here. How dare he? Alright. Uh, how dare he have a life? How dare he? I'm gonna put on the, the, the punished. We're entering our punished snake arc. Our punished snake arc. Um. Okay, uh, let me see here. What can I do? Yeah, like that, sure. That seems fine. Do we have any anything? Oh, we had a better one. All, the, all this time, we had a better one. What the hell? Is there any any charms that are good against Melania, by the way? Like, is there is there any talismans that we're not using that are good against Melania? Nah, we don't even have them. We can't even upgrade. This this sucks. Oh wait, maybe 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 if I offer these. Maybe 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 now. Wait, was it plus six that we needed? Nah, number of health six. Nah, we don't need these. We need what is was it plus eight? So we don't even have those. So we can't even upgrade it fully. All right, whatever. Anything else we can buy? No, not really. Yeah, rip. All right, but we're entering entering our punished arc. Let me just let me change my character so it looks appropriate as well. We have given up. We have given up on the on the chadliness of. The, we have given up um, one of the major chad components of this challenge. Sadly. Sadly, sadly. Let me. What can I do? Okay, just the biggest beard, right? The biggest beard possible. And then after Ferrum Azula, we'll have our comeback. There we go. The punished Chad. We are entering our... Let me see if there's something else, actually. Some better haircut. That we could have. Something that looks even more like... That one kind of works. Kind of works. Kind of disheveled look, you know? I might keep that just like for the end though, as our end appearance. Hmm, I'm not sure which one I like, this one more or that one? I think this one looks more disheveled, right? This one kind of looks neat and tied up. Alright, we're gonna go for that one. Alright, this is our new appearance. We're old and shriveled now. We're not old and shriveled, just tired, you know? We've been here a long time fighting Melania. Okay, where's where's Melania now? Uh, where am I going? Is she? 
She's she at the roots, right? Or is she? Should be at the re roots. Roots, roots. Nah, she's not here. Or is she? Ah, she is, she is, she is. She is. We are good. We are good, alright. We're at the punished arc now. We have been punished severely. Is there any other kind of... <laughs> we can go for that. Hell no. We'll beat her blind. How about, how's that? We'll beat her blind. Is there anything we can have for this? Not really. This. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. Alright, let's go. Oh fuck, I just realized my souls. Got it. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. I want to use up my souls. I don't want to lose that, that many souls. I want to level up as much as possible then. Man, this is an L stream so far. Holy shit. Well, so not, not an L stream. It's a pretty W stream, but uh, this part is kind of L right now because it's, it's slowed down a bit. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, I love how you can just see her standing there, her silhouette. That is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Just Melania's silhouette. Standing there. Standing there, I realize. You have an idea? Let's hear it. Do not say spike balls. We're not using those yet. When we reach... Uh, when we reach six hours, if then if after that I still haven't beaten her, then I'll use spike balls. Focus one hundred percent on the fight while fighting. Uh, no chat. Hmm. Well, to, be fair, to be fair, yeah, nobody's really chatting right now. I think most people left now, so I'll, I'll probably do that. Endurance, I guess. I don't know why I did endurance, but whatever. Let me just use up the rest as well. How much do I need? A hundred k. Yeah, I'll try doing that, maybe. Because I, re I really am, like, yapping a lot on the chat. I'll focus on the fight. But there's no point in trying to make the stream entertaining if the stream is going to last for, like, 10 hours just trying to beat the boss and if we're never going to accomplish our goal. Uh, let's see here. Ah, that should be enough. Endurance one more time. It's kind of unnecessary to be fair, but still. I forgot we, we weren't even using this. I should probably open up with that, yeah? I'm gonna open up with that this time. Alright, let's go. We should be doing one more damage now. Look, she's rushing. She's rushing. She realizes the threat. She has realized that we have gotten stronger. What is that? What the hell? I've never seen that in my life. I have no idea how I survived that. I have no idea. I have no idea how I survived that. I have no idea how I survived that. I messed that up so bad. I literally jumped in the middle of it. Fuck you, Melania. Bitch of Nicola. I'm honestly embarrassed that I called you a chat ever. I just looked at chat, so I'm not focusing 100%, but still. Yep. No. Nope. Bitch. Fuck.
Dude. Dude, this makes a difference. This whole focus thing, damn, really makes a difference. I'm gonna drop again. Jump, bitch. Do it. Do it so I know I'm safe. Okay, she's trying to bait me, I know. Not falling for it. Yoink. I know you want to jump, bitch. I yeah, I fucking knew it. You see, I knew it. Thank God I didn't fight her no more. Okay, first phase good. As soon as we upgrade our weapon, first first phase good. First try, dude. First try on the first phase. As soon as we upgrade our weapon. That's, it's, it, the problem is the damage. I just wasn't dealing enough damage. Just, it's as simple as that. Oh, to be fair, I did lock in kind of as well. I told you, punish Chad. First try, dude. We, we went the <laughs> punish Chad route and instantly we were able to do it. Fuck, I feel like I, I did feel like I cheesed the game a bit though. But I, did, I just upgraded my fucking weapons. That's all I did. And I'm still using fists. And that was first try as well. I think that showcases a lot of skill though, to be fair on my part. I didn't even use up that many healing. I didn't get hit too much. Wait. Wait. We are not done. Well, how, how much of a fucking sore loser she is. Every single time she lo loses in the story against someone. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna bloom. Press X to bloom. Yep. Bloomer. <laughs> She's a bit of a light bloomer, if I do say so myself. Oh, does it now? What's with the colorful, butter colorful butterflies? I never understood that. I also hate that part of her boss fight because um, it just obscures the entire screen. You can't see what the fuck is going on. Booba, 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 booba. Dude, she's so hot, man. I would fucking coom. I would have Scarlet coom. Okay, heal, heal, heal. No, I'm dead. Yeah. I, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I literally messed up right away. I messed up right away. I should have just waited, dodged that move, and then ran away. It was so simple. I was listening. Nice. Yeah, we got our first phase and first try as soon as we upgraded our weapon. Man, as soon as they're locked in. See, as long as chat is quiet, I can do it. <laughs> it's chat's fault. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't my fault, okay? It wasn't my fault. And I swear to God, I, I, you gotta love how she also, like, right away, right? She recognized the threat. She started charging at us right away because she knew. She knew she was in trouble. She noticed we got stronger. The balls reached perfection. Well, not really. They're still plus 23. They're not even plus 25 yet. Yep, spin away, ballerina. Fuck. Okay, good. How'd I miss? Yep, get fucked. Oh, okay. The thing is, I'm not doing any more poise damage, even it's just, just normal damage. Jump, 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 yep. Fuck, I, I got greedy, I got greedy, that was my fault. Ah, I shouldn't have healed twice, I'm an idiot. Nah, no fucking way, you bitch. Nah. Nah, it's so bullshit, it's such bullshit, I hate it so much. 
I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Now fuck, fuck all those. I swear to God, all those people actually should like uh, get bullied off of the internet. That's why I have fucking like spray misinformation. She only does it twice actually, seventy five percent and then like forty percent. Yeah, sure, buddy. She was fifty like fifty percent. She did it. Also, uh, she did it like very soon after doing the other one. Now it's just luck though. It's just luck. It all boils down to luck. Last time we we had her do it, but we had her do it like fairly. You know what I mean? At fair times. And obviously, I can't just be a pussy and bait her all the time. Cause like, that's, that's just fucking boring. Just sitting there baiting the boss to attack all the time. We'll get her, we'll get, we'll get her. She's a pussy. Yep. Nah, that's fucking impossible. I hate that shit so much. It's literally all luck-based. Yeah, fuck. Literally input red. That's great. I love my having my inputs red. I love having my inputs red it. How did that not stun her? I literally, I was like, I was like, okay, first of all, right, bullshit move, right? Her grab is bullshit. Second of all, how did I not stun her? That should have 100% stun her. I dealt enough stun damage. I bet it was like one damage off. That's so stupid. You should just run. The game should just round up and, you know. But to be fair, I guess you could say I was being greedy, but it's not greed. It's just, you know. I'm just trying to actually play the fucking game. And be aggressive. Whatever. At least we're getting her like down to half HP faster. It just makes the whole process faster, really. I guess you could say it's cheesing it since, you know, I'm... I have less opportunities to make, make mistakes. But then again, I mean... Hmm. And there's less opportunities to do her waterfall dance, but still. I hate how I do this to myself. I'm, I'm like... I like feel like I'm cheesing the game even though I'm just playing it normally. <laughs> normally I'm actually challenging myself with fists. And I'm still beating her soul at the end of the day, you know what I mean? With no OP build or anything. Nah. I'm never doing that again. I'm never going- I'm never doing that again. I tried to like be in close, you know, and like play it as if it's like actually a Bloodborne boss, which is what it's intended to be, but that doesn't work. I love how she just doesn't stop attacking. That's such bullshit. There's no point in going close to her. You have to bait out her attacks. It's the worst game, worst boss design in this game. You have to bait out attacks. You can't actually, you know, actively engage in the fight with her. Okay, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. First phase, easy. I, I, I try, I'm trying to run. I don't know why she didn't get stunned by that, that, that was kind of stupid. Uh, every single time I'm gonna do I'm gonna attack her, I'm gonna back away because there's no other way to do this. I literally have to bait out her attacks, it's so I hate playing like this, but I have to do it. You're gonna... Not gonna float up in the air? Yeah, just keep doing that. It's basically free damage for me. Thank you. Keep doing that. Not gonna, why isn't she jumping into the air? She is so weird. It's like literal RNG. Like whether she does, does it or not, it's, it's not helpful at all. Like the game literally works against you. It's so stupid. I have no idea when she's gonna do it. And there's no indicators. I just have to like play safe. And I hate playing safe. It's boring. Just waiting around for like one specific attack. Okay. Only use two healing. That's great. That's good. Can you just do the attack, please? Yep. Yeah. 
No, I'm actually dead. Yep, great. No, I'm dead because I wasn't. I was too close to her. There's nothing I could have done. I was too close to her and I got fucked. It's just not fun, man. It's just not a fun boss fight. It's just not a fun boss fight. When it, when, it's, when it has like a bullshit mechanic like that, like did you see, like do you see how good I like? You, you gotta like look at me playing, right? I am dodging all of her attacks. I'm getting hit very rarely, which obviously I can't not, not get not hit. You can't expect that from me. Because obviously I'm not a fucking not the greatest player in the world. That would make me the greatest player, one of the greatest players in the world if I could like not get hit at all. But um, I'm getting hit very rarely. I only have to use two healing flasks. And what did I get killed by? Her bullshit waterfall, that waterfowl dance. Why did I get killed by it? by it? Because I was too close to her when she activated. What what's that determined by? Yeah, being a pussy. You gotta be a pussy and you 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 can beat her easily. Just constantly be like away from her. Only attack one specific attack and that's it. I hate playing like that. Like that attack, you gotta bait out that specific attack and then dodge, and then attack, and then repeat. It's quite boring, and I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna beat her my way. Because I hate the, 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 the actual way to beat her, it's boring. Okay. Literally spamming the attack, by the way. I'm dead. Nah, I'm dead. I couldn't. I, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I used too much stamina. I probably could have ran away from that one. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say that because I, I have no idea. It's literally luck. It's just luck. That attack specifically. We'll do it. We'll do it eventually. It'll take a while. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna t uh, timestamp this in the description in case you're gonna actually wanna watch like the moment I beat her or like the run that I beat her. I'm gonna uh, make sure to timestamp it in the description so, you know, if you, if you, any of you guys like uh, wanna go to sleep or something like that, or you know, just are bored, f feel free to click off. I'm gonna timestamp it. You can just come back after the stream is finished and then uh, watch uh, the final attempt. As I know, this is quite fucking boring. Especially considering I'm, I lost motivation. Like, it's obviously boring to watch someone who has just lost motivation to play. But to be fair, I'm not sure if I, I lost motivation. I'm more locked in. Ezreal never. I mean, you already left a couple of times, I'm pretty sure, during the stream. Or you could have just been lurking, I don't know. I will stay for the special moment. Respect. Well, how, is, how did not stun her? What the hell? There we go. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Millennia is not that hard if you're actually doing like decent damage. It's just next to impossible when you're not, you know what I mean? Like I'm doing decent damage now, it's fine. Like I'm actually doing really good damage. Like I feel like I'm doing too much damage even because this is just feels really easy to me now. Like the only the only thing issue is like her move her waterfowl dance that's the only issue. Like if it just now I need to just like yeah I need to bet at that move okay I only fucked up there yeah I'm dead. Okay I dodged that perfectly. I don't know if you've seen that but I literally dodged the move by charge attacking. Okay that is badass. Oh, fuck off that didn't even hit me. Well, I used, I used three healing flasks already, which is not great. It's not the best. Yep, that exactly, thank you. I just need to always roll away like twice, just in case she d decides to do the move. The jumpy dumpty. Okay. Okay, can you do it? Can you please do it? Watch this, she's gonna do it as soon as you jump attack her. Never mind. It's good. We're good. You're not gonna do it, Melania? Yeah, of course. Did you see? She literally imported mine. 
Nah, she input red. She input red. She input red. 100%. As soon as I jumped, she, she input red. She was like, okay, he's jumping. What should I do now? Jump into the air. Because first of all, he won't hit me. Therefore, won't stun me. And then on top of that, you know, like you could say I'm being greedy, but am I? What, am I being greedy for taking the initiative for attacking her when she looks open? That's stupid. Like that just means that you're, su you're supposed to play the game by baiting out the attack and then attacking, which, you know, that might sound like a strategy. I mean, yeah, it is a strategy, but it's also like not engaging at all in the combat. Like it doesn't engage me at all, at least. I, I like to have a duel. This is literally meant to be a duel, right? But it doesn't feel like a duel because you have to bait out one attack and then respond. You can't attack on your own, ever, because then you get fucked up. Fucked up. Turn British there for a second. Like, like when, as long as she doesn't have that attack, the, the boss fight is like a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, I really like this part of the fight, when she's not doing the move. It's a 10 out of 10 fight. It's probably one of the best Souls fights ever. As soon as she pulls out that move, it becomes literally one of the worst. Like, no, no, no. It becomes the worst fight that From Software has ever made. As soon as she, she starts using that move. Before that, though, 10 out of 10 fight. All of her other moves are fair, dodgeable. I said it as she fucking stunlocks me. That's great. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna heal now. I'm not gonna heal. No matter how, how many times I get hit. I'm dead. Full HP, by the way. She said full HP. I'm not gonna heal now. I refuse. I don't want. I refuse. Focus. Okay, lock in. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. New challenge. First phase. Uh, two heals. If I do more than two heals, I can't heal until her second phase. The only accept exception is the damage I take from Waterfall Dance. That, that, that doesn't count. But if I take damage from normal attacks, uh, I can only heal two times. <laughs> because I want to save the healing for... To be fair, the healing doesn't really matter. I can spam it as much as I want. As long as I have half, it's fine. Because... Um, because if I get hit in her second phase, anyways, I'm dead instantly. So it doesn't matter. Fuck's sake. Yep, get fucked. Yoink, give me that fucking tit. Give me those tits. Let me let me cup a few. Yep, I fucking knew that she was gonna do that. See, I can, I can literally dodge it as long as I fucking am able to dodge that first floor. It's not hard. It's easy. But like... If you aren't able to dodge that first floor, you're fucked. You can't do anything. Okay. Fuck you, princess. Fucking bitch. Okay. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? I just hate when she's walking towards you and not doing anything. That's just annoying. Just do it. Just jump into the air. Save me some fucking time. Save me the fucking... The annoyance. How long can you do it? Please, please just do it. Nah, no, watch this. I could have mind. I thought she was just gonna. I mean, to be fair, it was like a 50 50 chance. I'm dead. It was like a 50 50 chance that she would jump into the air. It always is whenever I jump at her. I'm literally just taking a gamble because I have no idea what, what I'm supposed to do. Just wait. Like, like for real, like the people who think this boss is fair, is this like the, meant to be the intended thing that you're supposed to do? You're just supposed to wait. Just wait and do nothing? That seems like kind of fucking shit to me, honestly. Not fun. I fucked up there. Woman, please stop. Stop stop chasing me. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Alright, two heals. Is this a first run? Uh nah, hell nah. I beat her multiple times before. It's just the issue is the I think the only time I beat her solo was I think on my first run where I was using a bleed build so basically cheesing the game and uh, the second time was when I or did I even beat her solo I'm not sure uh, but the second time was when I was using like a great sword build which is easy as well because you could just get you have a ton of reach and you can stun her and she, that makes her pretty easy but no it's not a first run 
It is, however, a challenge run. As you can see, I'm only using balls to beat her. Can I give you tips? I've beaten her no healing with a colossal weapon. If you got any tips for her waterfowl dance, that'll be helpful because that's the only move that keeps killing me. Everything else is easy to dodge. It's just her waterfowl dance that is difficult because if I'm close to her, I can't dodge it. It's impossible. Unless I obviously bug out her AI by running around her and then jumping out at a specific moment. But I don't want to do that. I feel like that's cheating. I don't want to do that. But yeah, sure, if you got any tips, it's a long explanation. God damn, dude. <laughs> I mean, feel free. Feel free. to. I'll read it, definitely. I'll, after, I'll read it after I die to her. I'm back home. I had to help my mom. Based. Based mom helper. Oh, there we go. She's done it again. See? I mean, the move itself isn't that hard to dodge. I, I, I fucked it up there, to be fair, but still. Yeah, see? Not that hard as long as, like, she doesn't pull off that move. It depends, like, where as well. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Millennia. Goodbye, first phase. Alright, second phase time. Is she still alive? What the hell? Bitch. Was she still alive? What? Hello, die. Wait, why isn't she dying? What? Look at this. What? She's not dead. She has zero HP, dude. How is she not dead? I think she's bugged. She's literally bugged. She lich. Okay, okay. Defend that. Defend that. She had zero HP. I charged attacked her. And she survived that. Defend that. Defend that. How's that not a bug? Is my microphone peaking, by the way? I'm sorry. I, I, I see it being red and OBS, but I'm not sure. That is wild. You see, that is bullshit. How good, well designed boss. Literally has a bug that they still haven't fixed to this day. This is, this, this is, come on. Come on. Like, okay, like, come on. At this point, really, someone's gonna defend this boss saying it's good. At this point. I beat her that time. That was a beat. And, and nah, she, she literally fucking, she literally just like, nah, I, nah, I got, I got one HP left. Even though I fucking, she had literally like this. Like this. Not even visible, right? You can even see the red. And I charge attacked her fully. And I don't think, I'm not sure if it was full, but it doesn't matter anyways. It, it's enough damage to kill her. And that didn't kill her. And then she pulls off the fucking, then she pulls off the, the, the fucking, uh, the waterfowl dance. <laughs> it's just, man. <laughs> nah, that shit just drives me crazy. That shit just drives me crazy. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's just bad game design. I mean, From Software knows it, though. Like, a lot of fans will cope and say, like, a lot of, I won't say fans, because true fans will not cope. A lot of From Software dick suckers will say, like, no, it's not perfect to balance boss, you're just bad. It's like, yeah, I mean, you're sucking From Software's cock there, because guess what? From Software also knows this boss is bad. 100% they know. They addressed it in, like, a couple interviews for, like, um, for, like, the DLC. They said they want to, like, uh, both the open world game and you know the boss design they want to fix that they don't think they did it they could have done a better job they think which absolutely they could have done a better job fuck nah fuck a shame i didn't think that would have stunned her also the stun meters make no sense sometimes it takes like three full charge attacks sometimes it just takes like like one full charge attack and like two mini ones it makes no sense fuck fuck you bitch uh, don't make attacks with a too long recovery when she staggers. The waterfall fan can be ended by simply running away and jumping before she reaches you. That's it. Uh, I mean, okay, so for the first part, that is true. I could just bait out attacks. However, that is not engaging. That 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 is just me baiting out one attack that, you know, that fucking, uh, that I know I can dodge. Which I feel like is a kind of a coward strat. No offense, right, if you did that. I just say that for myself, really. I just mean for myself. I would feel like a coward if I did that. And, um, the, the, se the second one, uh, which is the waterfall dance can be avoided by simply running away and jumping. That can, that is true. If, if you're far enough when you start running, if you're far enough. And if you're not in the middle, if you're in the middle of an attack and she jumps, you will never have time to run away. There's no way. Uh, you, you sent a first comment as well. Let me read that. Waterfall has a cooldown on, on neutral, meaning stay aggressive. However, she can do it in proximity at random. She can also stagger or uh, cancel into waterfall there's a simple solution to this yeah you said okay and then you then you proceeded to list the tips yeah i don't think like it depends really for example uh you said use a colossal weapon it's easy with a colossal weapon you have range 
and you, you can you can stun her very easily from that range. So you can pretty much always keep her range. I'm using fists only. I have to get in her face. And if she jumps while I'm get, while I'm in her face, there's no way for me to avoid that attack. Unless obviously I do the running around thing, which I don't want to do. Uh, what is the next? She can't start waterfall before my, uh, 75%. Yeah, I know that, but she can spam it ran at random before that. You said she, it has a cooldown? I'm not sure what the cooldown is, but it's not very long. She has been spamming that shit for so long, dude. She has been spamming that shit for so long. It's possible even from a, a Swihander R2 recovery. I just don't believe you, honestly. I'm sorry, but I just don't believe you. Because I have, I have literally, as soon as that, and I started, like, I rolled away and started running away. It, I couldn't do it, no matter what. I, I never could do it. I, I, I could never do it. Like, I know the recovery, for obviously, for great, great Sword is longer, but I don't think recovery is the problem. I think just any kind of recovery. If you're, like, literally right up in her face, you're fucked. There's footage of it. I mean, sure, there is footage of everything, dude, but I'm not sure if that's really, a, like, a viable strategy that works every time. Yeah. The main problem is just the fist only around that I gotta get up in her face. And to be fair, like, the, the issue is, I think, I mean, it works, right? You can do it. Here's how to beat Melania. I'll, I'll like basically summarize your thing. Only attack when it's smart to attack, basically. The issue with that is, I find that incredibly fucking boring. I do not want to sit here, bait out a specific attack, and only attack that one attack. That's boring. Stop complaining about waterfall dance by Lupin OS. I think I've seen that video and I think it's bullshit. He, so, I think, uh, 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 basically just any video I think is bullshit. It, it's a, it, it's a, it's an attack that definitely deserves criticism, and it's a bad attack. You cannot argue that it's a good attack. You cannot, really. Because you can say you can dodge it, right? But can you dodge it consistently? Using any build? That, you can't. You just can't. Like, with with your Swihander uh, thingy, uh, you have, you're probably not, like, right up in her face, first of all. And second of all, um, I was gonna say. Okay, so you're, you're in, okay, so you're, like, you're saying, like, if you, like, start charge attacking. Okay, okay, let's see, okay then. If you start charge attacking, right? She jumps. You hit her. You won't stun her, obviously, right? You're not gonna stun her. She's she. You know, you start attacking. She, she jumps. You hit her. It doesn't stun. You're saying, after your recovery time finishes, so you can actually start running away. You can run away, jump, and dodge the attack. Because if so, I do not believe you, dude. I do not fucking believe you. Because they'll. Yes, you can, and you can run away. Nah, no, I just, I just, I just, I just say cap on that. I do not believe you. I have fought. I have fought this boss. I have fought this boss enough times to the fact that I know that that's bullshit. No matter what people say, I think it's complete bullshit. It's the same thing when people say like the, the bosses don't like input review. Like it's the same it's the same cope. It absolutely does. I think you're just sucking from software's dick if you think this this is a fair move that's absolutely dodgeable and fair to dodge. Will complaining even get you anywhere? Not really, but it, I mean, will not complaining get me anywhere either? It's not really gonna. I'm just sharing my opinions, dude. Like, that's the thing. It's not like, will compa complaining get you anywhere? Well, will sucking from software's dick get you anywhere? It's not. It's the same thing. You're just sucking from software's cock because you want to suck its cock. I'm complaining because I want to complain. Just that it's, it is dodgeable. I agree with you. It is dodgeable. It's just not practical. Like, the dodge. You, you have to, like, it has to be very specific under very specific conditions. If you don't meet those conditions, unlucky. Get fucked. You can't dodge it. You know what I mean? Like, I agree with you. It's not that it's undodgeable. That's bullshit. People who say that are stupid, you know? Obviously, it's a dodgeable move. It's just not a fair move to dodge. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not disagreeing with you that it's uh, not dodgeable. It's absolutely dodgeable. 100%. It's just dodgeable in a very specific circumstances. So what? What did my tips even help for? I mean, to be fair, they didn't really. I already knew, like, the stuff that you said. Like, for example, for the first thing, obviously, just don't attack when you shouldn't. I, I agree with that. I'm too stupid to not do that. Or I know that one's just too stupid, too hard-headed, you know, I want to play, I want to be aggressive all the time. Which is, no, no, the wrong strategy to have, I agree. Uh, about the second tip, tip for running away, actually, to be fair, you, you are uh, helpful for one thing. The jumping thing, I have not tried that, to be fair. I will try jumping. What else? Dodge inwards, stay aggressive. You mean like, when you dodge the first floor, you dodge inwards, right? I try that, I always get hit. I found the best strategy is to dodge to the right slightly. And then for the other one, I haven't figured out what exact... Or like, for the last flurry, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not sure how you dodge that one, what the strategy is there. I'm gonna, by the way, die there, this boss. I, I wanna restart. Um, dodge inwards normal attacks. That depends on how close you are to her, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. But that's, o that's only if you're not, like, in her face. Because obviously, then you're just gonna dodge past her and then it won't ma matter. You just put distance. Then In that case, it's best to dodge to the side. If you're, like, really close to her. Because you you'll get less uh, distance. I feel like. Or it's at least easier to like readjust and attack her. 
But yeah, I definitely agree that it's 100% dodgeable. I agree with you. It's just not dodgeable under certain circumstances. You have to be under specific circumstances to be able to dodge her attacks. You can't be too close to her. You can't be in the middle of an attack for some weapons as she jumps and, and stuff like that. Wait, she will extend her commas if you dodge backwards every time. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. I did not know that. I did not know that. So so she actually only extends her combos if you dodge backwards. That's good. That, thank you. That is actually really fucking helpful. Thank you, man. I did not know that. I thought she just did it randomly. You know, I thought she just like did it randomly based off of like if she can like if she know if her AI AI I don't know if she knows that she can hit you or not. This happens for every other boss. Okay, that's actually helpful. I did not know that. So they never extend their combos when you dash past them. To be fair, I think for Morgat that's not th not true because he has that tail swipe that he does. If you dash past him, he does the tail swipe almost always. I noticed. So I think for Morgat that's not the case, or for any. A boss that has uh, like a backwards attack because uh, they'll just extend it to that but yeah for 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 everything else yeah that's helpful thanks that's actually really helpful i'll try to do that now maybe that actually makes me able to beat her all right let's go okay for that one i like dodging uh backwards mainly because i can punish it easier what the fuck is she doing? Okay, depends. Morgan has one move where if you dodge forward, he jumps backwards, but 90% of the time dodge forward. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you. That is actually helpful. That is actually really helpful. I, I'm surprised. Like, dude, I have 600 hours in the game, right? I'm not a noob. I'm not someone who's like new to Souls and complaining about the game being too hard, right? Don't misunderstand me. I've played through Dark Souls games multiple times, each and every single one. I have like five, no, 400 hours on Dark Souls 3 on Steam. On Steam, that's all I'll say. Dark Souls 2 I've played twice. Uh, Sekiro I've played once. Uh, Dark Souls, Demon Souls I've played through like three times. Dark Souls 3 obviously like multiple times. Dark Souls 1 like three times I believe as well, right? Uh, and not using cheese builds by the way either. Like actually just using like a basic longsword for every single game. Uh, obviously upgraded, but yeah, just a basic longsword. And Elder Ring I have 600 hours on. I've played it a lot with a bunch of different builds. I didn't notice this, you gotta admit though, this game... Elden Ring is definitely built more around like those overpowered builds that people use. It's not a built around like these kind of builds. Yeah, I kind of did that too. Mm. I just I just think, you know, it's funny. I always think like, I fucking hate myself for thinking this because it feels mean to think this, right? It feels like I'm saying like that people who do like OP builds are like playing the game incorrectly, but I don't, it's not, that's not true. Uh, I always feel like the proper way to play Dark Souls is just like you, whatever the first class offered is, you pick that class and you only use that weapon. I don't know why I think that, and it's not the correct way, the correct opinion to have. Obviously, I'm aware of that, but I feel like that's the that's how you get the Dark Souls experience. You know what I mean? Because that way you're not cheesing the game. But I think Elden has some of the best bosses. Definitely, Radon is my favorite boss in Elden Ring. One of my favorite bosses in all of, uh, Souls. Melania, aside from her, her waterfall dance, fantastic. Up there with Alone from Dark Souls 2. Amazing, amazing boss fight. Like, literally just as good as alone, a Melania. If not better. Uh, aside from her waterfall dance, which I think is... Still, I still think it's a bit bullshit. Uh, depending on your build and stuff. But yeah, aside from that, I think she's a great boss. Fantastic. And her second phase, I think, is better. I don't know why. I find it always easier in her second phase to dodge the waterfall dance. I don't know, I guess... It could be just because of my... Uh, again, because of just luck and different situations. Oh, not luck, just different circumstances I got into. Which, I guess, that you could call that luck as well but yeah like i think a lot of people as well like whenever someone criticizes Elden Ring, they try to defend it hardcore like for no reason as well even when they're in the wrong like for example the repeat bosses and like that's not that's such a big deal i mean it kind of is it kind of is a big deal because like if you're like if you're gonna repeat bosses just don't like in include them in the game in the first place that's like another criticism that i have but i don't want to get like too deep into criticizing Elden Ring. i already like said pretty much everything i want to say on the game through the streams so I don't want to like get back into those discussions, like all the other ones. But about Melania, yeah, I haven't talked yet, so it's nice to have that discussion. See? That, like, it's easy to dodge there. I mean, it's not like deleting every repeat boss will improve the game or something. I think it will. As long as you, as long as you, instead of like having all those bosses, you put all of the souls- I'm gonna die because I'm not paying attention, whatever. In, in, instead of having all those side bosses, take all the souls that they would give you, or runes, and put them in the legacy dungeons. Because the thing is, you know what the issue with Elden Ring is? And you'll probably disagree with me, but still. If you're an average player, right? 
and you don't want to like do jack shit damage you pretty much need to complete a lot of the side quests dude like a lot of the or side content you need to beat a lot of those optional bosses a lot of those repeat bosses. you need to beat them all and or, unless you know if you want to like sit there and farm or, like uh, what are they called again albinorix in moog's palace right unless you want to farm those like you have to do one one or the other which either option is bad in my opinion it doesn't flow well with the game you either farm farm for farm the albinorix or you do a bunch of side content, right? Which is mostly just repeat, you know what I mean? Because if you don't, you're gonna be not be doing any damage. You're not gonna you're not gonna have any health, any stamina, and you're, you're just gonna be, the game is just gonna be like way too hard, like unrealistically hard. Like if you if you're making that game that hard, then that's a challenge run at that point. You're not doing like a normal run, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the uh, caves with important upgrades are marked in red, black. Oh fuck, are they? Are they? I mean, still my point apply my still point apply my point still applies because. Um, Again, okay, fine, you'll be doing enough damage, right? I concede on that point. Because if you if it's true, like, if the red caves are marked specifically. I know that there were caves that are marked like this. No, not this one. Where is it? This one, I believe, is marked. Um, I did not know that those contained, like, important items. That's interesting. Th thanks for the knowledge, by the way. That's actually really helpful. I did not know that. Um, however, I think you still need to do, like, you still need to do a lot of repeat bosses just to... Just to get enough levels. Or, again, farm. Which, neither option is the best, you know what I mean? It, both options are bad, in my opinion. But the discussion is useless because games in the end are all about subjectivity. Fair. 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 I mean, fair. As long as you, you know... As long as you don't, like, go... As long as you're not talking about technical aspects. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, talking about the uh, open world, my opinion is the open world is garbage, dog shit, there's nothing in it. There's so many places, and you, you, I'm sure if you played this game, you notice, like, you go to, like, a location, you know what I mean? And you're like, there's 100% an item here, there has to be, there's nothing. You find nothing, or you find something utterly useless. I mean, to be fair, finding something utterly useless is at least something, but you find, you so many times, there's, like, locations where you find nothing, nothing at all. Even though it looks, it's literally a location that's, like, added into the game, like, separately, you know what I mean? It looks like there should be something there. But there's nothing. And most of the time you'll also see like messages online of people like saying there's nothing here. Like clearly people are disappointed by that, I feel like. And that that's like one of the things I feel like you can't really argue, to be fair, when it comes to like discussing the open world. But what you can argue though is like, uh, like to be fair, you can argue like if the open world is good in general, because it just depends on like how much of you to explore, you know what I mean? Because if you haven't explored it that much, yeah, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's great. But then again, that, that that's kind of more of a linear experience in that case. Depends. It depends from player to player. You're right. You're absolutely right. There's not. There's not, not. Nothing really to say. Like yes, this is a fact. You know what I mean. At least when when it comes to saying is something good or bad. You know that that depends on just the player itself on your experiences individually. You're absolutely right. Okay. Let's let's lock in. Yeah, I mean my friend thinks fire giant is hard. I mean it's not fire giant is very easy. He's just, he just has a huge HP bullets and very annoying to fight him. Which is why I used, uh, I used these to fight him. Don't get me wrong, repeated bosses get old, but the only annoying repeated bosses are dragons. Also, it treats me, the rest is okay, except Godfrey and Estelle. Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of agree. I guess I kind of have to agree. I mean, I had fun, I, I had fun with my run. That's all I'm gonna say, you know what, that, that's all I need to say. This run was fun as fuck for me. To be fair, it's mostly because of streaming. And I, and I, like my first, I just think it, like those repeat bosses and shit like that, they don't matter after your first run. But during your first run, and as well as like those areas that like have no secrets, even though they should, like obviously they should, uh, those uh, those things ruin your first run, like 100%. I was so hyped for the game, and I was expecting much more than I got. So it, it, for a first run, the game is a bit of a disappointment if you're expecting certain things. For example, certain things that From Software has done in previous games. Like fair boss design, which I mean, come on, some of these things are not fair, at least in my opinion, you know, depending on the build that you use. Like, it's not fair for all builds. Then, then again, to be fair, Dark Souls was never fair for all builds. But at least like the basic longsword build, the game has to be fair at least for that. Which this game I feel like is not really, for a lot of the, for some bosses. Like Fire Giant, for example, just has an insane amount of HP. It feels like a gimmick, but I feel like you're fighting Yorm uh, with a normal weapon. It's just an, it's just an annoyance, it's not, it's not a good uh, boss design. Just shit like that, you know what I mean? But, yeah, again. Depends on player to player. I mean, technically, no boss is fair. The definition of fair boss would be the player character. Not sure what you mean by that. I mean, fair... Ah, oh, I know what you mean by that. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I know what I mean, dude. <laughs> Come on. Don't, don't, don't fucking, uh... 
Don't, don't, don't do some, uh, what do you call it? R slash I am very smart shit. It, it is... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean by fair. Like, like beatable by an average player of average skill using a basic weapon. Like a longsword, for example. Like longsword, I feel like, is, is like the golden standard. If, if the game is... If a boss is... Uh, it doesn't feel good to fight with a longsword, then it's a good, bad boss. Fair is kind of a buzzword among the Souls community, but I understand you. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people say... That's the thing, right? Whenever I say not fair... A lot of people would interpret it in different ways because there's no one interpretation. What I mean by fair exactly? My definition is 100% different from yours. That's the thing. Yeah. I'm glad we could come to like a semi uh, agreement though. I'm glad. It's just very hard to like factually say, you know, something is X or Y because I mean, everyone has a different definition of things and different experiences. So it's hard to say. Come on. Ah, such a shame. I feel like the only thing, though, to be fair, the only thing, reason I feel like I'm shitting on Eldering so much is just because not a lot of people do it, at least fairly. There's a lot of people who say, like, bullshit, like, uh, the game is too hard and stuff like that. Like, in general, you know, the game is not hard. The game is the, by far the easiest Souls game, uh, the, the easiest from software game to ever be released because of the amount of uh, opportunities for builds, you know. You can cheese the game any way you want, and you can choose different levels of cheese or just not cheese the game at all. Oh, basically, I shouldn't say cheese. You can choose different levels of difficulty. It's not cheesing. You can, and it's very natural as well, the way you can choose difficulty. Just by using different builds, that's a great way to make difficulty. It's fantastic. It's, it's, it's great. They really did a good job with that. I think it's a very natural way to do it. Cheese. <laughs> by the way, I used Godfrey's axe for this boss. Nice. To be fair, that, I'm pretty sure that is considered a pretty overpowered weapon. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Okay, I survived that. Okay, whoo. Okay, I survived that. Good. The issue is she regained half her HP. Oh, not half. One fourth. At least you said she can't use waterfall dance, right? So I should be aggressive. Good to know. Fuck, I'm, I fucked up. Overpowered against a descaling strength. Okay, never mind then. I, no, what was the. No, ah, you're right, you're right, not, it was a storm, the storm axe, what was it called again? It's the one you find in, in, um, I misunderstood, yeah, it's the, it's the I, I thought of the wrong weapon. What's the, what's the weapon called? Um, there's like one that has a really powerful Ash of War, that's like really good at stunning, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Okay, I, I misunderstood, I, I thought of the wrong weapon, I'm sorry. I thought of, I thought of like the one that you find in Lendale, like, uh, tucked away in that one corner. Stormcaller. Yeah, exactly. That, that's the one I thought about. That's the one I thought about. I misunderstood. It's funny, I have 600 hours in the game, and I still don't, don't know the names of all the weapons. <laughs> but to be fair, Elden Ring isn't the only game I fucking play. Can you guess what happened just now? <laughs> Elden Ring was like, nah, enough of your bullshit. You got to shit on the game, you can't play it at all. It crashed. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Uh, punishment. Punishment. <laughs> Crash, yeah. God damn it. I got punished for shit talking in the game. Miyazaki did not like that. If you creep aggressive, she won't do wa the waterfall at 75%. Oh, she won't even do the waterfall at 75%. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it just, I, I think that is just luck. I, I mean, you say very aggressive. Depends on how aggressive. You need to be constantly like staggering her and constantly dealing damage, and then maybe, yeah. This is an intended game mechanic skill issue. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> Uh, intended game mechanic skill you should put the game to crash when you shit talk it. <laughs> so good. It's funny, that's funny. I think he means like right on her. I mean, yeah, not letting her go into neutral. I'm not sure even what that means. You mean like uh, resetting her attack or oh, resetting her pose, you mean like or what? Yeah, I guess that that is true, but like how could you be that aggressive? Like, like you'd have to have a lot of stamina for that, wouldn't you? And still, again, you'd have to be, like, pretty lucky as well for her not to, like, back away. Because she can back away. You'd have to get pretty lucky about that as well. And, like, as well, I, I feel like, like, with the rolling, like, the roll length it is kind of hard. Maybe you'd have to, maybe, like, with a mid-roll, maybe that'd be easier. I feel like with a, with a light roll. Or was it with light roll or mid-roll? Which one has, like, a shorter thingy? You can strafe a lot of attacks instead of dodging. Yeah, I know that as well. I mean, you say a lot. It's not a lot, really. 
for Melania. She does a lot of like frontal attacks, which can't be just strafed. But if you mean like the one where she like does the overhead sweep, yeah, I, I constantly do that for that attack. Uh, if I'm positioned correctly, obviously. I need to position myself correctly to do to be able to do that. Aside from that, I mean, there is some attacks as well that you can do that, yeah, with. Or just something you can just walk away from as well, I noticed. But yeah. Which is, yeah, that's what you meant by strafe, right? Does, <laughs> I, I thought like strafe, you mean like left and right. It's like, no, nah, it's in all directions. Yeah, you're right. You absolutely can. Most attacks. Okay. Fucking but Yeah, see, if she does that, you can't really stay aggressive. Because she, like, backs away a lot. It's kind of hard to catch up to her in time. And usually, if you try to go after that, she'll just jump up. Fuck. Didn't have my hand on controller. God damn it. Alright, no healing for first phase. Punishment for, for weakness. For messing up. Fuck's sake, now that attack was kind of kind of bullshit. Um, it was kind of bullshit because I, I stood in it. If I didn't stand in it, then it wouldn't have been bullshit. Okay, that was my fault. God damn it. I need to lock in. I, I keep locking out. I need to lock in. She backs up so you can heal and regenerate your stamina. <laughs> Come on, dude, that's kind of, that's kind of a weak, weak argument. It's not really, it's not even, a, I mean, it's not a weak argument. It's, a, it's not a counter argument at all, really, to what I said. It's just a, it's just a fact. Yeah, she does that, but the thing is, if you try to chase after her, you know, she can activate Waterfall Dance very easily then because I feel like you can't catch up to her and deal damage for most builds. Mm. Not for most builds. For my build. Because I don't have range. If you have range, I'm sure you can do it. But I have no range, so it's impossible for me to catch up. But, I mean, if she does that to so you can back up and heal, then I would really prefer if she didn't right after that just lunge at you and kill you. You know, or do waterfall dance as soon as you start to heal. Because, I mean, to be fair, you're probably disagreeing with this as well. 100% the enemy's either input read, or I'm assuming this is more specific. They react to the start of your animation. Which isn't technically input reading, but it might as well be. It's like a, a couple milliseconds, you know, later. Which doesn't really mean much for the player. It might as well be input, input reading, really. Like, for example, whenever I jump, right? Whenever I jump, she will do, do a specific attack that hit, will hit me when I jump. And, and never another one. Never, very rarely, very rarely will she do like another attack. She seems to react to uh, inputs. Okay, spells and healing. Well, yeah, that's that's the problem, right? I, I heal and she just goes after me right away. Seems kind of bullshit. I mean, I know you can like put like you no know, make a lot of range, and that's one option. But I'm not sure if that's like practical on, on every single scenario because some bosses do not have large arenas. For her, it's not a problem. For what's that boss's name? The Sentinel. You know what? You know. You know the set. What's the boss called? The Urchi Sentinel. No, that's that's not the one. No, the, the the ones. You know the ones. You probably know the ones. The ones. Whenever you heal, they do like a, a running thrust move at you right away. Like their input read the most in this whole game. Like you know the ones. I mean, the ones you the one you fight first in the Ever Jail, and also the one. And there's also one in the castle. Uh, well, all enemies can input read because. They're AI, they basically just decide some things to let you get away with it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Crucible Knight, thank you, thank you. I'm not sure if all of them input read. Sometimes I get the feeling that they don't really. That or they do input read, it's just that they their animations are more balanced, aka, or their attacks are more balanced, so they're way slower. So you have time to actually react to their, you know, to their reaction. Whereas Melania, with Melania, I feel like, I feel like she, she her attacks are too quick, so... She input reads and you cannot and you cannot react. Dude, lock in. All right, I'm doing it. Okay, no more chat. Shut the fuck up, chat. Don't shut the fuck up. But I'm not gonna read messages until I'm done with this. <sighs> okay. Okay. Can I dodge that one? I literally pressed the dodge button and couldn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Fuck! Oh, my control disconnected. There's no fucking way. My controller literally disconnected. God damn it. Well, it's called it's, it sees your inputs in real time. I don't know how it works. Well, I gotta pretend like I know. 
Fuck. Okay, that was the wrong way to dodge it, 100%. I fucked up there. I tried using the jumping thing. I'm saying technically it sees everywhere, but... I don't know how that works, honestly, so I, I wouldn't. I can't confirm nor deny. Okay. Lock in again. Fuck's sake. You see, that was input reading, 100%. That I'm just really unlucky. Sometimes it feels like I can't really take initiative on attacks because I get punished for like actually taking action, which just feels bad. Yep, she's doing it again. I fucking clicked X. I clicked X, I swear on my life I clicked X. It's not the game's fault though, it's my controller, 100%. That technique only works with the first slashes, the other ones can be avoided by rolling. Mm. A lot of Crucible Knights, these are so easy to parry, true. But again, when you heal, they're fucking going after you. Okay, I fucked up already. I used too many heals. Three heals is too many. Oh, come on. The game lagged that time. Again, fault of my PC. See, Waterfall has a cooldown. I guess. It's pretty short, though. It's pretty damn fucking short, not gonna lie. Not to mention, uh, even if, the, like, the, the, the cooldown, first of all, I would have to count it, which is kind of weak. That you gotta count a fucking cooldown in order to, like, for a move to, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm dead. Kill me. I don't even care anymore. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> I, just, I just give up, dude. Um, what was I gonna say again? Fuck. It has a cooldown, but, like, I can't be fucked to count for the cooldown, first of all. And second of all, like, the thing is, if I know that her cooldown is finished, yes, that makes it very easy to dodge. Uh, uh, Stay near her? Why would I stay near her? No, 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 that's not the tactic. If you know, like, that that her cooldown is over, pretty much, like, basically, or you know it's about, like, you feel like it's about to end. The tactic is basically just stay at a distance until she does it, and then dodge it, because then it's easy to dodge, right? Easy. It, it's pretty much easy to dodge. It's easy to dodge if you're good. And, um... Right, what was I gonna say again? Fuck. Uh, then it's easy to dodge, but the issue with that is, that is very much just, like, you wait, and then you react. Which I feel like is kind of boring, at least for my opinion. Again, it's a completely valid, and it's the right way to do it. Or, like, the best way to do it, I would say. But, but still. Fuck's sake, I dodged too early. Fuck's sake. I hate that move because when you like turn to her back, it's really hard to notice that she's doing it. Thankfully I noticed that time, but it's still very hard. That that is another criticism I have with that move. Or with Millennia. It's her grab move. If you're like looking at her back, it's incredibly hard to notice that she's actually doing it. Okay. I think she's at 75%. Is she? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna stun lock her. I'm not gonna stun lock her. Fuck. Yep, perfect. Goodbye. How is she not stun lock still? What the hell? Holy moly. I hate that she's not using waterfall dance. It just makes me so anxious. See, that's the thing, right? I know she can use it now. But what am I supposed to do? Just bait out the attack? Just just not attack her at all? Or just bait out a specific attack? Because that's what I've been doing now. To be fair, because I think that's the only way to do it. I just gotta wait for her specific attack, and only then can I attack her. Because, like, if I attacked her then, then, then she could easily jump up. Yep, there we go, okay. Okay, that was weird. Fuck. Couldn't dodge it completely, but it was fine still. Fuck's sake, man. Woman. There we go, thank you. Fuck off. God, I, I hate the turning, man. I hate the turning. Fuck, I'm, I'm an idiot. There we go. I fucking hate myself.
Ooh, did you see that shit? Damn, combo. Run. Okay. She definitely can use it now, though. She can definitely use it now. I have to be very careful. Fuck, I, I almost, like, tried to run instead of dodging. I held it for too long. See, this is kind of, like, boring to me, just having to wait for the attack. Because if I'm close to her, I'm actually going to be fucked. Okay. At least whenever she does that attack or the other one, hesitation is defeat. A uh, defeat. Uh, okay. I was, I was like, what the fuck? Talk about feet. Millennia's feet? Fuck. I messed up. Okay. Stay aggressive, you say. Worked out. Worked out. I'm skipping this. I already saw it once. Okay. Now I'm just concerned if I'll survive this. I will. Yep, we're good. Literally just walk backwards for the third floor. Okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. I thought, I thought it was more complicated than that for some reason. Okay, I can attack her now. Got any tips for her while she's like this? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna heal just in case. Fuck's sake. Okay, hopefully she doesn't do waterfall because I'm gonna fuck be fucked this time. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Stay closer, she'll do the flower thing, and that's a punishment. Okay, good. No, but I can't stay close to her because she'll do like the waterfall dance, so I actually gotta like keep my distance for a while. Like at times at least, until she's attacking me with a specific move. Like if I just try to punish this, I'm gonna get fucked in the ass. I gotta back away. Okay. What's she doing now? Okay, she's doing that's the move, right? Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Now. I think I went in too early. I went in too early. I'm an idiot. Okay. Am I taking Scarlet raw damage? I am probably. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. That's so much. That is so much damage. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Is she... Uh, uh, can I run away from her? Is she going to give me a little bit of peace? What is that? I don't know how to dodge her. I don't know how to dodge her. I don't know how to dodge her. Okay, fuck. Okay. I'm so fucked, dude. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Strength. Extraordinary. Giga Chad! Giga Chad! Giga Chad! Beater while rotten. Well, rotten fists only, by the way. Fists only. Let's go. Well, it's not unarmed or anything, but still, fists only. And it's a good stand. I didn't even cheese by using this. I didn't even cheese. Hell yeah. No bleed. No nothing. Not even close. Not even close. I easily beat her. She didn't stand a chance. Let's go. Congratulations. Thank you, dude. Honestly, I still say this is a 9 out of 10 boss. Eh. I mean, now that I beat her. Yeah. I like it, I like it, I like it, god damn it. Well, dude, I said not that I beat her, I beat her before, but still. Beating her feels so good that I'm like, I forget for a while about all the flaws that of the boss, and I'm just like, nah, this is a goaded boss. You should uh, thank Lorenzo. Exactly, thank you, Lorenzo, for all the tips you gave. Wait, I should look at the camera. I, I keep forgetting to look at the camera when I'm speaking. Thank you, Lorenzo, for all the fucking tips. They were actually really helpful. That was actually really fucking helpful. Holy moly. Oof, okay, that's good. I learned a bunch today though for, from Lorenzo. Bro is a fucking scholar. A fucking Elden Ring scholar. He knows everything. Genius. Okay. Thank you so much, dude. For real. Thank you. Holy moly, we did it. <sighs> we did it. We fucking did it. Thanks. Elden Stars is awaiting you. <laughs> Elden Stars. Oh. Holy moly, dude. Okay. Well, we got like already half for so nah fuck off we're not doing that it's over dude we're, okay what do we got okay so we got scheduled why did i say like an american what do we got um what was i gonna say we got <laughs> me too it's pretty fuck it's not coming never fuck off um i'm i might try unalloyed millennia though i might try that i might try unalloyed millennia that could be fun
Are you sure you watched that stop complaining about waterfall video? I'm pretty sure I watched it. I'm not fully though. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I just. I just got like. Uh, it's another guy saying you just run away and jump, and not acknowledging the fact that you know, depends on the situation circumstances. I'll watch it. I'll rewatch it though after this stream. Or maybe, uh, to be fair, I can just rewatch it like now. Well, I'll do it. Just wait a second. I want to say. Uh, what was I gonna say? And also while you're here, I'm not. I'm not sure if I said it already. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. But it seems everyone's here right now. At least the important people. All the losers left. I hope they never actually see this though. Um, what was I gonna say? Right. Next up, we got Malekith. What's the, what, Malekith the Chad Blade? Malekith the Chad Blade. We got that. We got that. Next up, which is on Saturday. So, in two days, we're gonna have we're gonna have Malekith the Chad Blade. Where we're gonna finish that off. Is the, am, am I right? Like, let's fucking let me check on YouTube. God damn, I'm such an idiot. I keep forgetting my own fucking... The Mewing Blade. It wasn't the chat. It was the Mewing Blade. I forgot. <laughs> the Mewing Blade. Yeah, yeah. The Mewing Blade. Mewing Blade. You know, my title is better than me. Jesus Christ. All right. Let me check. Okay. So we got that. Right. We got that. And we got the f finale. Just in case. I want to repeat one more time. Finale. 12 hours long. It's going to be from 3, 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Um, uh, universal time. We're going to have... Spinny wheel with challenges, which we're gonna spin every hour. Or if someone pays, we get that as well. Like we can spin if someone pays money, which is like four twenty. It's like less than five bucks. So, and the punishments are, uh, I definitely don't want any of them. <laughs> and obviously, there's gonna be discount as well on TTS and stuff like that. So you can like donate and get your message read out, or like play effects. I'm gonna make a discount on that as well. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> we're gonna be doing also a lot of PVP. So get all your PVP builds ready if you want to participate in that. But yeah, good night, everyone who needs to go to sleep. Now, I'm going to watch just here live that video that Lorenzo uh, said we should watch. What was it called again? Wait a second. I should watch. Okay, stop complaining about waterfall dance. I'll watch the video now. How long is it? Three minutes. Okay. Let's, let's watch this one and we'll see. Okay, uh, let me just share my screen real quick. Can I? I can, yeah, okay. You see, the you see the screen? Okay, good. I'm assuming, Lorenzo, you're still here, right? This one, right? Lupine? Why, why was this blocked? Uh, cause it's, I guess because it's spam, or like hearts. You mean this one? Yeah, okay, good. Let's watch it together then. Hopefully he won't mind. You don't need to play passive because of Waterfall Dance. Even with Colossals. And no, I'm not talking about this. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, because that, that move is absolutely that's literally you bugging out her AI. It, it's it's not really a valid way to dodge. Unless someone what is that? Unless someone donates. What do you mean when someone donates? Her uh, posture immune hyper armor frames. Wait, wait, I can't read this shit. This is fucking too fast. Her posture immune hyper armor frames have been overlapped. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not smart enough to know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I'll surely explain. She has not gotten staggered and started waterfall. Aha, okay, okay, I get it now. I'm in recovery frames from an uncharged... Okay. What, what do? Okay. I, I missed important stuff. I'll go back. That fucking shit. Okay, so I have a question then. Is the distance that Melania goes with that based off of like where you are how, how close uh, to her you are is it based off of that because like she seemed to like barely move at all that there like she seemed to barely move at all for him like for me she like fucking moves forward way too much no because like, i feel like she whatever i play she moves forward way too much she, she seemed to like barely move here at all look at this like that that's barely any distance she didn't cover no distance you know whatever she does it for me i think it's best on distance then Cause like for me, for me, she's like she seems to go fucking all the way. Like, I guess it, maybe it's based on distance. Maybe it's based on distance. I'll see. I, mean, I say I'll see. I'm never gonna fucking play it again. <laughs> I'm never gonna beat her again, probably. I say, with the exception of Anal Unalloyed, which I'm gonna try. I think she only waterfowls there if I go a little too late, or sometimes mm. where she overlaps her hyper armor into the waterfall Yeah, she startup. doesn't seem to go as far forward. I, think, some of her I guess that's a way to balance it, maybe? Do I try and balance it? 
uh, just by making it so like if you're close to her, she doesn't do, get as much distance. So it still makes it dodgeable. Okay, I could be wrong then. Because the problem is I never really tried jumping and, and to be fair, the jump timing seems to be very precise as well. So you can't just jump at any time. You gotta jump precisely. Okay, well, you said I missed something important. What did I miss? That's because jumping after a run is the most distance you can get in Elden Ring. Huh, okay. Yeah, but still, it seems to be like you have to do it at a specific time as well. So there's that too. I think because I've definitely tried this tactic before. It just never worked out for me. Maybe because I jumped at the wrong time. Maybe I jumped too early. Who knows? Or too late, obviously. <laughs> no, but it's de no, definitely too early because I actually did jump. What was it again? You can literally just jump in. Wait, okay. I just, I think I missed it again. Oh no, yeah, he was, what do you mean I missed it? I didn't miss it. It's the same explanation. It just says like you can just jump away from it. Or I'm missing something. I'm not missing anything, I think. Is this useful? Well, it depends on when I fight next fight Melania and try it out. I mean, if, if it works like this, I mean, sure, as long as the, the jump, jump timing isn't too specific, right? I don't know. I never tried it. I mean, I'd, I'd need to try it myself, but I mean, if it w actually works like this, then yeah, that's fucking super useful. If it actually works like this. I okay. think she only waterfowls there if I go a little too late. At least. Skip ahead of it. It's quite consistent, okay. Yeah, yeah, he does seem to jump at a specific time always. Wait, I, I want to see how it dodges the rest of it, because I have no idea how to dodge that. Obviously, I know it's dodgeable, it's just, I just don't know the strategy. You dodge? Does he walk backwards there? He seems to like stand in place for a little bit and then walk backwards at a specific point as well. That's kind of uh, uh, tricky. This dude's most famous video is good as well, but it's like an hour and a half. I'm not asking a reaction. I'm just a random nobody. Nah, not just a random nobody. You're the fucking goat who came here and helped me out. Gotta go now. See ya. See ya, mod. <laughs> uh, can I ask how likely is the shave head on the wheel? Very unlikely. <laughs> okay, so let me, let, me, let me show it right away then. It is, I, I set it to, so hair goes bye-bye is one, and the beard goes bye-bye is also going to be one. Then you have uh, four, then you have nine, so it's basically a weight of one, and then you have all of these. Which, I, I don't know, you can calculate yourself, but it's not, it's not very likely. You, you can tell, like, here, that's it. That's how likely it is in comparison to the rest. Because, buddy, I do not want to shave my head. <laughs> Obviously. Um... I, was, I mean, it's still, it's still a chance, though. And to be fair, you know what's funny as well? I did this with, with like, the same chances, and I got it right away. So that was fucking terrifying. And you know what happened then? I did it again, and I got the shave head again. Twice in a row. I shit myself when I saw it. I was like, I gotta increase the, the, the... I gotta decrease the chances, but I didn't. Let's spin it now and see what happens. Uh, yeah, shot of whiskey. Standard. Yeah, it's definitely a low chance, but and it's up to you if you want to donate for that shit or not. I will be doing one free one, but guess what? For the free ones, we are not doing the shave head. If it lands on that, I'm not doing that because it is free. I, I'm only doing it for money. Fuck no, I'm not insane enough to shave my entire head for free. It's not like the shaving my head will just like suddenly make me get a bunch of fucking subscribers and shit and guarantee money and success. So I'm not doing that uh, for free. Everything else though, yeah, obviously. It's still better than what most streamers do. Most streamers like don't do jack shit unless you pay them, so I, I consider myself a bit above in terms of like generosity. Uh, excluding Charlie, who literally just donates fucking money to his viewers based Giga Chad. Specifically, how you hold your weapon. What, what was it? What was that again? The jump iframes are affected by your arms. Specifically, how you hold your weapon. You don't use little bitch weapons. Like power stance straight swords. What the hell does that mean even? Shot of whiskey, I predicted it. Did you, I mean, it came, for me it came up afterwards. Come on, think of the shorts. Bro, I, I don't give a shit about fucking shorts. You, like, I, you realize that the majority of people who watch my shorts do not come to their live streams. That is very few people, I feel like. And also not to mention my shorts in general just get very negative review, reviews as well. Like I, I noticed that as well. I, there's a lot of dislikes on my fucking shorts. I'm not even sure why. 
I get, I don't know. I, I'm not because I know the, I understand the ones where I criticize Elden Ring because obviously 99% of people, no matter what you say about the game, um, they will shit on it. Like one of my, I think my most disliked one is where I talked about the DLC and I'm like, 40 euros might be a bit much. It depends on how good the DLC is. And people disliked and say like, as if I shit on the DLC. I didn't shit on the DLC. It's not out yet. I have no idea. I'm not saying 40 euros is a lot. I'm saying they better deliver on that 40 euros because 40 euros is a lot if they don't deliver. You know what I mean? If they deliver, then fucking fantastic. I, I have a, I have faith in from software. People just misunderstand and get pissed off as soon as you actually say anything close to being negative. Jumping gives you a legs iframes. The heavier the weapon, the stance changes and you get more jumping iframes. So you see, so it is a bit conditional then. Like I'm using, I'm not sure what uh, the it, the thing would be for um, for fists, how good that would be, but I guess it is a bit conditional, isn't it? Whenever from software game DLC uh, is released, people hate it? It, nah? What do you mean? People love it. What are you talking about? Yeah, people love it. People suck it off. And immediately. Like, do you, did you see, like, I'm, you, you played Elden Ring from the start, I'm assuming, right? From the beginning? I'm assuming you you also realized how, when the game came out, every video, every YouTuber, every single person, and then came out Joseph Anderson's video about how Elden Ring is not actually perfect. And then, of course, he didn't have the balls to not call it a masterpiece, though, so... <laughs> I still had to call it a masterpiece, which I don't think it is. Uh, then again, like, that's not an insult, considering, you know... People misuse the word masterpiece so much, or overuse, really. I don't think it's a masterpiece. I think still it's, it's a great game, 9 out of 10 game, or 8 out of 10 game, or 9. Depends on how I'm feeling. But um, it's not, I don't think it's a masterpiece. A masterpiece is just very few games, I feel like. Dark Souls 3 uh, DLC gets released, people's like, it's Bloodborne with Dark Souls character. I've never seen that, actually. Is that, oh, that's really the case? I mean, for Elden Ring, it definitely wasn't the case like that. People definitely sucked up Elden Ring a lot. I'm sure, there were a couple of people saying, like, like whatever reuse bosses reuse animations but like nobody that was like a very small majority of people and besides those, those people were idiots i mean who gives a shit about like actually for example especially like the reused animations or shit reused from older games who cares it's not directly reused and besides what you expect them to be make a completely original game every single time you expect them to like make a completely different game in a completely different engine every single time like fuck off dude like, come on you can't expect that much from developers like the game making games is hard especially now i know as well because i started making my own uh, Lupin, Lupin OS most favorite video is, uh, most famous video is that Joseph Anderson debunking there's not much to debunk though I mean Joseph Anderson was right in a lot of ways to be fair or what he said in the video it's, my only issue with that video is oh well, not only issue but my issue with that is, video is that he still called a masterpiece in the title because he was too much of a coward not to call it a masterpiece because he knew that people would really get upset if he didn't call it a masterpiece if you just call, call it like uh, I don't know uh, Elden Ring a disappointment <laughs> to be fair it's not it's not it's not for a lot of most people it's not a disappointment for me it definitely was but uh on my first playthrough at least no i learned to love it um because i was expecting something else no the bosses don't have endless combos they don't require to stay passive did he say that that the bosses have endless combos hmm that's yeah i mean they don't have endless com I'm, I'm pretty sure he said that as a joke didn't he or did he actually say that like for full intent because that is ridiculous they don't have endless combos however However, they definitely do have very long combos at times. Uh, you saw with Melania, dude. Like, she has some combos that fucking, like, the timings for them is so stupid. Like, if you're, like, you have to be so specific with your dodgers. Otherwise, you get fail, you'll get you'll completely fail. Like, nobody's arguing that, obviously, like, that, that, um, that the shit is, like, for example, impossible to dodge, right? Right? Or, like, there are really long combos. Nobody's arguing that they're impossible to dodge. The issue is that they are very difficult to dodge. Like, incredibly, like, unreasonably difficult at times. Because you need to be like so so specific, because if you mess up a single time, obviously the combo keeps going and you get hit. It's very specific timings. No, for real, he said there were like ten avoidable atta unavoidable attacks. Did he? That's stupid. That's fucking stupid. It's been a while since I watched the video, so I don't remember. But that's stupid. Ten unavoidable. No, there's not really any unavoidable attacks in the game. It just obviously there's attacks that you will get hit. Hit by. Depend, like, for example, for Melania's waterfall dance. At least until I try out this method that this guy showed up uh, showed off. Uh, for me, it definitely felt like like you. it's unavoidable in specific circumstances, like very specific circumstances, but most of the time it's avoidable. Um, also, I realized that I never, like, you shouldn't ever judge bosses right away. Like Malekith, I was like, dude, this fucking guy is garbage. You can't dodge jack shit, you know? Like his like his move where he thrusts the sword and there's like a big whatever flurry. I thought that, you know what, I'm, what I'm talking. Um, I thought that was undodgeable. 
And then I actually like learned how to dodge it and I was like, what the fuck? Why did I think that was undodgeable? It's clearly dodgeable. You know what I mean? Like Malekith, I think now is a great boss, even though initially I thought he was terrible, but he's a great boss. I think he's one of my favorite bosses in this game. However, um, what's his name? Beast, beast, clergy, beast clergyman, right? That's beast man clergyman. What is his name? That boss is garbage. The first phase of Malekith, garbage. You can't defend that. Fuck you. It's, it's awful. <laughs> I hate it. Godskin Noble, Belly AoE, Waterfall, Elven Stars, Godric's Tornado, Rykar, uh, Skulls. Um, okay, so Godric, Noble, Belly, AoE. That is avoidable, 100%. It is very difficult, but it's avoidable. Well, not very difficult. It's not as difficult as, like, as, like some other moves in the game. Uh, Elven Stars. That shit is avoidable, isn't it? No, is it? How do you avoid, how do you avoid that? How the hell do you avoid that move? I know that you can, like, survive it by, like, chugging on, uh, there's some kind of, like, potion that, like, negates damage or something. But I, I'm not sure how to, like, you can completely avoid it. Because you can't outrun it, right? Or can you with, with the jumping? Is it with jumping? Run out way under her arm. Well, then you gotta be near her, though. Right? Wait, Elden Stars. Elden Stars is the move that, like, follows you around, right? And that you can't outrun. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It, but the thing is, you can say, like, run under, under her arm. That is too specific. That should not be the way to dodge the boss. There should be more than one way of dodging an attack. That's the issue, right? That's the main issue I th think people have is that the bosses require you to do such specific bullshit that it's just it's just it's just ridiculous that you would expect the player to figure that out. Uh, really, the belly AOE, AOE. I'd say the rolling is harder. The rolling mm, it depends on the arena that you're fighting in. It depends on how much space you have because you can just run to the right and it's fine. Or it'll dodge once and run to the right. You can outrun it if you run into it. You'll get damage, but it won't overshoot. All right, well that's that's good to know at least. And to be fair, I don't think it's really an issue. There's plenty of like methods to counter that move. I never thought that was the, like a horrible move or anything. What are the rest of the moves that you named? I forget. Waterfall, obviously that is yeah, that is also very, that is very difficult to dodge still. Like depending on the circumstances. Godric's tornado. That's fuck. That's the easiest move to dodge in the game. What the fuck? Who, who's saying that? What kind of idiot is saying that? Rykard skulls. Again, Rykard skulls is easy as fuck. You just run. That's it. You just run, and that's it. You can outrun him. That's who, who's saying that? What kind of idiot would say that? It's it's obvious that you can. Those those attacks are easy as fuck. Like with Melania, like, like there's some debate there, obviously, but like with with the other thing, uh, the last two, you can't really debate. Wait, well, when Elden Ring boss tier list, I'm not making a tier list. I do not want people to bully me. <laughs> I would just put Melania, and probably like I don't know. Actually, no, I wouldn't put an F tier. I don't know what kind of tier list I would even make. Like I don't know. Maybe I'll make make one on the Slap channel eventually when I start uploading there. He's the kind of guy to complain about. What is that? AC six. What is AC six again? Assassin's Creed 6? <laughs> what is AC6? I'm, I'm, uh, AC6. I'm trying to figure out what that means. Armored Core 6. Uh, oh, all right. I don't play Armored Core at all. Armored Core. So I wouldn't know. Uh, I should. I should play the, the game. I heard it's good. But I just... I don't like really those kind of like... At least from what it looks like to me. It's like a bullet hell type game. That's what it seems to me to be. You like fly around at high speeds shooting shit and there's like a bunch of shit flying at you, you gotta dodge it. And I don't like those kind of games. Wait, what was this? Oh, you should do video like that. Aha, uh -huh, the tier list. I might do some tier list on like the slop channel eventually. But because that, those are at least easy to make, you know? I don't really I don't really feel like putting in too much effort, honestly. I know it sounds bad, but like like the editing the main channel videos, it's such a pain in the ass and it, it's not worth it really. It doesn't really get views and people don't really engage with it at all. Like I haven't gotten a single comment. It's quite uh, annoying. Especially considering the amount of effort I put into those videos. Put them all in a trash tier and make people rage click. <laughs> I mean, I'll actually, you know what? I, I mean, obviously, I'm going to do that for the title, right? Melania is going straight in F tier in the, in the thumbnail, obviously. I'm not going to give her F tier, though. She's A tier. Uh, the only good tier list will come from me. Because I'm right about everything. Literally every single person's mindset nowadays, for real. Every single person is such a fucking bubble. I hate it, man. It's because of social media, though, for real. Because because it's like shit that gets recommended to you. It's just like always shit that you like and agree with. So obviously everyone's in their own bu bubble and thinks they're right. It's it's always garbage. Like nobody's op open to changing their opinions, which I fucking hate. Uh, that, that's why I'm happy that I'm, I'm at least open to changing my opinions. Obviously, because like, again, like I said, with this fucking video, like hey, if that if this is the case, you know, I'm I'm fucking wrong. I'm 100% wrong if this is the case, and Melania is fair. <laughs> I had to do that.
Alright, let's... Yeah, well, the, okay, so this whole thing with the weapon usage, I'm gonna skip over, because, I mean, that's not really a fair, a fair defense, because obviously, what, what, should I use a specific weapon to beat the boss? That's kind of like gatekeeping, I feel like. Another one where she takes uh, no hit stun from a Colossal. Water found me, bitch. Hmm. I need it for the views. <laughs> nice. Water found me, bitch. I need it for the views. The millennia of AC6 is the Ibis weapon. Hmm. Okay, going to sleep now. Good night, brother. Good night. Have a nice sleep. I'm going to finish this video and then maybe I'll see like if I can do something else. If not, then I'll go sleep. If we got like anything else to talk about. As long as the conversation keeps going, I'll, I'll keep uh, streaming. Hmm. Yeah, this guy just makes it look really fucking easy, which makes me think that I'm just shit at the game. <laughs> On medium roll. The thing is, I had a light roll and I still couldn't do that shit. Nice though. Like, nice. I was fairly close there. I reacted pretty late. I fucking love dodging waterfowl dance. It's so fun and edgy. Fun and edgy. No one has ever done decently hard boss for over two hours hitless, and Melania is even harder. What's the record? Aha, uh -huh, hitless boss. Yeah, to be fair, hitless runs are kind of weak most of the time for a very simple reason. I'm sure you you must agree with this, surely. You will realize that in a lot of, like, not obviously all of them, but a lot of them, the majority, whenever someone does a hitless boss, boss run, they don't play aggressively at all. They play like absolute pussies. They stay, they stay, they keep dodging the moves. Until they see a specific move that they can punish, and they punish that move. Because they know that there's no way in hell that they will actually, like, you know, get hit with that. Which is why they only do that. And it's just it's just boring, honestly. It's just boring. I feel like a lot of people do that shit. They just, like, bait one specific attack out, and then just, then just like, punish that and just repeat until they beat the boss. Yeah, from software hitboxes are bad. <laughs> they can be, though. I'm not sure if you are probably saying that ironically. But they, that goddamn, they can be fucking bad, dude. They can be really fucking bad. Like... Um, I can't think of an example right now, though. Oh, someone clip that. So I guess I guess I'm wrong someone since I can't think that. of an example. Easy money. Hmm. That's not really about distance, it's about timing. Mm. Could be, yeah. Osiris Dash is one of the worst. Hmm. I don't remember that uh, from Dark Souls Three, so. I, don't know, I guess it wasn't that hard for me. I guess I'm just a base giga chat who doesn't have any difficulty. Now, Dark Souls 3 is actually fucking easy as hell, though. After having played all the other games, Dark Souls 3 is so fucking easy. Like, I can beat Gale on first try, like, without a problem. I say that now, and then when I actually do the Dark Souls 3 challenge run... Oh, the, uh, okay, to be fair, right? With the Dark Souls 3 challenge run, I'm gonna be doing fists only. Or fist weapons only. So, it's gonna be fucking difficult. I doubt I got fucking Gale first try. But I'm pretty good at fighting like Gale, which is considered who's considered one of the hardest bosses in the game, I'm pretty sure. A one frame cube hitbox of an attack, he can start anywhere he, whenever he wants. Hmm. That, that does sound kinda of bullshit. Ten times worse than I'm waterfall. So fucking clean, you guys. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's ten times worse than waterfall. Because at least it doesn't insta kill you. At least it doesn't insta kill you. Waterfall dance. It, it has insta kill potential. I feel like the only reason I didn't get insta killed is because first of all I had that amulet that gives me a lot of physical protection, and second of all is because I had a lot of HP. Clip shop. Yeah, that that move is like it does pretty weak damage. I feel like so it doesn't really matter. You just heal, and I feel like it doesn't spam it. Like Millennia can spam waterfall dance a lot depending on how lucky you are. Yeah, I said that to my friend. I'll be honest. Uh, in my opinion. Dark Souls 3 is uh, the easiest from software game. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Dark Souls 3 is the easiest. No, I don't agree. Elden Ring is the easiest because of the amount of options that it uh, gives you to make the game easy. But speaking strictly on, okay, you're using a longsword and, and nothing else, right? You're using a basic longsword, obviously upgraded to the max as, as, as you progress through the game. Um, it's, 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 it's the easiest, definitely, at Dark Souls. Elden Ring is way harder for that, obviously. But uh, Dark Souls is definitely the easiest if you're doing just like standard Dark Souls run. Which I've learned recently that it's not the standard run, it's just the run that I thought was standard because it's it makes the most sense that you would just go for the basic-ass weapon. You know, just have a basic-ass build for your first run. 
Uh, but I guess it's not. I guess most people just go for poise right away. And just, you know, stand there taking hits from the boss healing. Like Asmongold. Fucking pussy. Literally beat... I love how Asmongold beat, the, uh, beat Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3 because those are the only Dark Souls games. Like Dark Souls 2, he couldn't beat. Because Dark Souls 2 is the only game, only Dark Souls game, where you can't poise your way through the game. You can't do it. You can't poise heal through your way through the game. You actually have to dodge attacks and get good. In Dark Souls 3 and 1, you don't. You can cheese the game. Dark Souls 3 is easy. There's literally no reason to use anything other than R1 for any weapon. Fuck, I, I, yeah, actually, you are, you're completely fucking right. I just, I, I just had like an epiphany. I was like, did I ever charge attack in Dark Souls 3? I don't think I ever did. To be fair, Dark Souls 1, that's even more the case. When the fuck are you going to charge attack in Dark Souls, 3, uh, Dark Souls 1? Then I don't think I ever do that. But yeah, same thing with Dark Souls 3. Like, when the fuck did I ever charge attack? I never do that shit. Just, just R1, who cares? It does the most damage. And it, it leaves you the, less, the least open. I think I always did that. Uh, okay, cool. Cool video. So stupid that everyone knows about this piece of $100 million, but this is the absolute most. Uh, something went so wrong with information. Necro Chambers in this game. Hmm. I'm surprised the only guy that has 4K views. Yeah, 4K views in seven months. That's kind of surprising. I mean, the title is great. Stop complaining. That's like a very clickable title, title, you know? If you call me a no lifer, I play games four hours a week. Why would I call you a no lifer? Also, really, four hours a week? That's very, that's not a lot, a lot, a lot at all. I play games fucking, dude, I play games like, how much, how much do I play games? Well, to be fair, I play games like when I'm streaming and that's pretty much it. Maybe Fortnite, like an hour of Fortnite a week, maybe. But yeah, I used to play like games all the fucking time. Now I don't because I'm working on videos and working on my game. I don't have time to play in my spare time that much. But yeah, I, I used to play like way more. Uh, that's something I like in Bloodborne. You gotta, uh, charge attack for a backstab. Yeah, yeah, true, true. You call it no lifer for telling tips of a million. That's stupid, what the fuck? Why would anyone call you a no lifer for that? That makes no sense. The fuck, just because you know shit doesn't mean that you fucking sweat the game. Like, I'm assuming you learned all of this shit just from other people who actually are no lifers and sweat the game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you would call a fucking no lifer for that. That's stupid. St stupid thing to say. Uh, not, I don't think that at all. Yeah, okay. It's all people who help you. Yeah, literally, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Technically, yes, but 90% is my own experimentation. You're no lifer. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, but I mean, if, you're, if you're the type of person to, like, when you play games, you actually experiment, how is that no lifing? It's not like you're playing the game, like, if, forever. Even if you are, like, is that no lifing? I mean, you know what I mean? I just I just find it to be like a pretty stupid insult to say like just anything like no lifer really like the only thing the only reason I call you a no, no lifer is if you played a fuck ton of Elden Ring and you only ever played Elden Ring which you said you played Dark Souls 3 so clearly you're not a no lifer because I feel like the only people you can call no lifers are people who stick to one game and only play one game that is just sad that is just sad you, that, in that case actual fucking no lifers literally just playing one fucking single game for hours and hours on, on end that is actually no life <laughs> no life and then points up. <laughs> I played all Souls, Souls games minus Demon Souls. Fake fan. I've played Demon Souls as well three times, baby. I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> clearly, if you have so much more knowledge than me, then clearly you're a fucking bigger fan than me. But yeah, that, Demon Souls is fun though. Demon Souls is fun. I didn't play the remake, obviously, because uh, PlayStation Four. I don't, I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation Five. Fuck that shit. It has no games. <laughs> Stole, stole that from Pirate Cynical, but still. It is true. Yeah, it really doesn't have no fucking games. Aside from, like, Demon Souls. Everything else is coming to PC slowly. Okay. okay so we did that. We watched that video. Spider-Man 2 recently, pretty mid. Red Dead 2 last year, and I'm working my way through Assassin's Creed 6. Uh, Assassin's Creed 6. I keep saying Assassin's Creed because AC is like... like Armor Code 6, third ending. There's multiple endings? What the fuck? <laughs> Of course, from software, we put multiple endings in a fucking game where you shoot shoot robots. Funny shooting robot game. Okay. Uh, I got a lot of runes now, man. The story is amazing, is it? That's cool. Uh, and I, I'm sure it's like more straightforward, right, than uh, than Elden Ring, right, or Dark Souls stuff like that. It's gotta be like more straightforward. 
Bro, people coping saying Spider-Man 2 should have gotten game of the year. That's insane. Yeah, that people think that. Although then again, I also disagree that Baldur's Gate 3 should have won. Did Baldur's Gate 3 win, right? Baldur's Gate 3 won, right? Because I still disagree that Baldur's Gate 3 should have won if it if it did win. It did win, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh because I think what game actually deserves game of the year for last year? Gollum should have won. <laughs> Based. <laughs> nah. Uh what game I think should have won, and it was never gonna win because it's it's a small game. It's not a huge game, is uh, Hi-Fi Rush. And it's a shame that I can't believe Hi-Fi Rush lost in, in, in music. That's insane. Killing it has the best music, has the best sound design for sure. Um, I actually think it should have won Game of the Year. It was just so creative. It's such an amazing creative game. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush is amazing. I played through the entire game. I It's generally one of the few games that I would say like, I see no flaws with the game. I can't. I can't find any flaws with the game. I played the game on every single difficulty because you have to for the achievements. Uh, I played through all the arcade modes, all of that. Everything was extremely fun. And I could not find any flaws at the start of the game. Absolutely, I was I was saying this game fucking sucks because I was shit at it. But then as I played the game and it got good, and learned how to actually deal with all the enemies, perfect game. I, I see no flaws. It's an amazing game. Ten out of ten. Better than Elden Ring. As for as for game of the year when Elden Ring won, I don't think Elden Ring should have won. I think Cult of the Lamb should have won. Way better game in my opinion. Just, the issue with Elden Ring is the scope was too big, I feel like. They didn't accomplish everything they set out to do, and that's a problem. A game, a game as that is be uh, the best of games, are games that set out to accomplish a few things and do all of them perfectly, you know? The fewer, the better. Uh, because the more perfect they will be. And Elden Ring just feel like set out to do so much and it, it failed at, like, most of it. Like, the, th the only thing that it really managed to achieve is just making Souls games more accessible to people. Like, to normal people. Like, that's the only thing I feel like it really achieved. Uh, 100%. Not perfectly, pretty much. Because, like, the open world, nah, nah. I think, I genuinely think that, like, literally even the newer Assassin's Creed games have, have uh, better open worlds, you know? Or, like, Far Cry games, even the newer Far Cry games. I genuinely think all of that is a better open world because there's at least shit to do in it. And in Elden Ring, I feel like there's not a lot, is the thing. That's just my own experience with it. Depends on, you know how you treat the open world. I treated it as an open world and actually explored the whole thing and I found out there's so many, em so much empty shit in the world. The, the world is mostly empty. Like if you look at it, like more than 50% of the world, there's nothing in it. It's boring. Although, fair enough, it looks nice. But what's the point if there's nothing practical there? If it's just boring and there's nothing there, no items, nothing, nothing to collect. Because you, know you know what the issue is with the open world and why it's, it sucks so much? It's because they decided for some fucking stupid reason are like okay we're gonna take all the armor sets we're gonna put them in the legacy dungeons everything else enemy drops and and that's it pretty much open world you'll find next to nothing there are a couple of armor sets scattered but not a lot and like and, for, and when you do find armor sets they're always like the whole set that's not you should like put each individual individual armor set it's open world because modern gaming true true although to be fair, i do think that that they, they did want to try making an open world game but I, I think genuinely for the dlc just from the look of the dlc I doubt the DLC is going to be open world. I think it's going to be way more linear than it was, than the main game was, 100%. I don't think they're going to try that shit again because they realize, like, now we can't do this. Yeah, we, we, to, uh, to be fair, right? Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, they are open world games. You can go to multiple locations at once. You, sure, it's not 100% open world, but that's not, like, an impressive thing. That's stupid. Why would you want to go to fucking, uh, well, why would you, if you guys are doing a challenge, right, it's a nice thing to have. So you can just go and like go to a specific location right away. But still, it's not really for like the common player. For the average player, it's not really that, you know, that important to like be able to go everywhere. Because not everyone's going to go everywhere. Most people are just going to take one route. Like 90% of people who play Elden Ring do the following. Godric, Renala, um, Radag Radagon, imagine, uh, Radan, and then, you know, other shit, you know. And the, everything else after it doesn't really matter because you can tackle it any way you want, I guess. But like the early game is always the same pretty much for everyone. I did it a little bit different. I did Radagon first or second after, um, uh, what's his name? Godric, but still. Let me, let me check, wait, uh, the messages. Uh, Golem should one heard it's good. <laughs> yeah, but uh, they, uh, heard it's good. Here we're talking about um, half a rush. Yeah, but they're mad and act like it was worse because it didn't win. What are you referring to again? Uh, Spider-Man or something? Or all those good? No. Oh, Spider-Man, I wish I mean, you, you mean. If you like Spider-Man 2, then like, then like it. I like Spider-Man 1 and 2. I just think that they are extremely overpriced games. I think they should not be 60 bucks. They, they do not have 60 bucks of content. No way. 
Uh, bro, Far Cry 3 slapped for uh, uh, its time, still holds up well. I never finished Far Cry 3. I finished 4, 5. I think I even... No, I didn't finish 2. I finished Bl Blood Dragon. I never finished Far Cry 3 itself. I, I always gave up. I don't know why. And I, play I played Far, Far Cry 5 like over 100 hours on it. I, I should really finish Far Cry 3. I'll do it on stream probably. I'll do it on stream. But still. Uh, okay, it's open world because... Yeah. Uh, fu uh, fat Cry 3. If you know, you know. Yeah, pyrocynical fucking fat bastard furry. They said it's the size of Limgrave. I should switch to this since I'm just talking. Message retracted? What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? They said it's the size of Limgrave. Oh, uh, the, the DLC. Yeah, yeah, that's relatively small to be fair. And I think it's the size of Limgrave, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be like actually Limgrave and open and you can go anywhere. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have like sections that you can go to and you can beat those sections. But it's not like everything's, you know, weird and shit. It's not like there's a lot of space in between, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's gotta be much more linear. They're underselling. They said Elden Ring was gonna be 30 hours. Did they say that? What the fuck? Why would they say that? It's way longer. Far Cry players, when they hear of Far Cry, I don't know, I never played the game. Fair enough. I think that, I think definitely a Far Cry game is worth playing. They're really good games. Just pick three, four, or five and play one. It doesn't matter. All of them are good. Three is obviously the best. Four is the second best. And then five is the third best. And five isn't as bad as people say. It's great. I misspelled something. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got you. All right, okay, let's go to the fucking... Um, we punish Chad, dude. The punish Chad build. I can't believe that as soon as I switched to the punish Chad outfit, and <laughs> I immediately was able to clear first phase Melania. And up until then, I wasn't able to do jack shit. All right, I think we... I think we dress up now, right? Uh, what, what are we going to dress up in? I think for fire as well, I'll just keep this. Mm. Like this kind of drip, I think that's fine. Let me change my haircut as well then. Uh, and stuff like that. And then I think we'll end stream after I'm done with that, unless you guys want to talk about something else as well. Because I'm, I'm here to talk, I don't care. Just any topic. No, any topic. It has to be tied to Elden Ring, otherwise I don't, I don't want to talk about it now. Because it might be come up later in other streams and stuff like that. So if you got anything to talk about, like with Elden Ring, just bring it up and we'll, we can talk about it now. While I'm doing all that shit. Uh, and then once I'm finished, then... This one. The fuck? Seeing... Wait a second. Seeing citrus titties as a kid instantly made it goaded. I see you also got the base ending, dude. Well, I said also, I didn't play it as well, as I said, but I did saw it. And I was like, yeah, that's the ending I would definitely go for. Wait, did I, did I finish the game? No, I feel like I didn't. Have you ever played Hollow Knight? Yep, I did. I did. Very good game. Very good game. Very good game. Uh, again, another game where I can find barely any flaws in it. It's a very good game. Mm, let's see here. I think for the final look of the Giga Chat, we'll go for this. Uh, holy moly, dude. This is a fucking... Look at the fucking Giga Chat, dude. Mm. Yeah, okay, we'll do like... With like a fully shaved one, and then when we fucking beat next after next stream, we're gonna switch to like this or something like that. Or should I like go for another one? Let's see. What well, like looks good for like a Giga Chat? I keep spitting whenever I talk. I notice it pisses me off so much. Maybe like light stubble, and then we'll do for this later. We can. Oh, you can't see the game. I forgot. Fuck. Thank you for reminding me. There we go. All right. I'm thinking like what to decide for like the next stream. Like what kind of what kind of uh, drips 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 bleh. What kind of drip should I have? Like the Giga Chad drip. This is kind of like the Jesus drip. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Chad. Uh. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we could just revert back to this. Back to this style, but I want to do that last. I think I'll just, I think I'll just keep like this style, like kind of uh, this kind of style for a bit before we switch. Like that, sure, that looks good. I don't have anything more to say other than uh, that uh, Armor Core 6 is goaded. Nice, okay. <laughs> good, good. <clears throat> uh, I'll be. I'll try playing it maybe sometime. Maybe on stream. I, I doubt I'll finish it unless it's like really, really good and really, really fun. But still. We're getting crucified with this one. Water into wine drip. <laughs> nice. We're getting crucif crucified with this one. Oh yeah, with, with Jesus. <laughs> the, the crucifixion fists. To be fair, you have that... Um, that uh, Ash of War that makes you like do holy damage, which would be nice for like a Jesus build. The issue is that um, you know holy damage is fucking useless in this game. So, 
<laughs> That's another thing that I hate. Like, so many cool holy spells, but you can use any of them because they're useless. It's good, but it's very, very hard. Mm. Okay. Well, to be fair, I like hard games. You can tell by me challenging myself with this fucking shit, doing like a fists only run and then not upgrading. Like, I don't know if you, you don't know, but um, my weapon was plus 10 until I got to Melania. Only, not, only like with Melania did I upgrade it to plus 23 because I couldn't do it to plus 25, but only then did I upgrade it. Before that, I did not upgrade my weapon. Uh, I, w I upgraded it to plus five, I believe at, no, I, plus five was until Rykard. And then after, Ry because like Rykard was, no, Rykard, was it Rykard? Fuck. No, it was Moog. Until Moog, which we did, I think, la was it last stream or like, last stream, I think. No, before last stream. It was, the weapon was a plus five the entire time. So you can tell I like challenging myself quite a bit. Just literally just kneecapping myself. Like, I, I can upgrade the weapon. I'm not doing it though. Like, it's, it's such a fucked mindset I have. Just because I, I think like, I, I'll be doing too much damage then. I think you'll either rage quit at the helicopter or Baltius if you really hated Melania. So you're telling me it's bullshit. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I mean, half joking, to be fair. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see, maybe. Because, to be fair, I, I, like, if it is, like, that kind of game that I think it is, which is, like, kind of like a bullet hell type of game, then, yeah, I probably won't even play it that much because I just don't... I can't be fucked to, like, get good at bullet, bullet hell type games. And that looks actually kind of cool, to be fair, as well. Hmm... Baltius. Baltius? Balteus. Balteus? Baltius? Balteus? I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ, that Giga Chad. That Giga Chad drift is absolutely amazing. Your English pen can't even pronounce Latin. I'm not English, man. Dude, I'm fucking Croatian, dude. What are you talking about? English, man. Why is my accent... What, does my accent sound like English? I'm, I'm not fucking speaking British, dude. Do I fucking sound like this? Do I sound like a fucking British person? <laughs> I'm not fucking English, man, dude. Shut up. I'm, I'm Croatian and uh, I also live in Germany, so I guess maybe, maybe there's a bit of a German accent there as well. I don't know. I'm not sure what my accent sounds like to other people. I suck at bullet hell games. Same. Same. To, to be fair, isn't Cuphead also kind of a bullet hell game? I don't know. A 3D bullet hell games, I'll say that. Didn't even notice you were Croatian, base nationality. Uh, I guess it's based, I guess. We are pretty based, to be fair, you know. We're, we're pretty good at football. And we're also pretty good at creating weapons. And we're also pretty good at create, uh, siding with the Nazis in World War II. We're also pretty good at that. <laughs> but nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about that. Uh. Have you, should I like, I don't want to, no, I'm not putting a scar on, on his face, on the Giga Chat's face. We have not been scarred by Melania, not yet. Hmm. Or should I go for like, I, I'm going to go for this later. No, no, okay. I got, I, I should stop. Okay. I think this is good enough. We got the homeless, the homeless drip for Fair Mazula. Balkans equals based. Okay, fair enough. True enough. We are, we are kind of base, you know, you know what I mean? Starting wars over the smallest of things. We're kind of base, you know? Be, being homophobic, we're kind of based, we're kind of based, we're kind of based. <laughs> being sexist, kind of based, not gonna lie. Being racist, kind of based. <laughs> uh, bro likes some nationality better, some nationalities better than others. I mean, I mean, you could be, you could be partial that, to some nationalities. That's not a, like a bad thing, right? That's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm, I for one am par partial to Japanese people, but negatively. I goddamn, I do not like Japanese people. Well, to be fair, not not that's not really true. Uh, cause um, what was I gonna say? It's just like a generalization that I have that I don't like. But I mean, I'm fine with them. You know, average Japanese person, nothing against them. Uh, I'm, wait, uh, I mean, what's cool in being French? Okay, true, true, kind of based, kind of based, kind of based statement, dude. Kind of based statement, dude. Kind of true, dude. You know, white flag. White flag and some fucking bread, dude. I and mean, that's all you have as a Frenchman. Well, man, I sim for Japanese baddies. Same, dude. Dude, you, dude. If you saw my fucking VR porn folder, whoo! First of all, I'd be shocked at the size and tell me to delete half the shit. And uh, second of all, goddamn, half of it is just Japanese fucking girls. 
But yeah, as for like, uh, yeah, to be fair, yeah, it's mostly Japanese men that I have a problem with. Specifically older men, they're quite fucked in the head still. I feel like the younger generation is coming around a bit. But the older men are quite fucked in the head. They're quite fucked in the head, I will say that. Like, just, just you, you can just like look at the amount of like manga artists that have been... Uh, here, I'll give you a specific case. Rurouni Kenshin is like an anime that uh, has gotten a remake recently. And uh, anyways, have a good night. Uh, uh, good night, have a good one. Yeah, bye. Uh, what was I gonna say? Rurouni Kenshin is an anime that's been made, and now it's, we got a remake. The fucked up thing is, um, before it got a remake, well before, uh, the the author, of course, of course, did, of course he did. He got uh, found for, or caught for some no good things. You know, some, uh, how do I say this? Does YouTube know what cheese pizza is? Probably not. He got caught for cheese pizza. He got called for caught for possession of cheese pizza. And, and what did they do in response? They're like, well, we don't give a shit. First of all, basically no jail time. I think, did he get even, I think he just got a fine. I don't know if he even got jail time for that. And then uh, after that, they're like, yeah, let's make an anime. So he profits off of that. Let's make this literal cheese pizza dude profit off of, uh, off of uh, you know, off of his fucking manga. Even after he was caught or, you know, possess possession of cheese pizza. It's fucking insane. How, how is that like the Japanese legal system? It's insane. There's also like plenty of cases where like a bunch of, like, for example, there was like a Junko Furuta, I believe is her name. It's like a young girl that got roped by a bunch of dudes and they got like basically no, no time in prison. Basically no time. Like a couple of years, maybe. That's it. And they were out in the streets and obviously every single one of them did something else. Some kind of criminal act. They fucked up. The Japanese people don't care. They don't take uh, SA uh, seriously at all. SA cases, they don't take that serious at all. Or, or you know, anything that's a, that's like sexual in nature, like a sexual crime, they don't take that serious. They don't think that's that's like bad at all. They don't think like, well, well, whatever, you know, whatever. you didn't kill anyone, who cares? Like, fuck, what the fuck? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. It's, like, arguably, it's, it's, it's probably a lesser, a lesser crime, morally, to kill someone than to fucking, you know, do, do that other fucking shit. And that, like that shit, you might as well have killed them. You know, fucked up for the rest of their lives. It's fucked up. And the like, Japanese people, like in general, just don't give a shit about that much. The only people who give a shit are people who, who whose family members are affected that, by that because obviously they give a shit. If their own family member something like that happened to them, then yeah, they, they give a shit. The rest of the people, they don't really give a shit. At least that's the impression that I get. I don't want to fucking be racist or anything. I'm just like, from what I know, you know what I mean? I'm just saying what I know. Uh, there's also the, the, uh, the fucking, what's it called again? What's that called? Yeah, there are more old fashions where, uh, like, it was okay to beat your wife back then and shit like that. Yeah, they, they just have old fashioned views still, I feel like. It's fucked up because, like, Japan has modernized, like, technologically and stuff like that. But they're, like, they're, their mentality and stuff like that is still, I feel like it's still pretty old fashioned. Like, luckily, I feel like it's changing now with the younger people. They're kind of realizing what how fucked up their fucking ancestors are. But, like, I'd, like the, the older people are just so fucked up still, man. Like, people who are, like, as old as my dad, for example. They're still very much fucked in the head. Or like, just anyone past 30. Anyone past 30 years old is just fucked in the head. Still very much. Like, there's the, the Nam Jing. What's it called? Nam Jing, I believe. It's, you can look that up yourself. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna give context to that. There's like an incident that happened during World War II called uh, Nam Jing. Something uh, of, of Nam Jing. Just look up Nam Jing incident and you'll find it. Uh, the shit that they did there, the Japanese people... Holy fucking moly, dude. I would rather get be in a fucking concentration camp than in Namjing at that time, dude. I would rather be in a concentration camp than that shit. The, the, the shit that they did, holy moly, fucking hell, dude. Okay, to be fair, if you were a man, it wasn't that bad. But if you are a woman... Dude, uh-uh. That is hell on earth. That is actual... I, they actually brought hell to earth. That, that is actually insane. That, and they did, never got punished for that, by the way, because, you know, of the nukes. They can't get punished for that shit. Yeah, my dad is slightly racist. Well, is your dad Japanese? <laughs> Uh, to be fair, everyone's, everyone's, uh, I feel like everyone who's like above the age of like 40 is, is either racist, homophobic, or uh, sexist, if not all three. My dad is also very much fucking like a bit, you know, a bit, a bit homophobic. But he's very homophobic, to be fair. He's very homophobic. Well, not, what does what very mean, you know? Average. It's not like he would actually do anything like to hurt like a, like a, homosexual person but still he does not doesn't he's very, not doesn't like them very much that's 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 pretty much all yeah not not very not very not very good that's very good old people are kind of fucked like old, old people are kind of fucked to be fair younger people are fucked as well because uh whereas old people you know have the uh, like say things that are like wrong which are not wrong like being gay you know and like they're homophobic and stuff like that 
um, younger people just go the complete opposite way and they're just like, not nah, anything is okay. Oh, what's that? You're, you're, you're a fucking P word, you know? A diddler? Uh, you yeah, know, that's fine. That's fine. That's just who you are. As long as you don't actually do anything, we don't care. That, that's like an okay thing, which obviously it's fucking not. What the fuck? That should be shunned. Or like people who like uh, have like uh, all those like surgeries, intense surgeries to like transform their fucking body or to like become a dragon or stuff like that. Like, come on. There's, there's such a thing as taking it too far. There's such a thing as taking it too far. Like, I feel like the the, 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 the thing, like, the, like okay, so what I think, like, for example, what I think is, like, okay nowadays is, like, okay, yeah, being gay, that makes sense, obviously. It's a completely natural thing. Being trans, uh, yeah, that's also fucking okay, but to a lesser extent, I feel like, because there's a lot of people who uh, are trans because of mental issues, and they get, like, reaffirmed for that for that reason. They say a lot of people, I, I don't want to say a lot of people, some people, uh, a substantial amount, I'll say that. They, they have, like, mental issues, and they just get, they just get like, fucking... Like support as if there's nothing wrong with them. Like there's something wrong with them. That they're, like they're not being that because that's how they feel. Or whatever they're being that because they they both past fucking trauma because they were bullied, for you know maybe like I don't know an example. You're a guy. You like dolls. You get bullied for it. You became trans. That is a mental issue. That is not a natural thing. If if it's a result of bullying, then it's not natural. It shouldn't be like encouraged. It's it's a bad thing. Like it's not becoming trans. Obviously, that's not a bad thing. It's just like the reason that they become trans. Like you shouldn't encourage that that they you know that's like a natural thing to happen like if you're getting bullied and, and you're becoming trans because of that that's not a natural thing and obviously it just applies to those people like tra transgender thingy in general it's just fine it's, it's fine it makes sense it makes perfect sense but anything beyond that i feel like is a bit absurd like transforming yourself to a fucking animal like fuck off how's how's that a normal thing that should be accepted like come on you really need to draw limits somewhere uh what, what is that right uh reaper of meme she won't treat people badly but if he hears slightly arabic black name uh they aren't showing their face on tv he's like well i wonder why they aren't showing their face uh-huh uh -huh, i get it i get it it's quite from a homophobic though yeah okay yeah yeah it's fuck now nah, the world is just very fucking they're very fucking weird that we live in currently like some people just like nobody seems to be like very few people seem to be like in the middle and actually reasonable most people just go either like to one extreme or the other, you know what I mean? Not to be fair, it's like that for most people, uh, places of, uh, in life, you know what I mean? Like politics, left, right. All people are weird. I mean, younger people are weird too. Everyone's weird, kind of. Everyone's like extreme to every everything. Like, nobody can stay like neutral and normal. You know what I mean? Everyone has to like take an extreme side to something. It's insane. Also, like, like you, could, you could say that as well, like to the point of like the fact that like... Uh, uh, like and like do you support lgbtq right if you answer with anything other than yes you're homophobic but, but the thing is like supporting something that's not what it means if you say you're supporting lgbtq plus right or something like that i i i can ask i, I can to that ask how because supporting is the thing that you're doing i myself am not supporting lgbtq plus in any way i'm fine with gay people i'm fine with trans people i think they should have like rights and what well, normal rights as us right as us normal human rights you know i don't think there's anything wrong with them all that shit. Am I supporting something? Uh, sp supporting them actively? Fuck no! I don't give a shit about them. They're <laughs> just people. Well, they're just a fucking random dude. They're just random dudes. Why do I give a shit about them? Why should I give a shit about them? Why? Because they're gay, trans. That makes them special. No, it doesn't. They're just fucking random nobodies to me. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna. I don't support them. Like what the fuck? That's that's not what that means. I don't give a shit about them. I just don't care what the, what the LGBTQ plus do. It's up to them. But I'm not going out to support them. Yeah, exactly. I'm not doing anything actively to support them. I'm just like yeah. Being gay is fine. It makes sense. It's natural. Same thing with being trans. Some other shit, whatever. You know? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck, I'm not doing anything actively to support. I don't give a shit about them. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna pretend like I'm here, like, yeah, go, 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 gay guy. Like, I don't give a shit about it. You're fucking gay. Like, it doesn't make you fucking special. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, I genuinely do, do not care if you're gay or not. What's the fucking matter to me? Like, what's it matter to me? The only way it matters to me is if I'm also gay, you know, I'm looking to fuck someone. And then it matters if you're gay or not. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter to me. Why should I care? And I'm saying that obviously, like, in a positive way, right? Like, as in, like, I'm not, I don't fucking think, like, you're lesser or anything like that for that. Stuff like that. And it's kind of, it's just kind of a weird thing. How, like, that, I feel like that one question as well, like, just really shows how people have, like, grown, grown like, kind of extremists when it comes to these things. Like, you just have to support everything nowadays. Or say that you support everything, that you're for everything. It's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. It's how people have really grown this mentality. But yeah, anyways. I've been fucking yapping here for too long about fucking shit that doesn't even, isn't even related to Ellering. I'm probably going to get banned on YouTube for just saying, like, anything other than yes to, like, I support LGBTQ+. <laughs> 
I was fun stream, but I'm gonna hop off for the night and get my workout. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I already fucking had a workout. I'm sweaty as shit. I'm gonna go shower and then I'm gonna go fucking sleep probably right away. But yeah, have have a good night, man. Have a good night. Bye. All right, I'm gonna just then uh, go ahead and redeem some shit and I'm gonna end, end the stream. It's been a fun stream though. Just can't wait for the for the one Monday. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be really cool. I just hope I can keep up the energy the entire stream. I consider I've been streaming six hours now. I think it should be fine. I mean. I feel like I could keep going for another six hours now. Uh, which I'm not gonna do, obviously. Right, I'm gonna take her that weapon, and then I'm gonna take this braid, I guess. Receive champions equipment. Yoink, 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 yoink. Fuck, yoink, 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 yoink. Alright, we grabbed all of that. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Is there any kind of drip that I can get? Maybe. I don't think the Melania drips work. <laughs> the Melania drip definitely does not work. Okay. Um, let's see here. This drip. But to be fair, this is kind of cool. But yeah, I, I already saved this for other shit. Okay, let me see here. What about these? These look, these look actually really fucking good, but I kind of want to save them for the DLC maybe. I should just do it now. I guess I could just do it now as well. It's really matter. I don't know. To be fair, in DLC, there'll be like more armor sets, so I'll probably wear those. But, eh, I'll save it for the DLC anyway, so I don't care. Now, which one was I wearing again beforehand? Like these? No. Those actually kind of look good, honestly. Maybe I should wear those. Hmm, change up my style a bit. That actually kind of looks. That actually kind of looks good, not gonna lie. That actually kind of looks good. Looks a bit wild. Um, I gotta see which drip is best though. Mm. Again, I don't want to really wear that yet. I don't want to say yet, ever probably. Again. Is that Simon Nova? I mean, that side looks cool if you're skinny, but otherwise not really. If your character's skinny. Mm. No, not really. Two, two, two. Yeah, it's just kind of fucked how this set doesn't really fit. Like, if I wear this, it doesn't really fit with the whole thing. Entirely, at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see here. Okay, I think... I'm not sure which armor set to stick with. I mean, all I got to do is I'm fucking doing this shit because I don't want to fucking go to sleep yet. But I should have like prosthetic legs, fucking hell. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm not sure which one's better, that one or this one. I guess this kind of fits more with the monk aesthetic. To be fair, I think I'll just take this off. And do that. Anything I could put on here instead? Not really, not not really much of an option here. Doo -doo -doo. Have we got anything else? Not really. I think I'll just stick with this, who cares anyways. I wanna fucking end stream now, okay? Alright. Um, Been streaming for pretty long though, I gotta say. I'm gonna fucking just leave it off first there, so I don't... So we can just get the stream started right away as soon as possible. I wonder if how, how long Crumbling Pharaoh Mazula will, will take though. I'm pretty sure it's going to be much faster stream, maybe. Depends on how long all the boss attempts take, I guess. Because we'll be finding a lot of bosses, so. Man, goddamn, that's, this was a fucking good stream. I'm, I'm glad people are actually coming in, new people. I'm actually so glad new people are coming in every single stream. It is fun to talk to people, though, as fuck. It's really fun. Alright. Alright, uh, is that it? I, th I think it's fine. Let me just yoink, yoink. Cause it's kinda, it's kinda cold, you know? In the, in the whole fucking thing. Let's at least put that so it actually looks appropriate, there we go. 
<laughs> I a literal homeless Chad. All right, yeah. I think that's it. I think I'll just uh, sit down here and then end stream right here. All right. There's nobody here, but I'm going to talk to nobody. I'm going to talk to the people who actually watch the video afterwards, you know? Thanks for watching the stream or video, whatever the fuck you're watching. See you next time.